lovely jewellery makers this coming Wednesday at 10am. I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Dave Troth. As some of you may know, Dave launched some time ago an entire sellout of natural white onyx. One thing that we did not see during that showcase was cabochons. I'm super excited to tell you that this coming Wednesday, we are launching for the very first time the White Onyx Collection. Beautiful examples of this natural gemstone in cabochons. Don't miss out on your opportunity. As I said, last time these were brought to air, they were entire sellouts, uber rare, ultimately so beautiful. That's this Wednesday at 10 a.m. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend for some of the most incredible uh, Jedi auctions. And on top of that, we're launching a brand new gemstone that I've very recently encountered in Hong Kong. I can't wait to share all of the information about that. Extremely rare, only known to occur on two places on the planet. And we have some of the finest examples of that to share with you. And then the return of the legendary Queen Kong. It's gonna be a jam-packed weekend and I'm hoping uh, to see all of you join me. a bit of a fleeting morning this so far haven't yeah. we <laughs> one of them i did see the back of you rushing yes. in as i'm rushing in that direction so we haven't actually had the chance to sit down and say hi 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 hi, hi. how are you doing yeah, yeah. Good, thank you. So, you're a bit stressed and a bit of a, a nightmare journey coming in but you're here yeah well it's never good when it's raining is it no that's true was it raining all the way up most of the way yeah that was yesterday for me was it? I had a day. The school, the school, oh, the rain yesterday. And there, one of those. Doing the school run yesterday like that. <laughs> Just that fa that expression on your face. Even my two-year-old was like that. <laughs> With a little brolly and, and mac on. It always rains the hardest during those five minutes. During the I five see. minutes of the school run. Yeah. And there's a, why does it, our, Willow School has got this massive puddle outside. So you know. can't, you have to walk through the puddle to get into the school. Our school had a swan outside the gate yesterday morning. I mean, that's posh. It, it really wanted to go inside. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let me in, let me in. I hope you're all well. We've got a fantastic Wednesday morning show planned for you. As you've just seen, um, we have the first time ever we are launching beautiful natural white onyx with fantastic dave um in cabochon so you've had it in the strands they've absolutely flown out we've even had it in sort of a drop shape all absolutely flew out they're stunningly beautiful uh, the glow the purity that you get with natural white onyx is quite unprecedented so but for the first time ever we're launching it today um in cabochon style so that means you can do all your gemstone setting you can do your bead embroidery your bezel setting yes for the first time ever so i'm really excited about that uh, <coughs> we've got <coughs> excuse me hands down the most amazing kit Coming up at nine o'clock, Monica, all your Christmases must have come up once. Oh, I was so excited when I got this kit. Do you want to rip it? Do you, do you want, here's the white onyx, by the way. By the way, look at that. Oh, look at the glow. Oh, my goodness wow. me, the glow. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. So wow. beautiful. Wow, look at that. Flawless. Flawless purity. Um, so they're coming up with Dave today. Um, I'm going to repeat what Ross has just said in Monica in my ear. Uh, this is the best kit we've ever done, he says. 
Well, that's what I said when I posted about it on Facebook. I said, this must be the most epic kit I've ever had. Yes, <laughs> it, I, I, and I'd agree with you because we worked out, we actually sat down this morning prior to the show and worked out the monetary value of each item if you were to buy them separately. Now, how often do you hear me say you get amazing savings if you, uh, if you purchase within the kit? So you can buy each of these components on their own. However, and by the way, that will total over £400. However, within this kit, I'm not going to I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag just yet. You get one of the biggest savings we've ever done on a kit. So that's coming up at nine o'clock. There is um, <clears throat> some bad news, um, and that's that we only have just over 70 of them. So they are quite limited. But given the fact that you have natural type A black jadeite, you've got eight mils, you've got four mils, you've got master carvings, you've got two high goos. And all of the sterling silver. Yes. I mean, it just kept kept going when I was taking it out of the bag. Exactly. Like, oh, another one. And another one. Another, and another one. I know. <laughs> I mean, you've got, the fact that you've got a master carving in this kit, that's really... Yeah. I mean, look how beautiful they yeah. are. So those are coming up at nine o'clock. You haven't got too long to wait. This hour is lounge hour. Now, for those of you that are going, what does that mean? What does that mean? That doesn't mean I sit back, lounge up, put your feet up. I mean, you can, but... Um, <laughs> but it does mean that you're on a curfew within this hour. Um, so basically, all the items that we are launching in this hour are available on the website. Currently, as we speak, all the W's at joymaker.com. You can shop ahead, uh, and I would encourage that in actual fact, because some items will be very, very limited. Everything is there. A lot of the prices um, are going lower, so ignore those, really, um, and know that the early bird hour, we've always got your back. So, for example, the first seven items are 100% going lower than the price that you're seeing on the website. Um, in fact, the first... Mo most of the first 11, says Ross. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Some, yeah, most, majority of them. Um, so take a little look, shop ahead, know that, uh, I mean, you'll see the deals. Um, but yeah, the first 11, majority of those are actually going even lower. And it's Wednesday morning. I love a Wednesday show. Why? Because we get to make two of our lovely viewers jewelry maker richer oh love that <laughs> absolutely love that and we've got a nice heavy wall of fame which is good to see um so we'll do the draw just after keep your fingers crossed because it might be you um and monica and i are going to read through all the wonderful creations that you have sent in so starting us off this morning don't forget don't forget as well um that you could actually uh you, you could actually shop ahead we've got that many wall of fames do you want me to just dive into it Let's just dive. Let's just dive. Go for it. Go for it, Elle. Go. Um, <laughs> number four. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. Sorry. <laughs> number 470, starting us off this morning, um, is Julia Lees. Good morning to you, Julia. She says, hi, all at JM. This week's entry to the WAF is a springtime necklace that has obviously taken a lot longer than I thought uh, to finish it as it's now in autumn. Uh, Peridot and rose quartz and a few Swarovski thrown in. Love from Julia in Rubri, just up the road. Well, it's beautiful jewellery. Oh. Uh, and Julia, you know what? It's ready for next spring now. Exactly. And the next spring. And the, and the next, next spring. And the next, and yeah. the next, and the next. Number 471 is from Angela. Hello to you, Angela. Oh, wow. some very neat wine work there. Dear jewellery maker crew, please find and touch my entry to this week's Wall of Fame, a ring made with pearl and copper wire all materials are from jewelry maker may i say how i how happy i am that uh, jm has an advent calendar this year um, and that i managed to bag one well done so excited for december good luck to all the talented waffers and that's from angela aronson um, well well done and i know you're gonna love the calendar angela it's absolutely amazing number 472 is from jim hello to you jim oh, oh that's pretty isn't it very pretty. Good morning, everybody. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's an earring and necklace set with uh, in a waterfall design. The necklace and earring findings um, are both 925 sterling silver and gemstones are natural aquamarine faceted coins. Ooh. Oh. Best of luck to everybody in the drawer. Take care. Lots of love. And that's from Jim. Good luck to you, Jim. That's so beautiful. So I, I particularly like the, 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 the complimenting of the 
faceted stones with the sterling silver yes. chain. Yes. They just both glisten perfectly. They do. They sort of shine off each other, don't that's they? Like a, that's like a um, um, snowfall at, on Christmas oh, morning, yes. isn't it? Uh, number 473 is from Jane. Good morning, Jane. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, and she says, um, had a throbbing pain in my wrist. I swapped my Baltic Amber bracelet onto the painful wrist and the pain stopped instantly. Wow, oh, that's wow. amazing. Uh, needs more testing and more uh, more testing and more amber. Um, looking forward to the amber clearance. Well, it's coming up. Not too long to wait for that then, Jane. And that's absolutely beautiful. I hope your wrist still continues to feel better. Uh, number 474 is um, <clears throat> Katura. Hello, all at Jewelry Maker. Attached. Oh, that's beautiful. Attached yeah. as a set bracelet and a pair of earrings. A bit of bling for Christmas craft fairs, made from sea beads and shell pearls, fire polish, all from Jewelry Maker, inspired by something I saw on YouTube. Put my own spin and turned out lovely. Hoping for a win. Good luck to all. And that's from Katura. I'll pass them over to you. Super. Which is the next one? This one. 475. 475. 475 is from Angela Smith. 475. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi yeah. everyone. This week's uh, entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace and bracelet set using size 11 and 15 seed beads, fire polished crystals and black spinel coins, all components from JM. Good luck to all fellow Woffers. Ange from Yorkshire. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful. Isn't it? I like the photography as well. Okay, number 476 is from Anna Howarth. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, sorry, I have to look first before I read yeah, that. that walnut? It's lovely. Hello everyone at Jewelry Maker. Please find my entry for the Wall of Fame this week. I made this walnut pendant from silver clay purchased from Jewelry Maker. Wow. I hope that you will find it good enough to be shown on the wall. Good luck fellow waffers, although I could do with a win myself. Many thanks to all at JM. Kind regards, take care. That's so That's clever. Amazing. Wow. And they, I, I, I'm trying to get my head around how you made a walnut and they got that texture yeah. without actually physically wrapping a wow. walnut. Wow. Amazing. That's amazing. Number 477 is from Sarah Parker. Uh, hi, hi all. Here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I made a lariat style necklace with labradorite and moonstone beads and some silver plated chain that I got in a kit. The toggle was from my stash. The flash of the labradorite drops is stunning. Thanks for the bargains and entertainment. Oh, it's oh, beautiful, so, Sarah. It's so clever to use the clasp as the, as the ring and the... Um, in the lariat, isn't mm, it? Definitely. Number 478 is from Sue Thursfield. Hi all, here's my entry to entry for the Wall of Fame. It is a trio made from 8mm and 4mm road delight rounds with seed bead spaces between the stones and up to the clasp on the necklace so it lays flat at the back. The bracelet is a stretchy made with just the 4mm and seed beads. Introduced to this interesting looking stone by JM as usual and love the natural patterns and colours. Thanks for all the hard work in front and behind the camera. Fingers crossed for a win, but good luck to all. From Sue. Amazing. Aww. Beautiful, Sue. Okay, number 479 is from Julie Dudley. Good morning, everyone. My entry for the Wall of Fame this week is a pair of sterling silver wirework earrings with Brazilian amethyst hearts, freshwater pearls, and some of the beautiful citrine set head pins to create the drops at the bottom. Absolutely everything is from JM. These are for one of my oldest school friends who I haven't seen for 26 years. It is her birthday this coming week. Love and best wishes to everyone from Julie Dudley. Oh, how lovely. Oh, she's going to love that. Yeah. Lovely. What a lucky friend. Oh. Uh, oh, is that all of it? I think, yeah. Wow, amazing. You're all so super, super talented. So much so. I think we need to get make a couple of you a bit richer, shall we? Oh. So, without further ado, let's give it a good old whiz. You need to get your entries in as well. I tell you what, good for people that have entered, though, because you never, the odds are in your favour. Right, let's give a little rummage. Now, for the winner, the winner of this week's Wall of Fame, receiving £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account is number 450. Oh. Trevor Edgar, congratulations, you're oh, our winner this week. Congratulations, we will credit your account. Oh, can um, I do it? Can I you do can it? do it, I'm going to pass I've it never, on over to you. I've now. never done a draw, ever. Haven't you? I've never. Well, we need to rectify <laughs> that, there you go. <laughs> Definitely, you okay. should have done both of them. Turn it. Yeah, give it a spin, good yeah. old spin. It's a lot of fun. Oh, this is exciting. So receiving 50 pounds now. I just open, yeah. I can't believe she's not done I've it. I've never done one. How have you been with us, one? Let's see, number 431. 431? That is uh, with uh, Kim Hopkins. Kim Hopkins.
Hopkins. Yay, congratulations. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Can we also just give you a shout out for oh. how amazing your nails are? <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> wow. Oh. You always have amazing nails, though. Oh, thank you. Always. Here we are, pass me that. Yeah. There we go, and I'll put that over oh, there. Oh, that was exciting. Amazing, well done, everybody. Keep Get those entries into the... You might be our winner or runner-up next week. All you've got to do is send us a photograph of your creations using Jewelry Maker products, of course. Right then, remember, lounge hour. So take a little look on the web. Um, go to all the Ws at jewelrymaker.com. If you uh, click below Monica and I, and scroll down. So, for example, your early bird... Your early birds go lower than nine, uh, 99.99. Yeah. One, two, three, lower. Four, five, six, going lower. Seven and nine, going lower. 10 and 11, going lower. If you like all these deals, you know what to do. I'm going to start with number 15, which is Opalite. Beautiful Opalite. It's already made for you, but of course, you've been jewelry makers. If you want to customize it, you absolutely can. Um, Opalite is a wonderful, it, it, it's a man-made creation. And as the name suggests, it's got similarities to beautiful opals. So you've got a full stretchy, um, so a, a stretchy bracelet, which you could then go on and customize if you wanted, or you could literally, if I just pop it on, literally wear it exactly as is. You get this really beautiful ethereal glow yeah. from Opalite, don't you? It's almost magical, isn't it? It is. It is Little yeah. orbs of yeah. iridescence. Um, like I said, it's a man-made treasure, but much like your Goldstone, very, very, very popular amongst our jewelry maker audience. Under five pounds for Opalite, uh, four pounds and ninety-nine pence. I mean, there's a there's a secret Santa gift there straight away. Oh yeah. But we're going to clear out this location within the vault. That's how that's how we roll in the eight o'clock hour. <laughs> um, the clock is ticking away. How many do we have then, Roscoe? Seventy. Oh, that's a good quantity, isn't it? You can add just a couple of charms and away you go. Yeah. Uh, morning, Kim. Hi, Elle, Monica and team. Thank you very much for the runner-up. You have made oh. my day. Stay safe, everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, you could thank Monica. Yeah, that she was, was lucky. Your first draw. <laughs> my first draw. <laughs> first draw. Um, well done, Kim. Hello, to you, June saying, good morning, ladies. Looking forward to a great show. It certainly is going to be. It's oh. going to be absolutely amazing. The kit is unbelievable. Yeah. The deal of the day is stunning, and you've got the launch of your white onyx cabochons, which is so good. It's so exciting. Nobody is paying £4.99 today, even though that is absolutely amazing. You try and buy um, <coughs> a stretchy bracelet, even in plastic, for £4.99 oh, elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> not going to happen, is it? That's why loads of you have multi-bought already. Well, we're going to put some money back into your pocket. Text in. Like June and Kim, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. Two pound and ninety nine pence. It's not worth oh, wow. you making it, to be honest. No, <laughs> I don't think you get the Opalite strand for two pound ninety nine. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So um, it's going to be, it's going to be what? Get three beads for a pound each, and everything else for free. Is that what you, is that your logic? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah. I'd definitely pay a pound for those. Yeah, absolutely. See, I would get three of those and then cut two of them up and make a necklace. Nice. Mm. And then the third one is your bracelet. Nice. Opalite looks amazing with sea beads as well, doesn't it? Because it, it does. kind of reflects the colours. It really does, yeah. Um, of your Mayukis. Um, we had 70. There are tons of you there. Irene, hello to you. Carola, Sean, Dahlia, hello to you. June, Karen, Lincolnshire, Anita, Carol, Diane, new customer, Sheila, Miranda, Norma, Maker, Helen, Anne, Susan, Elaine, Mary. Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. I'm excited about this Wednesday morning show. I hope you are too. Um, loving it. Absolutely loving the deals thus far. And believe me, there's so much to squeeze in. Make sure these, remember, remember, they're only available until nine o'clock and then they will vanish into thin air. Yeah. See, for 2 99 that's a stocking filler, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. It's a very nice um, very secret nice. Santa. Yeah, that too. And yeah. then you've probably got a little bit of extra money yeah. left over, depending on what your budget is for secret Santa. What is our budget normally? Each, each Ten pounds. Which is quite difficult, isn't it? It's quite tricky to buy something for but a But even tenner. if your budget was only £5, you still have £2 left over to get a box for it. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's true. That's very, very true. Two ninety nine. I guess that's why so many of you have chosen to multi-buy. I'm seeing twos, threes, yeah. uh, sixes, amazing. Well done to you. I know you can make this. You know what? I know you can make a stretchy bracelet. My six-year-old can make a stretchy bracelet. But 
at that price, is it even worth your time? Uh, it's, not, it's not worthwhile, because by the time you source the elastic, you source the opalite, and you factor in the time that it is to create it, which be it minimal, um, <clears throat> it's not worth it, is it? So well done. Snap them up whilst you get the chance. We had 70 of them. Um, and again, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. You've got lots of beautiful treasures for you today. Some amazing pearls coming up in today's show. Your deal of the day slider bracelets are absolutely unbelievable because one in particular is really, really exciting me. And that is the red spinel that we have at 10 a.m. Yeah, awesome. Okay, let's move on to... Um, <clears throat> we had we had faster coins on the Wall of Fame with who made that April uh, that that aquamarine that was coins. One. I've got it here. That was one of yours. Julia wasn't it? Lees, I think. Was it Julie? Mm. I thought. Why did I? Yes, get... it was the one that took longer than she thought because it's a, it's already autumn, isn't it? No, the no, first that, one. no. The the have you got the the, the, the uh, that's it, Jim. Jim. Oh yeah, that one. There you mm. go. Yes, they were faceted coins, weren't they? There you go. Now, you could make an autumnal version of that, couldn't you? It's a mixture of Julia and Jim's. Yes. <clears throat> totally natural. Unakite. I love Unakite. I often refer to it as the sort of uh, as the Monet gemstone because I think it's got quite similar brush strokes. Yeah. Um, totally natural. You get a really beautiful fusion of sort of greens and these really lovely uh, rose-like pinks. Look at that luster, all due to the fact that they are faceted coins. We're under five pounds, but again, the clock is on your screen. Look at those colours. When it comes to Unakai, it's about that sort of distinction between the greens and those beautiful peachy or rose-like pinks. It always reminds me of a quintessential English country garden. Ah, oh, yes, but very autumnal as well because, yep. you know, like the tree trees when they start to turn yep. the colours. Oh. I love that time of year yes. when you can just see all the leaves falling on the ground it's pretty isn't it and it's totally and utterly natural even if you again you just turn this into simple stretchy bracelets the faceted coins actually do the work for you have i got quantity of these 60 okay that's more than i was expecting you to say which is good we don't often see the faceted coins these days they were most definitely one of our um, most favorited cuts uh, for quite some time and then they almost just disappeared didn't they uh, <clears throat> perhaps because we bought them all and then they were all gone <laughs> yeah. um 4.99 that's a great price already but we're going to go even lower oh all the way from the usa completely and utterly natural beautiful gemstone unikite one that's i think under i think it's undervalued wow. unikite it should command a much higher price tag than what you you know similar to that of say your ruby zoa site yes Yes. It should have a higher price tag. £3.99 only. Loads of multi-buyers already. We don't see it very often. In fact, I can't remember the last time I actually had Unikite on our screens. It's been quite some time. Um, works really nicely with things like your copper wires. Yes, and I was going to say the coin is a really nice shape because even if you just put it in a bracelet, it yeah. sits against your skin really nicely. But then also, if you hang them up so that they can move around, then you get lots of the, the flashes of the of the faceting. Yeah. But they're also embed into your seed beading really nicely Ooh, as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I can remember, I forget which design, it might well have been you, Monica, which design it was, but use them to do things like channel setting. Yes. So you can actually have sort of two... two uh, um, Two thicknesses of wire either side. Yeah. I think that looked lovely. Three ninety nine though. What a giveaway deal. Even if you had little clusters above the top of a pearl or something like that. Well done, everybody. Now, are you gonna are you gonna do what I hope you're doing? Those. No, these. Oh, I've been looking at those. It's they're not. <laughs> wow. Are you doing these? Oh, he says oh. they're coming up. But I'm going to take this opportunity to show you. They are number seven on the website, and they are going wow. lower. Goodness Unbelievably me. beautiful. Wow. They're number seven on the web. Rainbow overtones, completely and utterly natural pearls. You can get yours right now. Um, we're going to do the yellow gold plated bracelet. Yeah, I love this. I actually have this. Um, we've got it in the rose, gold, and the silver. They all go are going lower than the price that you're already seeing on the website. Um, <clears throat> if you love Elsa Peretti, who's really one of the most iconic designers of, uh, of Tiffany's & Co., uh, <clears throat> then you'll have certainly heard by, uh, of her Diamonds by the Yard, where she 
basically uh, faceted, she's got little faceted diamonds in a halo of precious metal. Um, it's ultra, ultra high end. They're genuine gemstones. We're not looking at sort of a crystal um, or a Swarovski or a cubit zirconia. Um, you've got here red garnet, Chang Bai Peridot, amethyst and real, uh, real gold, uh, grande citrine as well. Just absolutely beautiful. You have the extender as well so that you can actually wear it at um, wear it at different lengths. The quality of the stones within this bracelet are absolutely beautiful. I have this. In fact, I was only wearing it yesterday. It's so classy. It's that kind of jewellery, I think, that you could put on and never take off. And really celebrating sort of some of the most iconic designs. You know, like, like a round, brilliant cut, a, a sort of a, a solitaire diamond or like a trillion, uh, a trio, um, trilogy, sorry, is what I was looking for. Um, you know, this has become really one of those classic, iconic designs that never, ever goes out of fashion. Um, Seven inches, but again, you do have that extender chain if you wanted to wear it larger or smaller. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Again, you've got quality, quality, gem quality stones. Um, I've got the rose gold available for you as well. And we have it in the silver. So if you wanted to wear it um, in sort of like a Cartier inspired sort of trio of colors, we've just taken the yellow one under 20. We're going to do exactly the same with the rose. Uh, there you go. That's how it sits on the wrist line. And of course, it moves around, so you've constantly got the visual, uh, visuals uh -huh. of different gemstones. Straight away confirmations. These are limited, though. I've got about 20 of each. Very, very, very limited. Um, and if you wanted to customize it, then you absolutely can. But for me, that's a beautiful piece of jewelry, as is. Yes. I don't yeah. need to oh, do anything to that. Different. And they're all birthstones, aren't they? Yes. Garnet, peridot, amethyst. You've got, you've got uh, January, August... February and November, all in this one bracelet. Um, <clears throat> should we do the most popular though? Always the most popular, and that's due to the colour of the precious metal, of course, and this is the silver. Exactly the same stones, exactly the same design, um, exactly the same quality. 925 sterling silver, again, I, I just love the simplicity of this. I love the fact, I, I'm all for big designs. I like big sort of statement looks as well, but sometimes the most uh, um, subtle, and, and delicate of pieces yes. can be um, the most powerful. I mean, it depend, depends on the event that you're going to yeah. or where you're going out, you know, but uh, yeah. Seriously, does that look like it's £40 worth of jewellery? <laughs> no, it looks a lot more than that. A lot more. <laughs> um, we're going to take it under, uh, under £20, though, because that's what we do here at Jewellery Maker. Yeah. We are not even stopping Ooh. at 19 pounds and 99 pence. Now I have quanti uh, slightly more of these. Given the popularity of 925 sterling silver, we always order more. Um, now I've got, gosh, it's a big gram weight in this bracelet, isn't it? I've only just clocked that. Um, if you multi-bought, you could actually turn it into a full uh, sort of Elsa Peretti multicolored gemstone inspired necklace, maybe oh, just yes. looping the two together. Um, uh, or you can do exactly like I've done, and I've literally got all three colors, and I wear them literally alongside one another on the, on the list. In 30 seconds, we're going even lower. Dahlia, Leslie, Alison, Manchester, Carol, London, Barbara, hello to you all. Margaret, I can see you there. New customers getting involved on the phone lines as well. It is a free phone telephone number, and if you're shopping with us for the very first time welcome to the wonderful world of jewelrymaker.com and um, remember you only have until nine o'clock this hour to make your confirmations otherwise guess what like a magic act they'll have disappeared from your basket and that quite literally is i'll tell you the reasoning for it we can go lower but they're on a curfew at those prices does that make sense um, it will go back to that the original price um, after nine o'clock so 17.99 for you today how beautiful. Do you know, my best friend, and we've been friends since we were, we were, I was three years old. Um, we went through school together and everything. And my best friend, she's only petite. She's really petite. She's a tiny, tiny little dot. Um, and she doesn't like big jewellery. She doesn't like sort of the... She said, even if I had so much yeah. money, I would never wear yeah. sort of big diamonds or anything like that. This is right up her street. Yes, but I think this is... It's quite classic. So I think anybody can wear this. Yeah, really. definitely. Uh, whatever size, whatever age that you are you know if you if you like more statement jewelry then layer them up as you were saying earlier you know you, that's what you, i do two yeah. or three in the same color or different colors and, and at the same time we're saying all of this it's over two grams of sterling silver so yeah. it's quite a significant piece and four top quality gemstones and we're gonna go again Ooh. we're gonna clear the vault today 
on the sterling silver, these are going to be gone. I don't think they're going to have a, um, another airing on our live show. Nobody's paying £39.99. Nobody's paying £19.99. Nobody's even paying £17.99. Do you know, I reckon you'd be hard pushed if you, if you strutted on into somewhere like Ernest Jones and said, look, I'm, I'm looking for an amethyst bracelet. Yeah. I'm not talking about the other gemstones, but I'm looking for an amethyst bracelet for, for so-and-so. Um, I think you'd be hard pushed to find just that one single stone on a sterling silver chain at anywhere near the price that's on your screen. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean... Probably a, a plain silver bracelet, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, exactly, without any gemstones. That's yeah. a really good point. We are going lower, though. Elsa Pretty, Diamonds by the Yard was the inspiration. And it's not just us. Loads of big designers have actually taken that inspiration. Um, some of the biggest names and biggest celebrities have all been pictured wearing it. A little bit like the, the Alhambra of Van Cleef. Yes. That's what the Diamonds uh, uh, diamonds by the Yard, or in this case, Multicoloured Gemstones by the Yard, um, inspiration is. I'm holding my breath for you. Uh, it's a, yeah, you try and find a sterling silver bracelet on its own without the gemstones encrusted within. Yeah. No. At fourteen ninety nine, that's crazy low, Roscoe. <laughs> crazy low. Even without that garnet, amethyst, citrine, and peridot, if it was just a chain of sterling silver in a beautiful bracelet, which would be lovely, at £14.99, pence, that would be unbelievable. But you do get those gorgeous gems. And I really like also how the, um, how the links in the chain sort of complement the shapes of yeah. the gemstones, the, those round links. Yeah, beautiful belcher. It's really been uh, thought through well, hasn't it? Incredible quality. Well done. I can see some Christmas uh, Christmas presents being bought, I think, this morning because there's lots of multi-buyers on this. And, and you know what? If you do things like uh, you do things like your Christmas markets or your, your fairs and your craft events, if you got hold of this, put it in a pretty box, as Monica was saying, even if you doubled your price, that's still oh, a yeah. great deal, isn't it? Oh, you yeah, don't have absolutely. to do anything to it. Carola, Dahlia, Lynn, Sally, Helen, Manchester, Alison, Leslie, Sylvia, Maker, Lynn, Alison, loads of you there. Keep dialing through. Well done. Can we do those pearls, Ross? I can't. I literally can't wait any longer. Oh, I can't. I love those. They're available for 29 minutes. Well, I'll be honest. They'll probably they'll be snapped up before that. I'm going to borrow this bus for a second because if you can imagine yourself, and I say this all the time, if you imagine yourself sort of walking down... Bond Street or Hatton Garden or Milan or, or, or Paris in, the, in amongst the finest jewellery houses in the world, that's where you will see pearls of this grade. And I've never made a secret of it, and I will always say it every time I bring you pearls like this to air, I buy pearls like this, not just for my benefit, because I think they're absolutely stunningly beautiful, I buy them for my children, because I know um, or chances are they're not going to be able to source pills like this in the future for anywhere near. In fact, they can't right now. Even if they were old enough to, they couldn't. But they they couldn't replace these pills for the price that we're about to offer you them for. These are uber rare. Pills are cultured, so you can get natural cut pills, but they're millions, by the way. But a cultured pearl, so basically farmed is really 99% of what is on the market right now. However, there are very rare anomalies, and that's when they are naturally colored and naturally metallic. I have four of these available, and they are breathtakingly beautiful. Um, this is why, and I've said it before, I know I'm sounding like a, a broken record here, but we need to be selling rose gold, 18 karat rose gold class and, uh, and yellow gold class, because that's precisely what I would put this on. Literally on an 18 karat gold clasp, I would then look at getting it valued and insured, yes. um, because <clears throat> um, it needs to be. Um, <laughs> we get items insured purely because if heaven forbid they did get lost or stolen, you, you know, am I going to be able to re replace it? Well, I can answer that straight away no you won't be able to replace it at, even if we were to stop at 999 yeah. because our suppliers have already told us we can't continue to bring you strands of this rarity so rainbow overtones do you notice here you've got the beautiful golds almost like a almost like a canary buttery gold you've got your papaya peaches you've got your purple sashes you've got pistachio greens these are not coated or they're unbelievable they're, they're not coated or dyed in that way this is all how the mollusk has actually passed on the color but it happens very rare like i said earlier on it's a it's, it's, a, it's an anomaly of nature where the the pearl that's falling forming within that mollusk over 
probably three, four years of this size, and individually in each mollusk as well, yes. has migrated ever so slightly out to the circumference of the pearl, and that's where it achieves that amount of colour. Uber rare, though, because it's not something that can be uh, uh, instigated. Does that make sense? So that means to actually to acquire as many of those anomalies of nature to make a full strand, it, ex it makes logical sense to us now why our, our suppliers are saying, we can't do this anymore. Yes. You are probably talking at least a decade until that possi possibility is even entertained. And then you might be priced out. So do, do, do get them if you love them. Get them now because we're not going to be able to continue to offer deals like this. £499. Listen, when I was in the jewellers back in my early 20s, they never had anything like this. They didn't. They had Tahitian, they had South Sea, they had Akoya, all at tens of thousands of pounds. These are actually rarer. These are rarer than your standard South Sea pearl. These are rarer than your Akoya pearl. They're rarer than your Tahitian because they are naturally coloured. Um, um, so heaven knows what the price would have been. At £499, do you know, Ross has said in my ear, and Ross, we see probably hundreds of pearls on a, daily, on, on, on a yearly basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, certainly. These are some of the best I've seen. Would you agree? Yeah. They're so good they don't look real. <laughs> exactly. And isn't it amazing how every single one is different, but then they all go together, though? Yeah. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at the measurements though, 12 to 15 millimetres. In terms of rarity, if a South Sea pearl of equivalent size, that, if I was then to relate it back to the diamond worlds, a South Sea pearl of this size is equivalent to like a three carat diamond, Charlie yeah. Barron said. Well, these are rarer than a South Sea pearl yeah. because they're naturally coloured. So I, I can't even put that comparison into play. You're getting the full strand, not at £499. Do you know what? I would want to create, and this is, I, I, I'm kind of oh, letting the cat out of the bag here. I want to, I'm trying to create a collection of clasps in gold, not necessarily here at Jewelry Maker, but that would replicate this beautiful rippled pearl. Oh, Can you imagine oh, that? Perfect, yes. Oh, three seven nine wow. you can get it home today for under 100 pounds on naught percent interest split pay that's over four monthly payments if you don't get this then i definitely am definitely this one here yeah. oh my goodness me see I, I would make these go a long way because you could take that one that you were pointing to take yep. that one out and put it on its own as a pendant on a chain then I would take off two of them, make a pair of earrings. Yep. And then I would take another one off to be the focal point in a bracelet. Yep. Um, and then that way you've got the options. If you just want to wear one, then you can wear that if you want to be more understated. But then you can, you can take the rest of them and you can pearl knot them. And then I'd rather put an extension chain or some smaller pearls at the back because you don't want to hide um, no. them at the back of your neck. No, neck, no. Unless, you know. of course, you've got an updo. Yeah. Unless, um, I'm going to leave that with you because we only had four of them and I, we're over allocated on that. They're available until nine o'clock. Get them home. Use your 30 day money back guarantee. And do you know what? How many, how many retailers will actually say this to you? I want you to go into a high end jeweler and make sure it is high end that really appreciates pearls and understands the rarity of pearls. Um, and, and get their feedback because they're not going to say, don't tell them the price that you paid. Um, but they're going to be blown away by how beautiful they are. Okay, uh, speaking of, this is coming up as well. Coming up as your early bird. Oh. Not too long to wait, and you can actually shop ahead. It's a beautiful, spherical, naturally coloured purple pearl that our lovely Anne and Sue have set within a rose gold chain. How pretty is that? How beautiful is that? Um, it's going lower than what you're seeing on the website, though. Okay, now, Herkimer Quartz, um, or Herkimer Diamonds, because it's mm -hmm. sometimes referred to as that discovered in New York City. Um, you get, it's a, what we call doubly terminated, so you get these really beautiful sort of prism-like shapes at either end of the crystal formation itself. Totally natural. Often it has these really gorgeous, almost like salt and pepper diamonds, aren't they? Yes. Very yes. similar to a salt and pepper diamond. Look at that one. Look at that shard of Herkimer. Now, yeah. I've got 80 opportunities. We're going to do it in one price crash, and they will sell out. And that crash will be... Uh, what? Did, did he just say what I thought he yeah, did? Yeah, <laughs> At the beginning of this year, when I was going over to Tucson, I actually spoke to our team and said, can we get some Herkimer? And, and they were like, 
I'm talking about Jake and, uh, and our Gems crew. They're like, Herkimer? Herkimer? They'd not even heard of Herkimer diamonds. Um, basically, the answer was no. We couldn't get hold of it. We're going to take this under five pounds today. <laughs> under five pounds. Look at the one jeweler that we found. One single Herkimer, which by, I think they've, I think they've taken away the beauty of a Herkimer in the yeah. fact that they're not celebrating that double termination. Yeah, exactly. They've almost exactly. covered it, haven't yeah. they? Um, in their sale, £34. You can see that really beautiful sort of salt and pepper diamond S beauty. I'm not saying these are diamonds. It is a variety of quartz, but it's referred to, as you can see on this website, as Herkimer diamonds. They are stunningly beautiful. Um, yeah, discovered in New York City, which I always find quite exciting. Yes, yeah, that's interesting. Um, you're going to get it. The whole strand for under £5, but... Only for a further 21 minutes, though. Um, yeah, be quick on this one. It's always uber popular. Great in amongst maybe some, like, ivory white pearls or maybe with something like... Do you know, this would be lovely with your uh, white onyx, I think. Oh, yes, yes. But then it can also go completely the other way and, and you can make it look... Because it's quite a contemporary strand, I think. So it can be almost uh, quite gothic and quite... Um, yeah. Something like black spinel or yes. something like that would be quite cool, or yes. onyx, or a jet possibly, or, so, or something, something, yeah, like jet that isn't quite so shiny, yeah. something a bit more frosty. I, it, I agree. It has got this sort of gothic like vibe. Or maybe to with it. lava rock. Though. Oh, cool! Oh, really um, and of course, full of fire and full of scintillation. These are naturally fa naturally faceted. Mother Nature has done this faceting. Not it's not been done by man. Um, it, that's literally how they are unearthed. And you get this double, what we call double termination. They're fascinating gemstones at 499 uh, 499 499 I said then <laughs> <For> <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 to 9 in the morning and I'm talking about wine I promise I promise I'm okay um 499 um but they will sell out at that price like of course Mary Allison Thomas Rachel Haley Dorothy Susan Jacqueline Elizabeth hello Katura darling are we reading your, your showing off your piece on the wall of fame today um Isabel Maker Lavinia hello to you Lynn Janet Sandra Sherry Cheryl Hampshire, Maker, Belinda, Allison. Sorry, you're there as well. Hello, Isabel. Make sure you check out. They are available literally for 19 minutes. And then they'll disappear. Disappear like magic. Um, that's why they've gone as low as they have. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 60. We don't have anywhere near that quantity now, though. It's got to be, got to be at least half the stock. Um, at least the half the stock ha has disappeared. Uh, hello, Maya. Hello to you, Katura. Hello to you, Anthony and Kay. Lynn, Cheryl, Diane, Sandra, Susan in Northamptonshire. Well done to you, Elizabeth. Um, I can't keep up with you now. And for some reason, our call screen is bouncing all over the place. Um, new customers, I can see you there on the phone lines. As Can I see you as well, Janet? Stay where you are and our call centre will get to you. I promise you of that. Beautiful scintillation, amazing sparkle and natural facets. Now, somebody has just requested number 11. Okay. Guess what? We'll do it now. We'll do it right now. Oh, good. Top, top request. Now, this is a Wayne purchase, and I've just seen the man himself step into the gallery. Wayne has dealt with gemstones um, for decades, quite literally decades. And this is from our cover to collection. So what I mean by that is it's the best grade that we have ever offered you in this gemstone. And we've nailed it on this strand, I have to tell you. Um, fire opal, so it comes within the little black, uh, little black box. Fire opal is not necessarily about play of color. It's more about the translucency of the gemstone. Um, <clears throat> it is a gem that literally forms alongside volcanoes and you get that wonderful heat that amazing oh the oohs and ahs from the gallery with this strand i know and um, you get that lovely heat you get that wonderful intensity that passion i've only got eight i i, I launched this and i remembered how popular it was um, we've never we've never done a fire opal of this quality before it's the best we've ever ever seen do you see that translucency so you, it's not necessarily a particular color which is the most important thing um, it's about the translucency within each and every single one of those stones um, and the, the strand has got red crimsons pure white uh, canary yellows it is 
breathtaking. I'm just going to read maybe a couple of uh, sentences out of the jewellery editors, um, a few of their articles, celebrating the rarity of fire opal. And they said, fire opal jewellery glows with an inner fire saturated with every hue of red and orange. The fiery gemstone that entranced the Aztecs continues to captivate today with their blood orange tones. Fire opal jewellery turns up the heat. I love it. And you can see it, can't you? So if you've got a fiery personality, I think this is most definitely a gemstone that you should be um, including. Fire opals are truly spectacular, sparkling with an inner fire saturated with every hue of red and orange on the spectrum. Um, and then it goes on to talk about, um, about different high-end jewelers that are actually working with it. Tiffany's and Co, Kimberly McDonald. Here is that Tiffany's and Co piece. Uh, some gems like Mexican fire opal are destined to outshine all others. Find out why this fiery gemstone is basking in the spotlight. And it so is. We've got only a handful of these left. Only a handful. Season sunset fire opal earrings. Look how beautiful those colours are. Let's take it under a hundred pounds and i'm going to tell you lovely jewelry makers that we are not going to stop there either there are five left in the building you have 16 minutes to uh, you've probably got less than that because there's interest in this you've got 15 minutes to make your confirmations it doesn't get any better than this in fire opal for the final four four that's all we've got left triple a grade 49 wow. pounds and 99 pence it is full of intensity full of translucency full of saturation and passion it, it, it's one of those gemstones that absolutely commands attention yeah my mom went on a cruise once and um you know cruises they have jewelry shops yeah, and they have a, sort shop. of uh, shows that they talk about the jewelry and whatever and the whole shop on this cruise ship was just fire opal really so you can imagine the prices <laughs> I can. My, my, my next door neighbour that I used to live by, she had a fire opal engagement ring and she, she was only little. Uh, oh. And she, <coughs> we used to go shopping together and things like that. And she used to say to me, it matches my personality because <laughs> um, she was quite fiery as well. Just beautiful. I think it's really distinctive, very unique. And it's a lovely twist on sort of your more traditional, say, Australian opal. Forty nine ninety nine. Jenny, Joanne, Gillian, Gloucestershire, London, West Midlands. Hello to you. Margaret, I can see there. New customers as well and there are multi-buyers well done triple a grade from our coveted collection we are one auction away from that beautiful pearl which you can actually shop ahead now i mean how perfect would that be as a finished piece of jewelry um so that's item number one i'm gonna do uh uh i can't see a magnetic clasp oh it's okay there it is um three designs magnetic clasps revolutionary i think to any jewelry wearer not just jewelry maker um obviously avoid if you do wear a pacemaker because it's quite a strong magnet within these but instead of messing around with finley clasps behind the back of your head or maybe on your wrist which gets tricky and gets if you're like me and has a relatively short fuse um <laughs> then uh, magnetic clasps literally they find one another don't they i'll show you just how simple that is you get the three designs as well so you've almost you've got that heart um you've got almost like a barrel and then i don't really know how to describe this shape <clears throat> maybe like a a honeycomb i don't know um oh yeah or a bee's nest yes beehive oh a beehive that's it <laughs> not, not not nest um here we go look that's how simple it is wow. that is literally how simple a magnetic clasp is now we're at 20 pounds per magnetic clasp um, if you've got if, if you've got jewellery already, not just jewellery makers, if you've got jewellery at, at home that you struggle to wear, yeah. put a magnetic clasp on it. Honestly, it makes life so much easier. We're at twenty pounds per clasp. There's all that sterling silver. Would you like all three for twenty pounds today? Look, here we go. It's that simple. You saw how quickly that happened. I'm not. not I'm not even looking. Look. Ready? Just make sure they're in the right direction. Here we go. Uh, hang on, there you go. There you go. Not even looking at them and they've literally... Oh, I like how that one's gone, actually. Even opposites, yeah. Can you ah. see? So you can actually create that in two different 
two different shapes, so like a paisley-like design. Um, you're getting all three for 19.99. Going wow. back to, it must have been about 2013 when I was on our American, our, our, our then the, uh, American channel. I launched the magnetic clasps, and they were um, not far off that price tag for one. So you're getting an amazing deal for all three. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Please do bear with our call center. Um, you've got 18 minutes. Is that right? You've got 12 minutes. There are 18 of these within the vault. Is that what you meant to say? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 18 of them left. There is a bit of a queue. Lynn, Dot, Worcestershire, Alison, Maker, 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 Manchester, Karen, Patsy, Dahlia. Make sure you check out your baskets, lovely jewellery makers. Um, good morning. Uh, hello to you, Rachel, saying, number one, please. It's so beautiful. Well, that's your early bird, and it is coming up next now i'm excited as excited as you and that's exactly what i said as well this morning when i saw your early bird firstly i want you to remember your five virtues just before we dive into this so we can really sort of absorb the quality and the scale of this opportunity your early bird ticks every single one of those five virtues you have size this is absolutely enormous you have shape it is perfect round you have natural color not bleached or dyed. You have beautiful nacre, smooth nacre surface, and you have the luster. There are only 60 of these available. We look at the end result. Don't hesitate on this one. It's up next as your early bird. <laughs> Can I just hold this up to the neckline? Christmas morning, this is the kind of gift that if I opened, I would be over the moon. Wow. It's perfect in every, every single way. I'm gonna go through those virtues just quickly again. So that's like the four C's to your diamond. Size, this is enormous and it's double figure measurements shape I think most of you all know round is the most expensive still to this day color this is naturally colored it's not dyed it's not bleached it's not enhanced nacre which is much like our skin you should expect it to have a few little blemishes maybe um, the odd crease or wrinkle this is smooth perfect nacre surface and last, but I think most importantly, it has the most beautiful luster. All five virtues ticked and then some. Half drilled for our wonderful jewellery makers. So all you need to do is literally secure your bale of choice. I love the one that Anne and Sue have chosen for this piece. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then present it in your luxury box. It's gonna to come to you like so, which I wanna show you because <clears throat> when it's on a white background, that's really how we should be looking at our pearls. Um, how, that's how you really, if there were any imperfections, if there were any blemishes or flaws, they would stand out on a, on, on a white background. But look wow. at how beautiful, and I will remove that perspex in a second because that's what we're looking at here. Um, the quality of this pearl is absolutely remarkable. I wanna join you on this opportunity because that right there, um, we had 60 of them. I've now got less than 50 of them, 47 wow. remain. Now you've got eight minutes to make that confirmation. 13 and a half millimeters, it's absolutely ginormous. It's huge, one of the biggest actually we've done. There's that drill hole so that you can secure your bale um, into place. Look elsewhere, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna quickly, very quickly, can I, can I show those, that PowerPoint? So at the beginning of, um, at the beginning of that article, you know, Yoko of London, they sell pearls exactly like this. If you bought two, you could replicate that design if you wish. £8,000 for those earrings. Um, next one, here are two purple freshwater pearls, precisely what you are getting right now. Um, in fact, the size on them, similar, actually, 13 and a half millimetres. Um, do we have, there we go, sold for 1500 US dollars. Sold. That's just for two. The next wow. piece is 
a single natural purple pearl. And it says straight away, this is one for the pearl collectors out there. Um, a gorgeously lustrous uh, cultured pearl, 13.6, again, about the same size as what I have before me. Um, and it's sold at 1,100 US dollars. The beaders have literally just made this necklace to my left. Um, so, you know, all right, that's on 14 karat gold. You could do exactly the same if you wanted to. We chose it to go in sterling silver just because that's what we sell here at JM. But, I mean, I don't think it's unrealistic to, ex to, to, to I don't know, ask or if you retail your jewellery, maybe say, oh, that's £200 or £250. And that's me being conservative. Wow. 49.99 for a 13 and a half millimetre natural wow. pearl. Gosh. That is flawless. Can you find a blemish on the nacre skin? Look at how reflective that luster is. You can literally see the floodlights in our studio. And probably, if yeah, you can see my reflection if I wave my hand. Are you ready? I'm going to join you on this opportunity. They're the most beautiful. They're the most. Uh, can you imagine them in a full suite of jewelry? You've got six. How many? Six minutes. <gasps> Twenty nine ninety nine. For that pearl, you're joking. It's huge, isn't it? God. It's absolutely huge. Wow. If it was half that size, I would maybe expect that price tag to be more realistic in the JM bubble. Yeah. But twenty nine ninety nine. Joanne, wow. are you doing a suite or are you thinking Christmas gifts? Alison, Theresa, London. We've got retailers getting involved right now. Virginia, hello to you. I'm not surprised because you can literally buy. You could go on to so some of our closest competitors purchase um, and this is only my mind I don't know 14 karat gold bale much like we've just shown on that single pearl pendant and sell it they, well, they're selling uh, they sold online for $1,100 even if we're conservative and said 300 pounds it takes seconds yeah. to make a piece of jewelry oh, yeah. like this yeah just a tiny little bit of glue in there in your bale or whatever you're using to attach it to and it's done we're not stopping there though what <laughs> Hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. How many? Oh, we've only got 58. Or rather, we had. I'll tell you how many we've got now, 39. If there's any of them left, I'm all over these. This is the pearl. These are the pearls. You know, I said I always buy, str I buy strands for the girls as well as for me. Uh, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I also want to gift lovely pearls to my nearest and dearest, you know, my mother-in-law. I want to gift them to my sister-in-law, uh, who's imminently expecting a baby. I'm very exciting. I mean, how nice Aww. would it be if I could Aww. gift her a, a, a huge pearl wow. like this? It's wow. an estate pearl, isn't it? We're going even lower at £29.99. Unbelievable. Ticking all those virtue boxes. You've got 20 seconds until we physically see that price drop, but the reality is they are flying out of the vault today. Perfectly drilled as well, if I can find it again. There it is. Um, so literally position your bale of choice into the drill hole. And then when it's actually complete, if I pop it back in there, you can see it there. Um, how beautiful that's going to be as a finished piece of jewellery. Not stopping there, though. Fiona, Dahlia, Virginia, Jacqueline, Victoria. If you want that quantity, Victoria, I would check out sooner rather than later. Um, <laughs> Roscoe has just said, I'm disgusted in myself <laughs> by this, Bryce. You should be appalling. That's oh, appalling. No. Ross, Ross, oh. absolutely disgusting price for something of this quality mm. in the best possible way. I say that in a positive. You know it's not really. Uh, uh, if they don't sell out, I would be very, very, very surprised. Let me get that beautiful pendant over once more. I mean, look at that. Does that look like a £20 piece of jewellery? All right, just over because you've got to, you've got to uh, uh, sort of add the bail and you've got to add the chain itself. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. But, I mean, with the chains that we have uh, on the show, you could make that for £30 then. Yeah. That's not a £30 piece of jewellery. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Unbelievable. Karen, Helen, Nancy, Fiona, well done to you. Mary, Valentina, Northamptonshire, Maker, Maker, Lancashire, Jacqueline, two Jacquelines. Uh, make sure you do check out. You've got literally two minutes to make those confirmations. Hello, Mary and Ron the Cannon Taff. We can see you there. As long as you've got a phone in your hand, you're fine, darling. So don't worry. Speak to our call centre. But check out. Hello, Henry in Cheshire. Isn't it beautiful? 
absolutely stunning 20 pounds for a naturally colored pearl of 13 and a half millimeters in size just bonkers you know this is the kind of pearl that back when i was in those jewelers would have still been probably closer to well it would have been that price it would have been the 1000 price tag yeah and i'm going back 20 oh, odd yeah. years ago yeah i would have seen this at a four figure price no no if buts or maybes i'm absolutely certain of that i'll leave it with you <coughs> because I've literally, I'm going to try and squeeze in a couple more. Um, okay. We have got a bale for you if you want one. If you want to add it to your order, it's not physically here in the studio, um, but we can show you the details. Um, this has actually got a little, a little beautiful amber. Should be twelve ninety nine, oh. but we've dropped it down to nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. We can't crash up. That's, that's gorgeous, isn't it? It would go perfectly with that lavender pearl. So if you want to grab hold of that, you definitely can. Shall we do um, the pull-through earrings? Pull through. Oh, there. These are beautiful. Oh, it's like a little tiny little mini kit. So you've got, you've got two perfect pearls. Did I go a bit Nessa then, Adam? Oh, here we are. Sterling silver. Can you see that? And I'll hold one with a pair of tweezers. There you are. So basically you feed this section through your ear and it sits just here in the earlobe. Just below you've got that little, uh, little what we call pegs. Um, glue that into place with your half drilled, beautiful ivory pearls, which are just stunning. Again, luxury jewelry. Now these have been on air before. They absolutely flew. We're gonna do it on two crashes. They are 925 precious metal. Um, first price crash, not what you're paying. Then we're gonna go again. These would be lovely, Monica, with your nine o'clock kits. They would, yes. And, you know, I've been wanting to get these a few times when they were on before and I kept missing them. So. Um, you, better, you best do it now. I think I'm going to miss them again. You might, you might have to do it now. <laughs> We've just halved the price. And, the, uh, and we're going to go again. There are only 40 of these remaining. So, yeah, Monica, if you want them, you're going to have to do it now. Do it now. And you're probably better off doing it now, actually rather than purchasing, even as a member of staff. We're going even lower. There are 40 left within the vault. They're so beautiful. And you know the movement that you get from these, um, <clears throat> because instead of just having sort of a butterfly back, which is sort of hidden at the back of the lobe, um, you've got that beautiful movement and cascade within the sterling silver, said to elongate the neckline, uh, ladies, which apparently, I mean, I don't know, I'm no expert, apparently is one of the most attractive areas of, uh, of a woman's body. Oh, right. Apparently. If that's if that interests you, if not, I just like the movement of them. I like how they sort of swing. Um, they're not over the top, too. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, definitely. You could wear these uh, to the office. You could yeah. wear them out to lunch. Yeah. Or even just shopping. And you can you can do different looks with that because depending on how far you pull it through, you can pull them. You can pull the pearl right up to your ear and then yeah. have a longer bit dangling down the back. Nice. Or you can have it sort of halfway and then have the two two shorter bits. Twelve ninety nine, oh. Monica. I mean, that's an amazing deal for the for the duo of pearls. They're really easy to put in as well. If I actually just show you, these are studio samples, so don't worry. And obviously, the pearls not attached to these, but but look, they they sit really beautifully within the ear. They're really comfortable because you've got that that that, that curved. Can you see the curved bar which sits in the ear itself? There's the peg at the bottom, so you get an idea of uh, so the movement you get within these as well. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence, diamond cut sterling silver chain. Um, I, again, all you need is a little bit of what your E six thousand or your hypo cement glue um to make those luxury pairs of earrings great for bridal jewelry as well you know because not every bride wants to wear the sort of the traditional designs yeah. um so yeah great if you are looking for a sort of a modern twist um whilst maintaining that sort of traditional uh, beauty well done i've got one more auction before we dive into the break and it is going to be sterling silver three stand what Oh yes, you get oh you get two, you get you you get you get the pair of them, sterling silver three strand, beaded toggle clasp. So does that? Someone's just asked. Uh, what would the earrings? Oh yes, do you want me to sit? Do you, should we have a quick? We, great idea. Um, oh, that's a great idea. There are fourteen of the pearls left, by the way, so you will need to be quite quick. Um, should, we, should, should we have a little gander what it looks like? Okay. And obviously this is only going to be sort of put, held into place. So take the bail of your... Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah, they work, don't they? Oh, that's perfect. Can you imagine those on? Oh, my goodness. Obviously, you need to get two. Yeah. But that's what? £40 for your, for your natural lavender pearl of 13 and a half millimetres and twelve ninety nine for the sterling silver earrings. How beautiful. Love that idea. Genius. Thank you for messaging in. Amazing. You know what to do. Make sure you do check out those baskets. Um, there's only a handful of them left. Or do you know what? You could literally just couple, uh, cut away the sterling silver of your earrings, use those elsewhere because you've got the belts to chain, so enough yep. to sort of uh, wrap loop onto and use the bail if you want it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Use the bail to yeah. attach it to a pendant. Well done. OK, the last auction of your lounge hour. So you've literally got this auction and to make your confirmations if item, uh, items haven't already sold out loads of detail within these toggles and you don't just get the one you are getting two of them as well 925 oh. sterling silver and uh, you've got the three loops so um three loops gives, means that you can basically create your multi rows you can yes and it's great for twisted necklaces as well because obviously if you twist it with the, with the three loops it's not going to untwist yeah whereas if you have just a single loop and you you thread let's say three strands onto a single loop and you twist it, it's going to untwist. Yeah, whereas this will keep it there. Yeah. Amazing. Um, two sterling silver, uh, 925, three-stranded beaded effect toggle clasps, 1999. It's a big amount of sterling silver. Look, you've got three grams across the two. We are closing this lounge style hour out with a bang today. How many do I have, Roscoe? We've got 100. Who wants them for five pounds each? They're nine two five sterling silver. We're not talking about base metal. They are precious metal. Five pounds per toggle clasp, and they're not small either. Twenty one millimeters in their size. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Five pound each, as Monica said. Integral, really. If you want to do things like the twist, yeah. you know, how often do I sort of twist those per, uh, like a, a bundle of pearls across oh, the neckline? Yeah. Oh yes, yes. They'd be perfect for that, wouldn't they? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, yeah. And you've got the sterling silver investment within these as well to really support that weight itself. I had a hundred, but there are a lot of you there and a lot of you stocking up your stashes this morning. I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday morning thus far. Um, we've got such an exciting show for you. One of the most spectacular kits coming up in the nine o'clock hour. We've got Dave Tross launching for the very first time, White Onyx as well. Um, your deed of the day, Red Spinel. And you've got some really beautiful slider bracelets as well, which uh, in fact, the Red Spinel comes along with the slider bracelet which is amazing um they're coming up at 11 a.m today sorry beg your pardon so we've got dave or we've got dave coming on at 10 is that right um and then your red spinel is happening at 11 o'clock so uh, make sure you're with us now coming up in the next hour we've all said it this is the best kit we've ever seen yep. Yeah. The price on it is amazing. Um, the, the individual, every single individual component is one of our high end luxurious pieces. Yes. So Monica, literally all your Christmases have come at <laughs> once. Yeah. Type A jadeite, um, master carvings, high goose, black jadeite in different size strands and sterling silver. You've got, you're about to save hundreds on this kit, yeah. but, and it's a pretty big but but there are only 70. Don't go anywhere. It is coming up after a very short break, the most beautiful, luxurious kit you could possibly wish to own. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Lovely jewellery makers, this coming Wednesday at 10am, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Dave Troth. As some of you may know, Dave launched some time ago an entire sellout of natural white onyx. 
One thing that we did not see during that showcase was cabochons. I'm super excited to tell you that this coming Wednesday, we are launching for the very first time the White Onyx Collection. Beautiful examples of this natural gemstone in cabochons. Don't miss out on your opportunity. As I said, last time these were brought to air, they were entire sellouts. Uber Air, ultimately so beautiful. That's this Wednesday at 10 a.m. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend for some of the most incredible uh, Jadeite auctions. And on top of that, we're launching a brand new gemstone that I've very recently encountered in Hong Kong. I can't wait to share all of the information about that. Extremely rare, only known to occur on two places on the planet. And we have some of the finest examples of that to share with you. And then the return of the legendary Queen Kong. It's gonna be a jam-packed weekend and I'm hoping uh, to see all of you join me. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. This coming Saturday on Jewelry Maker, we have got the most amazing kits at midday with the incredible pearly queen herself, Linda Brumwell. Now, these pearls, when we think of potato pearls, do we think about a five mil, a six mil? We're talking South Sea pearl size. We're talking 11 to 12 mil on strands, I kid you not. And there's a variety of pearls coming your way. So please do make sure you join myself, the Pearly Queen and Extra Large Pearls at midday this coming Saturday. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. Um, this kit's going to literally blow your mind. It's got to be, it has to be the biggest saving that we've ever offered you in a kit. Literally hundreds of pounds. And Ross, prior to the show, went through each component that we have brought to air individually in the past. Um, wrote down the prices that they've been taken to. So the lowest price that we've taken each component to. And then totted it all up to get the overall price. And what you were sent, Monica, was over £400. Yeah, I can believe that. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's still amazing. Please understand that would still be amazing yeah. at that price. You're not going to be paying £400 for this kit today. It's, it has to be one of the biggest price reductions we've ever, ever, ever done. Now, what are these components for those of you that have just tuned in? Well, if you admire Monica's beautiful creations, you will see Type A Natural Black Jadeite type A natural green jadeite in eight millimeters, in four millimeters, two high goo donuts, yes. and you've got your master carved butterfly, and you're getting some of the most uh, heavy gram weights of 925 sterling silver, but there are only 70 opportunities. Mm. I think we all know, or certainly regular viewers know, that this is not sustainable for us. 
Yeah. We can't sustain, continue to bring type A grade to our audience. We haven't sugarcoated it. We haven't tried to hide the fact that this is not, this is not achievable moving forward. Yeah. Um, we've been completely transparent. And it's always good that we do that, don't you? Because if, we don't, if, we, if we're not sharing that knowledge with you, when, when the inevitable does happen, which it is inevitable, and we have to offer you type B and C, you know, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be cross if we didn't share with you that, that, that information. So we are being completely upfront. So we knew that was happening. We knew it was, it was going to be on the horizon. We knew that type A grade was becoming harder and harder and harder to source. And quite simply because uh, post-pandemic, the world opening back up again, uh, the East wants the Jadeite back and they will pay. They will pay a lot for it. But something else happened which changed the, the diversity of Jadeite. And that was the mines closure in Burma. We didn't see it coming. The Burmese mine was operational for 800 years and closed only a couple of weeks ago. So not only did the East want this gemstone back, you know, the history is their gemstone really in yeah. their eyes. Of course, yeah. Um, all of a sudden now, this uh, the number one supplying location, source of this gemstone, uh, the Burmese mine, Closure is only going to push that price up even further. Sally Hewer, who is the lady really that brought you, myself, uh, and many of our amazing collectors, type A jadeite, has actually said, she's in a recorded video message. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's, in, um, it's in Mandolin, isn't it? So, uh, Mandarin, so, so, so we actually uh, uh, had to translate it. But we've put it down, sort of the key message. Um, in text. And she said, the jade mines are closed. There is no jadeite mining as of last month. There is nothing in the market here at China. Um, even my team are now almost exclusively working with type B. Um, and the prices are more than previous type A, type B being, being died, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not selling my type A from my inventory because the pri uh, prices are sky high. All vendors now are holding back material. So she's basically saying to us, I can't continue to supply you. We are not buying anymore because it is far too expensive. I don't think this is sustainable. That's what her message there. Very clear. Uh, and it, it's a real shame. You know, we'll continue to obviously keep in touch with Sally Hewer, but um, unfortunately she's like, I can't. I can't supply you. We don't have it. I'm not selling what I've got because it is so expensive. The situation is very bad if you're a buyer, but very good if you're a seller. But can I re almost reconstruct Sally's sentence there? The situation is very bad if you're a buyer anywhere outside Jewelry Maker. If, you, uh, if you're buying here at Jewelry Maker, it's actually very, very good because we haven't taken the, the, you know, the situations of what's gone on um, recently um, in terms of the 700% the, the price increase um, of Jadeite, even prior to, that was before the mine closed. Um, we haven't taken that information and then upped our prices, quite the opposite. So it's very good for you right now. Two months ago, I could buy and sell, she's talking about Olmec here, top gem for mid-price range, and now it's the most expensive in the market. It's the only jade in the market, and they are silly prices. It's the only, uh, one of the only operational uh, mines in the world. I can't uh, give a number, but in two months, pieces that I sell, um, sell you of blue jade for $200, that would be more than $2,000 today from my stock. This is the situation right now. And that's across the board, whether it's Burmese, whether it's Olmec, the jade prices are astronomical. But what you are sourcing right now is still from that amazing parcel that we sourced at the beginning of the pandemic, when the whole world shut down, when um, the Hong Kong trade show was not couldn't be run, and when the likes of Sally and Bernard literally had shipments sat in the Hong Kong harbour, costing them thousands upon thousands of pounds on a daily basis. I'll go back, though, and say that this, this totals over £400 ordinarily at jewellery maker prices. And they are fantastic prices. We've got it in a kit, and you'll get seeing the biggest saving, I think, that we've ever done. Now, the amount of type A jade, not type B, not type C, yeah. that you are getting in this kit is 
enormous. I almost had to double check that this was all one kit. <laughs> I, I'm not surprised. I would go through the specifications and think, oh, have they sent me maybe a bit too much here? Yeah. Because yeah. that happens sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> of course, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you get, I don't know, a, a, a strand might get added during the building process and then they'll go, oh, it's a bit expensive, we're going to substitute that out. Um, I, I get that, Monica, I do get that. Now, I'm going to show you some of the strands. Should we, do, should, we, should we break it down, Ross, individually? Yeah, I think should so, we, yeah. Should we, all together, 528 carats... 0.5, yeah, 528.5 carats of type A jade in one individual kit. Has to be the biggest carat weight we've done. Has to be. There are 70 available. Now, this is the 8 millimeter type A jadeite. This one here, you are looking at 190 carats, yeah. type A grade. Multicolors, it's so shades of green. So you've got your sort of aqua colors, you've got your apple blossom colors, you've got some of your mutton fat, mostly greens, <clears throat> but <clears throat> mutton fat shades just here. So this is a hundred pound strand, right? Easily. Easily. Yeah. 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 99 yeah. 99 That's the yeah. lowest price this strand has actually sold for previously. Should we do some black jade? Takes three, uh, three times three times longer than any other color of jadeite. It is millions of years older. This is, oh, the finest quality black, black jadeite should be intense in color and feel like silk. So this is 120 carats, type A, black. And what's that? 125 carats, sorry. Type A grade, so natural, six mil rounds. Seven, a crazy price that is. Seventy-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence for this strand. I would have said that one was at least a hundred as Me well. Me too. Yeah. I, I, and I have to say that out loud again. The best quality type A jadeite, um, sorry, black jadeite, is intense in colour and should feel like silk. Tick, tick, tick. Now let's bring you another strand. <laughs> type A grade, four millimeters white jadeite. Uh, Richard Wise said it should be considered the finest of its type. What's that? Oh, we've sold that for forty nine ninety nine. Crazy, wow. crazy, crazy, crazy. Still not done. Three green, black, and white. You've got three of the colours. Most people on this planet, outside of the jewellery maker bubble, don't own any of those. Yeah. You know that's the reality here, and you've just ticked three boxes. Plus. We've got the most beautiful high goo. Now, there's a green. This is the green. We've sort of brought that to a sixty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Yeah, it's huge, absolutely huge. Twenty-five millimeters. Can you see the lavender in that? Yes, definitely. I was looking at that earlier. And then you have this one. It is lavender. It says what? That's, that, I'm sorry, that's a definite lavender. Gosh, that one on its own should be the price of this kit. Uh, unbelievable. Certified completely and utterly natural. You get both of those. Then, still not done. By the way, both $69.99. Then you also have your butterfly master carving. Hand carved. What? We did not do that for $29.99. That's like the Chantilly Suju uh, uh, carving. How beautiful. And that is double-sided as well. So that on its own, apparently, ridiculously, we've brought to air for $29.99. Now, that's all the jadeite. So 528 carats, 0.5. Um, three of your big colours, six pence shy of four hundred pounds for yeah. those three. Uh, those three, sorry, for one, two, three, four, five, six components. Six components yeah. You're not. We're not done there though, because you've also got nine two five sterling silver, the lotus flower, um, in these absolutely beautiful spaces. Um, they are double sided. They're sixteen pounds ninety nine because you get how many is it there? Six, and that takes you over 400 pounds. 
And then finally, you've got the little heart spacer beads. And these were $11.99 on our screen. So we've literally given you the price of each and every single one of these lovely components. They're gorgeous as well, aren't they? they so double-sided. Yeah. They're really sweet, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. Very, very usable as well, aren't they? They are. Everybody loves a heart, don't they? Absolutely. Monica, I'll say it again. All your Christmases came at once in this kit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's got to be... Uh, how, is it one of the most expensive kits you've ever worked with? It's the most expensive kit. I've yeah, ever thought so. Yeah. Thought so. I've had a jade kit before, but it, there was, wasn't half as much in Look at that, that Monica. That's gorgeous. And there's so many, uh, there's lots of holes in this. You can do different attachments. And actually, you were holding it sideways earlier on. It would actually look really nice sideways as well. I know it's supposed to be a butterfly, but I quite like it sideways. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's lace-like, isn't it? It's lace-like. And I, I have seen these. When we first launched them, I can't remember doing them at 29 99 actually multi-bought and, and, and having them alongside one another. So it's oh. like a kaleidoscope of butterflies. Oh, yes. Nice. Really beautiful. Um, huge amount, an absolute huge amount of beautiful jade eye in this kit. Two of the finest uh, high goos. So £428.00. And 92 pence is a total Gosh. if you were to buy each of these amazing components individually. But I did say at the beginning of this hour that you're going to get one of the most significant savings on your kit. Uh, and certainly the biggest carrot weight of type A jadeite that we can possibly offer you in a kit. In 60 seconds, it is happening. We have only 70. We have only 70 of them available. We always say that... Kits, with, with your kits, you get the biggest savings. So, for example, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that, this one out there for you. So, if you're going, oh, hang on a minute, Elle, because, um, I don't know, I, I only want this component, that component, this component, you're still probably better off getting the kit. Yeah, probably. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. um, if, even if you were only thinking there's a, only a couple of components within, um, within this kit that you're interested in, you will be better off getting involved with the kit because you'll get the other pieces at, at, at anyway. Um, there are only 70, and in 17 seconds, your graphics will appear on your screens. Simple knotting techniques, Monica. Yeah, I haven't done anything complicated. I will talk you through it all in a second. Um, I'm just holding my breath here for the break. I know, I know. <laughs> First come, first serve. These are. This is a legacy kit. It's it's an absolute legacy kit. How many times have you seen? How many times have we shown you um, black Type A jadeite for thousands of pounds? That one cabochon, say, at Car in a Cartier ring for thirty-five grand. How many times have we shown you um, uh, master carvings for thousands of pounds? You know, th th this is literally natural and carved with human hands. Every single jadeite piece, it is certified completely and utterly natural. To be honest, outside of Jewelry Maker, you're going to find it hard to source any one of those components at the price that we're taking this kit to. That's the reality for certified type A grade. You, don't get, you ain't going to find a butterfly carving for the price that we're taking this kit for. If you do, then let me know because I want to know. I'd be getting involved with them. I would, uh, you know, that, it, this kit is one of the biggest savings you've ever seen. Straight away, we have collectors and connoisseurs getting involved. I don't blame you. Thank you so much for trusting, uh, trusting us. I, I assure you, you will not be disappointed. You've got full, beautiful lavenders, pure whites, deep in Intense, silky, jet black type A jadeites, the shades of greens in your eight millimeter rounds, and you've got all of that sterling silver. Outside of here all day long, all oh, yeah. day long. Yeah, absolutely. You put, uh, pop along to Sotheby's, mm -hmm. pop along to uh, um, Bonham's or, or um, what's the other one? Christie's. You, you'd find type A jadeite there. And you'd find it in the four figures like this. You would? I mean, one of those strands uh, pearl knotted at one of those shops would be probably that price. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Just one. Yeah. Here's the grading system. I'm, I'm going to quickly show this to you because this is what we're going to have to get to grips with moving forward. Grade. Look down the side. It says A, B, and C. You, what I have on the back of my hand right now for you is type A, which is natural texture, natural color, no treatment, value appreciation, yes, safe to wear, yes. 
Type B and C, and look, we'll have to bring you this as well. Texture, uh, damaged, unnatural color, bleach with chemicals to remove impurities, value appreciation, no. No, uh, not recommended due to potential residual poison. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Um, I didn't, I, I didn't, I guess that's, uh, we would never bring you anything that wasn't, uh, wasn't actually safe to wear. So, um, okay. But what I'm really focusing on there is the value appreciation. You know, uh, is it going to go up in value? No. Is type A grade? Yes. No ifs, buts or maybes. We're at 1,499 and we are country miles away from your closing price. The whole kit, if you were to buy them individually off our website, is essentially £430. Amazing. Let's drop below that, next, that, that price tag and obviously tell you we're not stopping there. We're already giving you a saving. 30 pounds, back into your pocket. At 399 pounds, great deal. For type A Burmese jadeite, for, for a work of art in your butterfly master carving, for, uh, for that strong, I'd pay 399. To be honest, I'd be over the moon. At 399 for just one of these. Yeah. Even the smaller four mills. Yeah. You've got pure white, which Richard Wise has said, and we've spoken about lots of different times, should be considered the finest of its type. You've got type A, deep, intense jadeite here. Should feel like silk. Yes, yes, yes. You've got your wonderful shades of, uh, of green um, in, um, uh, yeah, in your 8 mil. Stunning. All, uh, all, all Xmases and birthdays at once, yep. is Caroline. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and you're loving this kit too. That's bonkers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not stopping there, though. We're not stopping anywhere near there. Plus, you can get it on split pay. Yeah. You know, if you see, if you see a... Type A, certified Type A, which all of these are, natural jadeite, never mind here, and I'm not making par comparisons anywhere for four figures, moving yeah. forward, snap it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you see, I don't know, a high goo at £399, yeah. snap it up moving forward. We're not stopping there, though. We've taken all that knowledge, we've taken that message from Sally, Bernard, and, and we've got other jadeite suppliers as well. And we said, okay, you'd think that we would maybe act differently on the back of that knowledge, but no, that's not what we do. It's going against the whole ethos of the company that has been around since we started. We don't increase the price, you know, because something's happened outside of these four walls. We sustain the price that we purchased them at. At 399, we are going even lower, even lower. The biggest saving that we've ever given you in a kit today three four nine. You can get this home today for 116 pounds and 33 pence. Wow. Over 500 carats of certified natural type A jadeite. Maker in London, Tracy. Alison Multi buying, well done. Dorothy, Linda, Pamela, Cheryl, Anne. Uh, Anne in Pembro uh, Pembrokeshire, sorry. Uh, Virginia, Valentina, sit back and enjoy. You've, you've, you've done it. This is one of the biggest deals you've ever seen. Hello, Alison. Phew! Thank you. I was really starting to worry. Now much happier. Uh, thank you. So worth every penny. So delighted you are the best. Oh my goodness me, darling. Um, yeah, and I guess you were talking about that recent price drop. Hello, Kath saying, morning ladies, stunning kit, stunning jewellery. Can we see it again, please? Of course you can, by all means. And by the way, not one of these pieces... To be honest, not even the pair of earrings, which features, what, two type A jadeites that uh, Monica's created. I don't think even them would retail at 349 in most establishments. Mm. That's the reality. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Kath, if you love that, we're I don't think... We're not done there. We're going even lower. Ooh. £70 less than if you were to buy each component individually from us here at a jewellery maker. 
Pardon? <laughs> what if I told you? Do you know when you, I, I, I heard it, but I didn't hear it because it didn't quite sit right. It's like you don't want to say it until he says it a couple yeah, more times, just to be just sure. Gosh, I don't want to say this wrong. <laughs> How about if we told you this kit for over 500 carats of certified natural Taipei Jadeite? How about if I told you we're going under 300 pounds today? Under 300 pounds on split pay. The only downside is that we have just 70 or rather had. Not only are we taking it under 300 pounds, how about we take one of the biggest type A jadeite kits? No, the biggest type A jadeite kit that I've ever actually seen. And the fact that you've ticked three boxes of the colors, I think four because this high goo's definitely got a lavender in. So I'm looking at white, black, multicolored greens, and you've got a certified natural lavender jadeite high goo. How about what, Ross? What did you say? What were you about to say? We're not even uh, taking it under 300. Ooh. You're going to take a hundred pounds off that price. <laughs> a whole 100 pounds. 50 pence per carat of type A jadeite. Appreciation in value, it said on that, uh, uh, on that sort of... Uh, um, grid on that chart yes simple <laughs> yes because yeah. it's type a we're taking 100 pounds off that price tag now lovely jewelry makers with that knowledge underneath your belt it's down to who's going to be successful on this opportunity you've got your eight millimeter beautiful multicolors of greens you've got certified natural beautiful silky black type a jadeite six mil rounds remember should be intense in color and should feel like silk you've got that beautiful pure white four mil strand you've got your i'm going to call it uh, uh, lavender because you've got that flash of lavender most definitely um on this high goo you've also got another green high goo you've got your master carving in your butterfly and you're getting all of this lovely sterling silver today Day for 249 pounds or 83 pounds on your split pay victoria virginia's up to a quantity well done maker valentina um pembrokeshire i've also got glynis carol caroline susan east sussex maker claire derbyshire dorset sussex if you want three i would multi-buy do you want to know what that's working out at per component what did you say sorry just jade alone 41 pounds 50 so you're getting the high goose for £41.50. You're getting a master carving for £41.50. You're getting type A, jadeite, eight mils, black jadeite, yeah. and the white, £41.50. Or another way you can look at it is if you look at all the jewellery that I've made, if you break that down and you can say, then you can say £10 for a pair of each of the earrings. Mm. So £10, £10, £20 for the bracelets, and then you've got £70 for each of those necklaces. You're not going to sell it at those prices. No. Though, right? Definitely <laughs> not. Going to sell. Well, you shouldn't, anyway, sell it at those prices. Um, everything that you see on your screens, it's one of the oh, biggest... I know, I'm not sure what happened. It might be a mix-up. I'm not sure. And I have, I have physically counted my... Oh! Heaviest caramel weights that we've ever done um, in Burmese jadeite today for 249. Glynis, well done. Hampshire, well done. Victoria, well done. Make sure you check out those baskets, though. The 70 quantity that we had um, has significantly dropped. In fact, over, over half the stock has gone already. Monica, are you happy? I'm very happy so far. <laughs> <laughs> All those Christmases and birthdays, that's Absolutely. what Alison said, all at once. <laughs> Absolutely. Dorset said the same. Caroline messaged in as well, saying the same. 249 isn't even our end price. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've been saying since 8 a.m. this morning that this is the best price kit for the most luxurious components that we've ever brought to air. I mean, that, that's some statement, isn't it? Considering we've been broadcasting for 12 years. This is, has to be the biggest saving. Has to be. Thank you, jewelry maker. My birthday oh. today is a treat myself. A happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jennifer. What a birthday treat. 
Well, I tell you what, Jennifer, we're going to be giving you some birthday money back because we're not even stopping there, lovely. Um, I've got 60 seconds until we drop that price. There are 29 chances remaining within our, uh, um, uh, within our vault. Remember, this kit is worth, and I'm talking jewellery maker price here. Never mind outside these four walls, because then you'd be talking thousands of pounds. Um, we've got another big price crash. We're not about to just take a cheeky 10% off. Um, you've actually, you're actually going to get a better than half price deal. Wow. So if you've been paying attention, if the whole kit is worth over £400, we are going to do better than half price on certified natural type A jadeite, a master carving in your beautiful butterfly, your beautiful type A black jadeite 6 mil rounds, your colours of green in your 8 mil rounds, your pure white four mil rounds, two high goos, your circle of heaven, and the meaning behind the high goo symbol itself, that continuity of life, that, uh, 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 um, that ability to keep us in communication with our lost loved ones, so much meaning behind the high goo that we've almost sort of we almost move out, uh, move on too fast without discussing yeah. that wonderful history and heritage. Plus all the sterling silver, we're hugely over allocated on this. Over half price today, hundreds of pounds saving, £199. That is your kit price. We cannot go a wow. single penny lower than what's on your screens because that's frankly an absolute giveaway deal. This on its own should be more than that. Yeah. On, uh, way more than that, to be honest. And I mean, even if you, if you bought this kit together with a friend and you split it between the two yeah. people, you still get loads there. Do you know, do you know um, that's why I said earlier on, Monica, if somebody's watching you going, oh, I like, I, I like that strand, I like that strand, yeah. or, um, or, or, or the high goose or anything like that, you'd probably still be better off getting this kit and maybe, I don't know, sell them. Sell the ones yeah. that you don't want to use else uh, uh, online. At 199, they're absolutely flying out the door. We had 70. Christine, Suja, Caroline, Caroline, Janice, Sorry, Suzanne, Alice, you've just got yours. Who was that then? Libby, congratulations on the phone lines. I've also got Gary, Mark in Worcestershire. Uh, new customer, hello to you, Christine, Claire, Jenny, Paula, Carol, well done to you. You do need to check out your baskets though if you want to guarantee your success. It, it, Jewelry maker price tag at over £400. That's epic. And if you see each of these components moving forward separately at their original price, they're epic savings. You know, I, you know, we're not exaggerating when we show you Christie's and Sotheby's and all the auction houses selling type A jadeite for thousands upon thousands of pounds. Um, but know that outside of this very unique little bubble that we're in right now, the very, very unique little bubble, um, know that 199 is no reflection of the true value or worth because the mine is closed. Burmese mine, 800 years of operating, um, it has closed. If your name is on this side of the screen, there are 17 chances remaining. Rupal, you just got yours. Heather, Julie, Sandra, Claire, Jenny, Paula, Carol, Carola, and, uh, Caroline, I think you have just checked out. Um, but but uh, if you can see your name on that side of the list, I would do check out sooner rather than later because we are down to, um, we've got 17. There we go. Ooh. Out of 70. The best wow. kit, the biggest saving that we've ever done. 199. Do you know what? I would be overjoyed at any one of those strands. Yeah. At 199 yeah. pounds. Black, black one's my favourite. That's my, that's my. Yeah, I, I do. I do love black jadeite as well. Well, look, look. You, you know, I'm not comparing. I'm not comparing the design here. I am definitely talking about the gemstone. But that ring that I've shown so many times before, a type A natural black jadeite cabochon ring, yeah. um, in cart in Cartier. For, uh, sorry, thirty five grand. It's a cabochon. It's basically a cabochon. Yeah. And it's not the most ostentatious of designs. It's not heavily encrusted in diamonds or any other gemstone. Um, it's got a few diamonds, don't get me wrong. But £35,000, you're getting an entire strand. There it is. It's lovely, and that's why I reference it. If you look at, you know, Monica, yeah. I don't know, that black jadeite necklace, you wouldn't sell that for £199. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. No, good. <laughs> good. I'm glad.
And I mean, and you were saying about black jade that the intensity of the color is what makes it yeah. really valuable. I mean, it doesn't get more intense than this. I mean, it's not it's not blackish. It's black. Oh no, it's not an off black. It's mm. not like a charcoal. Yeah. So literally, uh, in terms, and, I, and this is I read it in the Gems and Crystals book that you got uh, that I got from the Smithsonian Museum, and it says black jade. It should be deep and intense in color and should feel like silk. Deep and intense in colour and should feel like silk. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. The quality, uh, all day long, £199 is absolutely amazing for any one of these individual components. It's a massive saving. I am down to the final 14. There's Jane in Warwickshire, Mervat in Essex, Maker Maker, Cheryl in Maine, USA. Hello, darling. Heather in Middlesex, Julie in Somerset, Claire in Tyne and Ware, Jeannie uh, in Surrey, Carol in East Riding of Yorkshire, Carol in Oxfordshire. I've got 11 left out of the original 70. Jane in Warwickshire, you've just got yours well done my lovely um just make sure you do check out that's the biggest saving i think i've ever actually brought. i don't i don't think i know that i've ever actually brought to air unbelievable really is congratulations so um all your christmases and birthdays rolled into one monica <laughs> yeah. what, what are you going to demonstrate with this lovely kit well i thought i'd show you how to make the the pendant on this sort of marlet type necklace yeah i love um, that one yes. yes that one. Oh, it's beautiful I love how you almost, you've almost set a gemstone in the centre. Yes, because uh, I'm going to bring it over for the overhead camera. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because I wanted to make one where, and it's not technically a marla because I haven't used uh, all the gemstones uh, that you need to make a marla, but it's, an, it's a marla style necklace. Yeah. So I wanted to use the, the high goo uh, in a way that I didn't break up the ring. So I wanted to set it in a way that you, do you know what I mean? I mean, I did the other one with the, with the rosary linking from either side, uh, which is fine, but I wanted to do one where I didn't break up the ring so it was all continuous uh, all the way around. So I, I thought I'd show you how to do that. And then the rest of it is, is knotted, which, um, which we've shown a few times before. So I'm not going to show you that bit. I'm going to show you how to uh, set the pendant in the, um, in, the, in the necklace. So I've made a tassel here, which we've also shown a few times how to make a tassel. So... Uh, but you can use a ready-made tassel as well. It, it doesn't really matter which, whatever you like to do. The only thing I've done is I've threaded uh, a small thread um, through the loop of the tassel so that I've got it coming out at the top. This is actually the same thread that I used to tie my tassel together at the top here. And I've just passed it through from both sides so that I've got it coming out sort of loose on both ends uh, or, or on both sides just like that. Okay. So then what I'm going to do... Now, if you look at this pendant, you saw that the, the head pin came through the middle just then. Um, it's not very fixed in position, but when you're wearing it, um, it, that means that it can move. So you can actually spin it around. So it's almost kind of like a spinner pendant as well, um, which I quite like. So all you're going to need for that is you're going to need a head pin. And then I use the, a closed jump ring only because I always worry about... Um, threads coming out of open jump rings. So I've used a closed jump ring. If you don't have one, you can use an open jump ring. Just make sure it's really well closed. So all I did with my head pin is I threaded on one of the black jadeites, uh, just like that. Put it through the middle of my high goo, okay? And then I want to turn it upwards. So if I turn this one over so you can see where I'm going. So can you see how it's, it's turned upwards? But now it's not as straightforward as that. So what you want to do is when you turn your head pin upwards, you want there to be a little bit of a gap here where you can attach your jump ring and your, and your tassel so that the tassel falls down to the bottom. If I just turn this head pin straight up, and I tried actually, then the, uh, the jump ring kind of gets in the way. So what you want to do is you want to take some really small ended flat nose pliers and kind of put it just behind your pendant, just like that. It's quite tight at the moment, like that. And then turn it up so that you've got this little sort of uh, almost like a shelf at the back here where you can attach your jump ring for it to hang um, nicely down from there. And then I'm going to thread on my jump ring only because it's a closed jump ring. If you're using an open jump ring, then you can add it on later. But can you see how the jump ring falls down to the bottom? It's not obstructed by the pendant itself. So it's got a nice place to sit at the bottom there. And then you want to do a wrap loop at the top. But now again with the wrap loop, the way you want to do your wrap loop is you want to hide the wrap behind the pendant so you don't see it from the right side. Okay? But you want the loop 
to be showing above the pendant because if it's lowered down and you start putting your beads behind it, then your pendant is going to tip forward when you're wearing it. So you want the loop to stick out a little bit at the top so you can start attaching your gemstones at the top without it tipping forward. So what you're going to do is you can grab your, your head pin sort of approximately where you want your wrap to be. Okay, so I want my wrap to be just here, just below the, uh, the edge of the pendant. And then that's where I'm going to turn it sideways. Okay, and then you're going to take your round nose pliers, which, give me a second, I haven't taken them out. Here they are. Then you're going to take your round nose pliers. At this point, you can, you can turn the pendant away from it so that you can sort of get in there. And then just do your, your wrapped loop. If your pendant is too much in the way, then you can use your pliers to help you to get the, the wrapped loop done. Okay, just persevere with it. It is a little bit more difficult because you've got your pendant kind of in the way there. But as long as you get it to be in the right position, that's the main thing. So I'm going to use my pliers here just to finish wrapping that around. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. Right. So when I let it go, so you can see now, if I push it in tight and I put my jump ring at the bottom, don't worry. If it, if it feels like it's falling apart at this point, don't worry about it. So can you see how I've got the loop just sticking out at the top? So you can attach your necklace from there. And then I've got my jump ring sitting nicely in position there at the back. And then the other bit that you want to do is you want to attach your tassel at the bottom. Now, the reason I have the thread coming out both sides of my tassel like that is because I wanted to thread on one of these lotus flowers. Also, these are really beautifully carved. If you have a look at them, they're not the same on the top and the bottom. They have a, a oh, yes. different sort of, they've got flower petals at the top as well and then just leaves at the bottom. So you can use them either way, but uh, if you're using them in a pair of earrings, for example, then just make sure you put them both uh, in the same direction. So, I would not have noticed that, so I'm so glad that you Well, said. I didn't notice it at first either until I made a pair of earrings and then realized <laughs> that they didn't quite look the same. <laughs> so um, I put my, my little, it's almost like a bead cap on top there. And then when I had the thread coming out of the top of the tassel, the problem was that the knot was coming through um, the hole in the middle. So when I threaded on my gemstone after that, um, there was a gap. So I'm just going to thread. This thread I'm using here is the um, is the Eslon threads that we sell. It's um, those those ones on that little spool there, okay. Um, and it's the thinner one. I think it's point uh, point four millimeter, something like that. So you can get those easily through. I even got two of them through the four millimeter gemstones. So the drill holes are quite good in all of the gemstones. So you see, when I had the knot at the top there, then the knot came through my, my silver and then it held up my gemstone and it didn't all sit together nicely like that. So that's why I threaded the thread through both sides. So now this way it can all sit nice and tight. And then all I did was, you can tie a knot here just to keep it all in place, first of all. So just do a double knot like that. And then almost as if you were actually knotting. Uh, I don't have an awl, but I can just use my pliers. Just pull that knot down tight, close to your gemstone. It doesn't have to be super tight at this point, so don't worry too much about it. So just hold everything in place just like that. And then what I did was I just threaded one of these, or you can thread, you can thread both of them. It doesn't really matter what kind of knot you do at the back, you're not really going to see it. So you just want to thread, let's say, one of those through, and then you can actually just do a double knot. Just try to put this knot how did my, uh, <laughs> my jump ring came off the end of my, of my loop. Obviously, if your necklace is there, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so just... Live TV, Monica. <laughs> Actually, I did that at home as well. Oh, really? <laughs> Couldn't figure out how my jump ring came off, and then I realised, oh, it slips off the top. So just pretend I've, pretend I've got my necklace attached there, in which case that's not going to come off. And then just tie a knot. Now, try to get this knot. Also, you're going to do a double knot. You want to get this knot in the same place as that knot there. But again, what you want to do, it's all about the positioning. So can you see how I've got this one? So that the knot is going to sit just under my pendant because I'm going to put a, a, a crimp cover over the top because I don't want it to sit behind my pendant again because, again, that's going to push it out of, um, out of its sort of plane and it's not going to sit flat. So you want your knot to sort of just stick out underneath 
the, um, the edge of the pendant. So you want to do a double knot, or as I say, you can thread both of them through. Just make sure that you slip that knot into position, just like that, under, under your pendant, okay? And then all you need to do then is just take a crimp cover, which I didn't bring one, but we've all done crimp covers before. So just, um, you can put a little drop of glue there just to make sure that holds, and then put your crimp cover on top there so that when you hang up your pendant off your necklace, it all sits nice and neatly like that with your crimp cover showing at the bottom, just like I've got this one. And then you've just got a little bit under your pendant here because you've just got the thread. And at the top, you've just got the little wire under your pendant, which means when you're holding it like this, it kind of tips all over the place. But when you're wearing it, obviously it can't tip forward because it's got something behind it at the bottom and it can't tip up either because at the top, it's also got something behind. So it will sit nice and flat when you're actually wearing it. Monica, they're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. So And I really beautiful. love how, how they spin so you can actually you can, and, you and actually with using without no, you know no calibrated stones just yeah. seeing the donut being used as well yeah. so yeah. beautiful and then i mean i've done the knotting from the top but you don't have to you can do rosary linking from the top you can just hang that on a chain just like that if you wanted to so you've got options there and um, this will work with whatever design you want to put it in amazing ah oh, you're awesome do enjoy those kits and well done to every single one of you that managed to get hold of them now we do have some lovely sterling silver jump rings um if yeah. you're thinking oh no i can't do that design because i haven't got my jump rings don't worry we've got your back <laughs> um you get a pack of 50 now these are the four mil internal diameter is that right yes um perfect perfect absolutely perfect there's, uh, you know, we underestimate these little jump rings, don't we? Oh, jump rings, you need jump rings for everything. I was just thinking, because obviously the kits we've got later coming up have got lots of jump rings. Um, the, the, the masterclass. The, the plated jump rings. Yeah. Um, is whatever kind of jewellery you make, you're going to need jump rings. Yes. The only thing, maybe if you only make stretchies, but even for stretchies, you can use them as spacers. Yeah, they still, they're, they're, they're nice so, little details in the stretchy. Pack of 50, solid 925 sterling silver. Shall we do a closeout deal on these? Lowest ever price tag? Oh, that is low, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, clearance day a couple of weeks ago, we, we took these to uh, £8.45 and we've matched it. Not meant to. And as I say, you can, you can use an open jump ring on the back of this pendant. If you want to be extra certain, you can always put a little drop of your glue and glue it closed. Yeah. Especially on this kind of pendant because it'll be at the back, so you're not going to see it. And it doesn't need to hold any weight in particular. Um, it's just holding your tassel. But if you just want to make double sure that it's not going to drop your tassel off you know you can drop your tassel off <laughs> i love it. <laughs> if it's going to drop your tassel off uh, uh, sorry monica i don't know why that tickled me um absolutely but but uh, what's the difference between buying um open jump rings to maybe making them yourself well i don't think you can make them for the same price for starters no there is that but also, but also the precision cut? The precision cut, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Because if you cut them with your pliers, um, normally the way that your pliers work is they actually squeeze the metal until it cuts, which means on both sides of the cut you're going to have, or at least on one side, because some your flush cutters will um, be flat on one side. Yep. But the other side you're going to get a little bit of a squished section. A burr. A burr, yes. Which is, which is not great, first of all, because your jump ring isn't going to close, 100% close, but also because whatever thread you have on there is going to keep catching on that. Um, yeah on that cut. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so they are your uh, four millimeters internal diameter. Beg your pardon, I picked up the wrong ones there. <laughs> I don't know my three mil from my four mil, do I? Um, but don't worry, they look the same, just a bit smaller. <laughs> just a little bit smaller. There we go, and I'll put the two of them together so you can get an idea. I would stock up on both of them because it is worthwhile having different sizes, isn't it? Absolutely, because especially if, you, if you're making something like earrings, you wanted to use the really small ones so that they don't... Uh, they're not that visible but if you wanted to do, do a little bit of chain mail or something like that then the bigger ones uh, are better for that so. yeah yeah if you want to add in things like your mobius rings you can definitely yes, do exactly. that um absolutely and they align perfectly that's the difference you know these are are they sawn these are actually sawn rather than machine cut so you don't get that dip in the actual mm. wire uh very good demo monica thank oh, you says thank susan you. <laughs> totally agree with you isn't it lovely uh this is from ted magnificent oh. jewelry monica so much more so uh when we see uh, how it's been achieved thank oh. you isn't that lovely yeah, and the fact that we can 
all do it now, can't we? We can follow Monica's lead and create these fine it's, pieces it's really of jewellery. It's I haven't made anything that was particularly difficult. I mean, the rest of it must have been refreshing for you as well, not to have those teeny tiny beads. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're like, oh my gosh, I might get done. I might get this done I mean, in before, a week. Before I did seed beading, I did do other kinds of jewellery as well. Yeah, you know, just... but we just tend to throw loads of seed beads at you, so that you know <laughs> every kit tends to take weeks and weeks and weeks on end. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. Goodness me, Ross. He went, he went very quiet there. It was quite unnerving for a little bit then. <laughs> um, amazing. Mad, mad, mad. Should we do some spaces? Beautiful little spaces. Thanks, gorgeous Dan. There you are. I can't call you Dan now. I have to call you gorgeous Dan. He's all right with that. Uh, he's all right. Yeah, keep that one. Try and keep that one. Um, I love a three mil spacer bead. I just think they add so much to your jewellery. Oh. Um, 40 pieces. We used to sell these in packs of 14 quite randomly. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's 14. really random. I don't know why we ha had them in that kind of quantity. But yeah, now you're getting a pack of 40. £6.95. Uh, sorry, 99. Uh, 925 sterling silver. You know, just if you... They're great for hiding your uh, knots in your stretchies. Exactly, yeah. Six ninety nine. Well done, well done, well done. Now, just before we dive into a break, we've got four of those kits remaining. That's it. We're massively over allocated. Um, just for those of you that maybe have only just tuned in. Oh my goodness! I've just thought. Imagine these with Dave's white onyx. Oh, wouldn't they be beautiful with the white onyx? I'm just going to do a very quick recap because this is too special for them to have literally four of them left waiting in the vault. Um, so I'm going to start with the Taipei Jadeite. We totaled this kit up. It, it's uh, £428.92 pence in our jewellery maker bubble. So what that what they'll be outside these four walls is going to be significantly more. Yeah. Um, so you've got your yeah, eight mils, shades of green, certified natural type A jadeite. No polymer, no dyeing process, all completely natural. Then you've got, certainly Monica's favourite, quite possibly mm. my favourite, the type A black jadeite oh, strand. Certified completely and utterly natural. Again, remember this sentence, when it comes to black jadeite, the more intense the colour, technically it isn't a midnight black. Technically it's a very, very, very dark green because this has gone past every single, uh, every other colour of jade. So it's transitioned through. It's taken millions of years to do so. This once was emerald, uh, was imperial green, but it's gone beyond that colour now. Um, that on its own to be at a price of 199 is absolutely yeah, amazing. You can see the colour if you put the black tassel next to it, which is... It's, it's black thread. It's, you know, yeah. it's blacker than the black thread. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it should be intense in colour and should feel like silk. Then you're also getting white type A jadeite four millimetre rounds. Richard Wise says it should be considered the finest of its type. You've got one of our master carvings in this absolutely beautiful butterfly. Isn't that stunning? So there you go. There you go. Then you're getting not one, but two incredible high goose this one has got the most amazing lavender color in Look at that some of the some of the strongest lavender i've ever seen yeah so you get two of those and you're getting all of this sterling silver so you've got your lotus flowers that you saw monica demonstrate with and you've got these lovely 925 sterling silver heart spaces as well so from over 400 pounds which is a great price tag it really is We've dropped it today. One of the biggest price drops of our kits. Over £200 back into your pocket. Um, £199. Or you can get hold of it on your split pay for £66.33. I've got three left. Jacqueline in Tennessee, you've just got yours. Jacqueline in Carmarthenshire, you've got yours. Christine in Hertfordshire. Linda in Cornwall. Jane in Warwickshire. Pauline in Cornwall. Linda in Manchester. Liz in Lancashire. Carol in Leicestershire. Sandra in Warwickshire. Heather in Middlesex. Cheryl in Merseyside. Pamela in Devon. Sue in Somerset, Linda in Staffordshire, Dorothy in Durham, uh, Kath in Tyne and Ware, June in Surrey, Alison in Suffolk, multi buying, Tracy in West Midlands, Maker in London. I can't see everybody's names because you disappear off the bottom of the screen, but I have literally three left. So you will need to check out. So if you're any of these people, Julie in London, Jean in Northamptonshire, Jean in Bedfordshire, Sheila in County Armagh, Kerry in Hertfordshire, Deborah in Norfolk, Joanne in Shropshire, Cheryl in Maine, uh, Julie in Somerset, Claire in Tynaware, Jenny in Surrey, Carol. If you're any one of those people, you're going to have to check out your baskets because I've got three of them left. 
Three. That's it. Julian Landon Weldon, you've just got yours. Clear in Northumberland. Oh, it's it, people are going to miss out on this kit, but what an amazing, amazing deal it was, and beautiful oh. jewellery as always, Monica. Oh, thank you. You're amazing. You I did really have fun. Are. I did have fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do for Christmas and uh, or birthday now. That's it. You just got to think back to this kit. <laughs> yeah. I'm only. Well, I'm going to wear the jewellery. Well, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, and actually, your masterclass coming up at ten o'clock today is going to be uh, unbelievable because we've got. Am I seeing gemstone jump rings? Well, they're not jump rings. They chain links, but yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness um, plus don't forget you've got red spinel in your slider bracelets black spinel, amazonite and pearls in these beautiful beautiful very high end pieces of jewellery but up next I'm so excited so uh, uh, I've been eagerly anticipating this show since the launch of Natural White Onyx knowing full well that our amazing jewelers who uh, jewelry makers who create sort of gemstone setting create those fine pieces of jewelry maybe with our calibrated mounts you'll have been wanting this stone when you first saw it on our screens well it's finally here um, you've been asking and asking the day has arisen dave troth will be stepping into the studio in a few moments time to launch for the very first time natural white onyx in cabochons <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Lovely jewellery makers, this coming Wednesday at 10am, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Dave Troth. As some of you may know, Dave launched some time ago an entire sellout of natural white onyx. One thing that we did not see during that showcase was cabochons. I'm super excited to tell you that this coming Wednesday, we are launching for the very first time the White Onyx Collection. Beautiful examples of this natural gemstone in cabochons. Don't miss out on your opportunity. As I said, last time these were brought to air, they were entire sellouts, uber rare, ultimately so beautiful. That's this Wednesday at 10 a.m.
Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend for some of the most incredible uh, Jadeite auctions and on top of that we're launching a brand new gemstone that I've very recently encountered in Hong Kong and can't wait to share all of the information about that. Extremely rare, only known to occur on two places on the planet and we have some of the finest examples of that to share with you. And then the return of the legendary Queen Kong. It's going to be a jam-packed weekend and I'm hoping uh, to see all of you join me. This coming Saturday on Jewelry Maker, we have got the most amazing kits at midday with the incredible pearly queen herself, Linda Brumwell. Now these pearls, when we think of potato pearls, do we think about a five mil, a six mil? We're talking South Sea pearl size. We're talking 11 to 12 mil on strands, I kid you not. And there's a variety of pearls coming your way. So please do make sure you join myself the Pearly Queen and Extra Large Pearls at midday this coming Saturday. Oh, my goodness me. Literally, that break there, Dave, yeah. fills me with excitement for what is coming. Yeah, absolutely. There is, you know, there, like I said, there'll be major news uh, announced uh, for this January. So stay up to date uh, across the social media platforms to be the first to know, to find out about what's coming and work on something absolutely amazing. Um, and, and all of you guys are going to want to be a part of it. But right now is one of the most exciting moments of the year. We have bought to you guys the Branca Onyx, the legendary new discovery from this year, 2022. Um, one of the few gemstones that was discovered uh, under the guise of, of the COVID pandemic. You know, and no one knew about it, it went under the radar because obviously we were all locked down. So there was no field gemologist uh, um, trips. There was no people going out to the mines. There was no publications being published. And then lo and behold, the beginning of February this year in Tucson, I arrive. Uh, I'm looking for across all the different booths. It's the busiest uh, gem show ever on record in terms of footfall because the market had been starved of it. Everyone was you know, yearning to, to, to get out into the market again, find out, restock, bring their collectors, their clients, the, the, the hottest gemstones. And of course, the, the, the kind of familiar faces were there, well, the incredible gemstones that we know and love, your emeralds, your rubies, your sapphires, your diamonds. And then I stumbled upon this booth and there was a, a real buzz, a real huge excitement around this, this booth. Uh, these Brazilian miners were there and they were showcasing this new gem. Okay, and they had all the lab certs out um, and it was a gemstone we'd never encountered before. A gemstone we never knew existed and it didn't exist. That's the, the key to it. And it's a natural onyx. And when we think of onyx, I mean, we're spoiled now because we know about this gemstone, but when we think, to, think of onyx before, mm. black. Yeah. Onyx always. is black and your experience with onyx or Gemporia's experience with onyx, you know, shopping TV's experience with onyx or you know, kind of high street experience with onyx is treated. Okay, it's yeah. either heated or dyed, and that's why we can we bring it at fantastic prices, uh, incredible deals, and you get the look. But when you go to the big jewelry houses, the Cartiers, the Boucherons, the Bulgaris, the Tiffany's, and they're working with onyx, they're working with a very different proposition, they're working with a natural variety of onyx. Um, and that onyx is extremely expensive, extremely expensive because it's natural. It's like rubies, really, but even, even more defined. So with rubies, we can bring you. In fact, uh, next, next door on Gemporia, we're doing like this auction house event. Yeah. We'll bring you gemstones and jewels inspired by some of the notable pieces from the auction houses. And you guys will get your experience with that in the coming weekend. Not this weekend, but the next. Uh, myself and Al are going to be over the moon to bring you true auction house experiences, um, celebrating the return of physical auction houses where they're welcoming back their clients. But, you know, when, when we talk about uh, the auction houses, when we talk about uh, that material, when, we, when we're recreating the jewels, we'll take the inspiration from like, I don't know, a Van Cleef Ruby. Mm. I've seen it, it happened this weekend. They go, look at this in Christie's that sold for, oh, God knows, I don't know, $1.2 million, yep. uh, $300,000 a carat. This incredible ruby with D-colored diamonds accents, Burmese no heat, certified by Goobling. And we'll go, right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you that look. And of course, we're not gonna bring you like some costume jewelry, we're gonna go and get a ruby. But if you want that look, this big ruby, we're going to have to go to Madagascar. We're going to have to f get you a Fisher-filled ruby. I'm yep. being honest. We'll get you a Fisher-filled ruby. Some instances, you know, th that, you know, there's a lot of Fisher filling going on. You get a pristine, incredible look. It's, it's treated. And the accent stones, well, they're not D-colored diamonds. They're topaz. And it's not 18-karat gold. It's silver. Okay, And you get it for like, I don't know, 
two two four nine two nine nine. You're not paying one point two million. Well, this material, this material, is the auction house material. This isn't like trying to look like that. No. Like when when I take you to Cartier and and you see black onyx like this, and it's thousands. It's price and application. Or you you go to the the likes of um, thank you Tiffany. This bangle. Okay, and you can see the price, 3,350 pounds. Or Bulgari or Boucheron. You know, these pieces, I can create that look for you. I can give you that look. And instead of paying $10,000 or whatever it is for that necklace, I could probably bring you that necklace for, I don't know, 179. It's going to be in gold-plated silver. It's going to be heated or dyed onyx. But the reason theirs is 10,000 pounds is because that is how little natural onyx exists in the market. That's the reality. Yeah. Okay, Tanzanite. Tanzanite is always heated. But there are few, few select specimens that are natural, and their price uh, is, is yeah, in correlation to that. The price goes through the roof. Today, you're in the prime position to actually get natural onyx. We've never brought you natural onyx before, except in this series, in the Branca Onyx series. And when these Brazilian miners, and I'll be really honest, they're not miners. They are now, but they were farmers, okay? And they were clearing some land in Minas Gerais, as they do. And um, they, on the mountainside, they hit this pocket of this material they'd never seen before. And they started discovering this translucent, unbelievable material. And they don't know what gemstones are. They take it to um, Belo Horizonte, which is like the gem capital where all the labs are in Brazil. And it comes certified as onyx, like a natural onyx. And basically, throughout COVID, they started mining all this material. They started going to Belo Horizonte. They're getting it faceted and cabochoned. And I saw it at Tucson. And I said to Jake, we need to buy this. We need to buy as much of this as we can because it was an incredible price. You're going to see how incredible the price is today. And we are so fortunate that we did. So fortunate. Because I can't afford it anymore. And this is only going to go to the high jewelry, uh, pl uh, jewelry stores now. Okay? And there's another jewelry house. We've shown you Boucheron. We've shown you Cartier. We've shown you Tiffany. There's another jewelry house called Bleaker and Prince. Okay? They're based in New York. So it's a new high jewelry house. And they have also, like all the jewelers before them, have made like a core offering of natural onyx. This is natural onyx. Uh, and the next picture that I'm going to show you is really, really great at showcasing what natural onyx truly looks like. It's this here. And you can see, when it's natural, when it's not heated, yep. when it's not dyed, you get these moments. You see the secondary color coming through, the whites. It's like quite chalky. Yeah. You know, the onyx that you have in your collection, the black onyx in your collection, it's shiny, it's, it's jet black. And that's great. If you're dyeing it, you can make it any color you want. I can get you purple onyx if you want. But this is natural onyx. And there's very little of it in the market. And jewelers like this set it with pigeon blood, no heat Burmese rubies, and uh, internally flawless diamonds in 18 karat gold, drilled in to the actual core of that material. They make this geometric, incredible ring. Mm, it's cool. Yeah. We can't bring you natural black onyx. Why? Because it's exclusively only offered by high jewelry houses. We're priced out. And right now, I'm telling you, we're priced out of this material. But there is no way that I'm not bringing you this show. So just being transparent and frank and upfront, I like Elle and like the team here, like, like the people you see on your screens, we fight for you guys, okay? Because we have to stand on the screen and talk to you guys. But there are genuinely, there's like bean counters upstairs, the accountants, right? True, right? That yeah. you don't see. And their job is to make this company profitable and to, to grow it and to do all of this. And there is a new... Um, member of staff in the building. She's actually our finance director. You've yep. seen it right, Don. I have, yeah. Incredible. Sometimes she walks across there, doesn't she? There's a big glass window and she yep. looks in. And she's amazing, though. But she's only been here, like... Or uh, lingers in the gallery. Yeah. Uh, tell me if she's in there now, please, someone, because I am going to be really, really upfront here. Okay? And I don't mind, because what, whatever. It is what it is. I think you appreciate the honesty. She's been here less than a year. She's been here about six months, okay? Um, she's got an amazing resume, an amazing CV. She's worked with some of the most incredible businesses. And she's brought in, she oversees everything, all the financial decisions, right? And on Friday, I landed at 6 a.m. And I walked into a meeting with the, you know, the, the MD and, and Scott, your MD, and all the, the big kind of figureheads. I don't even know what I was doing in there, but I was in there. And they, were, they basically said, okay, how was Hong Kong? I landed at 6 a.m. It's about 10 a.m. How was Hong Kong? What's the news? Can we get more jade? You know, obviously, they're asking these questions because they know we have loyal jade collectors yeah, uh, like you guys. It's a really successful offering for us because we're allowing access in the West um, for this material to you guys. And I said, look, there's no more jade coming. Okay, and I've told you guys that. Whatever's here is here. We're going to honor the prices. Amazing. Take advantage. And the reason I know I'm going off piste a bit, but you'll understand where I'm going. And then, like I said, we've got a big auction house event running for this week next door. Okay, which features some incredible jade, the kind of jade you've never seen. You will see it this week, the next weekend coming up here at Jewelry Maker. You've got your own selection. And Donna stood up, right? And she said, um, and everyone listens to Donna. She's our financial director. Mm -hmm. And she says, okay, well, if 
she was like the voice of reason. She's like the voice of logic. It's her job. She goes, um, okay, so oh, sorry, we can't replace the jade. I said, no, no, we're completely priced. Now. We can get type B and type C, but we're going to be paying more than we used to pay for type A. That's just how the market works. It can switch. The pendulum can swing. So we can't get it. And she said, okay, well, does anyone else think we shouldn't be running this event? That's what she <laughs> said. No, but she's yeah. genuine, right? She goes, does anyone else think we shouldn't be running this event? Like you're, or, or at least raising the prices because you can't replace it, which is what anyone does. Anyone does. You do it. If you buy a house, and in 10 years, the, the, the market changes, you know, people make money on houses. That's how they climb up the property ladder. Of course. Right? So, like, my parents bought their first house. I don't know what they paid for it. Say £20,000. If they kept that house, I mean, they've changed loads of times, but if they'd kept the house, it's probably worth, I don't know, we were obviously probably £200,000 today. You know, we're talking, they probably bought their first house in the early 80s. Yeah, exactly. And that house... You're not going to go, oh, I'll tell you what, just give me 20 grand. Yeah, yeah, oh, I only paid 20 grand for it. I'll tell you what, uh, give us 30. Are you sure? Because it's, the valuation is worth about 120 <laughs> in the current market. No, nah, no, nah, give us 10 grand. Give us 10 grand. <laughs> it, but we true. all do it. We all do it. Right? It's that's so the reality. True. That's yeah. the reality. That's how the market works, right? That's what's happened with Jade, and it's happened with this gemstone. And I, and I, I was, everyone else was kind of listening, you know, Colin and, and Scott was going, yeah, you make a good point. And I just said, Donna, have you met Steve Bennett? Because I know he's taking a back seat, and I know you've only been here six months, but I said, have you met him? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I guess. You know he's, like, mad. Like, he's crazy. That's why we've got a million customers. Yeah. That's why we're the, the, the UK's longest-running dedicated jewelry channel. That's not what we do. Yeah. That's what we, sure, we can raise the price, but you're not going to have a million customers. You'll have about, I don't know, 100, like yeah. any other jewelry store. You go to Bond Street, they haven't got a million customers. No. Right? They, they're lucky to see a couple of people a day. Yep. And they might not make a sale for a week. If you want to do that, that's fine. But that's not how we operate. We've constantly said, um, time and time again, for 18 years across the group, we, and I know we're crazy. We're crazy in comparison to other shopping networks. I've been on other shopping networks. They're like, you're yep. mad. You're crazy. We know we're crazy. But we put a tiny margin on. Okay, of course, we make a tiny bit of profit. Just enough to like, keep the lights on and uh, pay the, the wages and, and do all of that. And we cut out every cost we absolutely can. So we manufacture all our own jewelry. We facet all our own gemstones. Okay? We positioned our core business in Jaipur because 90% of the world's gemstones come to us. Okay? That's what we do. This material, the market's changed. The market has absolutely changed. Any other jeweler, and if, if there is an exception out there, I'd love to hear about them. Any other jeweler that got lucky, like I did. I'm not like some really astute kind of watching the markets. I got lucky, I saw it, I was like, it's amazing. Like, amazing price, let's buy as much as we can. That's the benefit of, of having the, the buying power of this group. Mm -hmm. I said, let's buy everything that we can, and we did. And this is like the end of it now. And those same discussions have, of course, taken place because it'd be remiss for them not to have taken place. You know, the bean counters upstairs are going, hold on, so we've got these incredible cabochons coming in. You've never seen them before. You don't even know they exist. You do now, but you didn't. And they was like, well, we've got them. We paid like such a low price for them in comparison to what they're worth today. What about we put them in 18 karat gold and put them next door? Don't even have to like do anything else. Just bang these into 18 karat gold. Absolutely. And bring them next door. And Dave, you go to JCK and show them that we're still cheaper than everyone else, which I could do. I could put these in 18 karat gold, sell them for, I don't know, 700 pounds. And I know that sounds ludicrous because of the price you're going to see today, but I could. And everyone's happy. We're still like a fraction of the market price, and I can't replace it, literally can't. Uh, Wayne, uh, who you know, our sales manager, crazy Wayne, and Scott, your MD, <laughs> went to India early this year. Now, I haven't been to India this year. I've been traveling everywhere else. I've just come back from Hong Kong. I've been to Bangkok, I've been to America, I've been to Las Vegas, I've been to Tucson. I haven't been to India yet. I'm always in the loop, but I haven't been there. Scott and Wayne went, and they told me how much they're having to pay for this material right now. So it only comes from Brazil, but a lot of it is going into India. And we have bought more. We've also paid more, and it's opaque. Okay, and that's fine. I'm just being frank with you. It's still going to be cheaper than everyone else. It's your only chance. It's your last chance at getting the top gem translucent material. And I'm going to show you. And, uh, like, I didn't predict this, but it happened. When I went to JCK, so I bought this in, in February. When I went to JCK, which is in June, uh, which is the, the, the 30th anniversary of the JCK Las Vegas show, very different to Tucson, the Brazilian guys weren't there. They don't really sell loose stones there. It's where you meet the people behind Van Cleef. It's where you meet the people behind uh, Cartier and Tiffany, Bleeker and Prince, all these high jewelry houses. And what they do is they're just debuting, like really gaining the attention of all the publications. Okay, there's lots of reviews that come out. There's lots of you know jewelry editors there. Everyone's talking about oh, and everyone wants your attention. Everyone wants 
they're, they're like 15 minutes of fame. Okay, they want yeah. the write-up, they want the front cover, and so they just launch the most insane collections of jewelry. So people go, oh my God, you need to see Boucheron's new high jewelry collection. Oh my God, you need to see what Cartier are doing. And there you saw Bleeker and Prince's new collection, this material. Oh. Okay, and that, by the way, objectively, gemologically, is a lower grade. Can you believe I'm saying that? Yeah. It's a lower grade than what I'm offering you today. It's, it's, the, it's incredible, it's natural. It's f uh, over a thousand pounds, or you can pay like 576 pound deposit to get that. And I'm telling you right now, you go back next year and you'll probably be talking two, three times that price. Again, they're making rings like this, $1,200, opaque, incredible glass, opaque. This, opaque, $1,700. Okay, this, 1300 Again, you know, it looks like ivory, for goodness sake. It looks like bone. It's opaque. This material, 6925 I'm telling you right now, the next time you see a collection, I'll be with you, and, and so will Elle. We're already working on it. We're going to go, oh, Brancronics, incredible. Look at what you've got, guys. You've got strand. You've got rings. It's going to be opaque. And it's going to be more. Yeah. Okay, that's the fact, because we bought it at a different time. Bought it like, uh, I, think, I think we bought it like for four or five months later. That's how much it's changed. You are going to benefit from being in the right place at the right time. That means you're in the right place at the right time now. But I was also happened to be in the right place at the right time in February. When I saw it, and I was like, this is, you know, this is a, a variety of gemstones that hasn't existed before. It's like, imagine if I went to Tucson next year, which I will be going to. I don't know if you're going, Al. I hope you are. It'd be amazing to see you oh, there. I'd love to. But we go there in February. We walk through, and there's like a big buzz. There's loads of people around booth, and we, we you know, get to the front, and we're like, well, what is that? And they go, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a new mine. They've just found it. I don't know where they found it. Let's say uh, Thailand. They found it in Thailand. It's a red tanzanite. Wow. It completely flips everything we understand about that gem. Yeah. That's what this did. Onyx, black. That's it. Onyx is black. And like a, tiny, like a fraction, 1% is natural, and you can't afford it. You can't afford it. I can't afford it. Okay, like if, unless, uh, some of you can, sorry. If you, can, if you go and shop at Boucheron, good for you. If you shop at Cartier, good for you. If you want to spend £3,350 on a bangle um, with just the tea that's carved out of the natural black onyx, good for you. But I can't afford it. I've got something rarer. And in, right now in the market, more valuable, more expensive, just by being in the right place at the right time. And anyone else, anyone else, wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. There's a guy, one more thing, and then I'll, I'll completely offer you everything I've got. But just to prove what we do, the reason there's thousands of people tuned in right now, because you know what we do, the reason you choose us, and many of you are businesses, and you choose to come to us mm -hmm. to buy your, your raw materials, your incredible gemstones. There's a guy, an, an anecdotal story, but I know a friend, he's a friend of a friend. And back in like the late 80s, I've told this story before, but it, you know, we, we need to understand it. In the late 80s, he went to Brazil in search of Alexandrite. Okay? He's a gemologist, but he's also a gemstone buyer. And uh, he's in Brazil. There's a, this mad hematite strike. It's called the hematite strike of the best color change Alexandrite's ever existed. It's long gone now, but it's insane. Okay, take my word for it. You can find information about it online. So he went there for that. So he's got the budget. He's looking for the real goods. And he rings his wife in North America, and he says, hey, can you wire me? Well, different world, I don't understand this, but he's like, can you wire me $100,000? Right? Yeah, he's looking for Alexandra, of course he's got the cash. And she says, oh, you, you found the Alexandra. He goes, no, I found something else. And she's like, okay, she trusts him, $100,000. He comes back with an oil drum, literal oil drum, you know, like this big, this high, in, you know, full of this brand new discovery. He was there on the ground in Batala, in the state of Paraba. And in there, he had loop clean pieces of rough of Windex blue, what was known then as Cuprian tourmaline, a copper bearing tourmaline. And he bought, I don't know how much you can fit in that, I don't know how many kilos you can fit in that, but it was jam packed of the best because he was just taking the pickings of the mine. It's $100,000 though. It's probably worth $100 million today, maybe more. This guy is sordid. You know, he's extraordinarily wealthy because of that one chance encounter. But he didn't go like what I'm doing now. He didn't go, well, I only paid this for it, so you know, we're just going to give it to you for this. He watched the market. And remember, the next year, that material arrived at Tucson on the Friday at $250 a carat, which is insane. It's amazing. Back then, 1990. And it left on the Sunday at $5,000 yeah. a carat. Three days. Today, that material, no heat, Windex Blue, Luke Clean, 
his $60,000 account. Yeah. And he had no order of it, every single piece. That's the, and he paid $100,000 for that. $60,000 a carrot, he had kilos. That's what he's got. So another guy called Mr. Ferguson, who's head of the, he's now head of the Diamond Investment Fund. He wasn't in the late 80s. Head of the Diamond Investment Fund in Vancouver in Canada, in the World Trade Center. How did he get there? He was buying diamonds in, in, in the late 80s. There was a little tiny mine that no one had heard of in, in outback Australia. And they were primarily mining white diamonds. They were in an agreement with the beers. They weren't a diamond company, right? They were a tin mining company. They just found this diamond mine. And they were like, they, they entered into a monopoly, an agreement, a contract with the beers. They said, yeah, sure, take the diamonds. We don't understand it. And the beers wanted all these white diamonds. They wanted the monopoly on the white diamonds. And they were finding these weird diamonds, right? They were like discolored. They were like uh, pink. And they were selling them to this gentleman, Mr. Ferguson, for less than the price of white diamonds. Big gems, half carat, one carat gems. He was just taking them all. Head of the Diamond Investment Fund now. He's got a safe full of certified bubblegum pink argyle diamonds Wow. for less than the price of white diamonds. Right place, right time. But I couldn't go to Craig Ferguson and go, hey, mate, you know that three-carat argyle fancy pink intense diamond that you've got in your safe? You paid less than white diamonds for that, yeah? Can you sell it to me for less than white diamonds? <laughs> Not a chance. Because that material is like a million dollars a carat now. Yeah. You guys are going to get this material. You probably think it's hyperbole. You probably think I'm getting carried away. I'm not even postulating. I don't, I don't even know what's going to happen with this material in the future. But I'm telling you right now, it's more expensive than natural black onyx. And you've never seen natural black onyx. And, and, and natural black onyx is thousands. And casually, in my peripheral vision, I can see L picking up a, a strand of like golf ball size, translucent, natural, ghost onyx, as I call it. The highest grade, even the black onyx doesn't come in this grade. And, and there's this, this has now become my favorite facet. It, it reminds me of Epcot in, in, in Florida, you guys will know what I mean, or a golf ball. And it's a unique hand facet that, that is approached on each of these huge rounds. 360 carats is an absolute joke. And as uh, um, L is just rolling this across the table, look how it twinkles. Oh it's like goodness. a million paparazzi flashes. Now, from my vision, I don't know what angle I am to L. Um, I'm looking at it from over here. Genuinely, how, does anyone know how many feet am I away from L? Because I'm terrible at this. Finn, do you 12. know? 12. 12 feet? Yeah. What do you reckon, mate? 12 feet, yeah. I'm 12 feet away from L, okay? I'm here. You see? I'm here. There's L. Okay. And I promise you, as that's rolling across the table, I've never seen more scintillation yeah. from anything in my life from that distance. So it might look impressive now. The camera is actually designed, as I'm told, and I'm not a tech kind of guy, but it's designed to kind of suppress that. Yeah. It's not like some fancy jewelry camera. It's, it's just a camera that, you know, we've got to broadcast to you guys. It's a TV studio. It's like this morning or something. It's designed to suppress that. It sees it as a negative aspect. And... I'm going to do something crazy for you. I'm going to do something crazy for you. So straight away, I'm going to go to 399, which is insane. I'm going to go 400 pounds. No, no, it's ridiculous. I'm going to show you how crazy this is. Can I, can I just um, get rid of that for a minute, Ross? I'm going to do something crazy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. I did a strand once next door when I launched this. They, yeah. they, next door were the first people to ever see it, okay? Yeah. I launched this. It's sold out. You can't get it again. That's the only strand they've ever seen. And I'm going to show you the price of it. If I can, I might need to click. Thank you, Ross. Uh, add to basket, da da da. Is there a price on there? Yeah, 214 pounds on our website. Okay. Non faceted. No. Yeah. Uh, also, also, it's 284 carats. This is 360. Yeah, you're talking about just under 100 carats. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Ooh. a minute clock. I'm not even going to tease you. I'm going straight down to your deal. Minute clock. And it's up to you if you want to own this. I've got like 20 chances. Yeah, I've got 20 chances. Oh, my goodness. Super limited. Maker in Devon, you're in. I'm going to urge you to multi-buy. It's one of my all-time favourite white gemstones I agree. That, that you introduced to us. It's, yeah. stu it's so ethereal in its colour. Oh, you think it's ethereal now? Check this out. Can I borrow it? You know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'll pass uh, it to you. Thank you, guys. Apologies. Uh, thank you, Finn. I'm going to... Whatever. Yeah, we can do this. Because you've seen the opaque material at Bleaker and Prince for thousands, for like a single piece. It's a strand. You can see it across <gasps> the room. Even now. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Adam, can we dim the lights, please? Is that all right? Um, and I'm just going to show you this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Right. 
If this is in cartridge... It's like you're turning the lights on every time. Look, do you see, look... Every single one, thank you, Finn. Oh, Great my job. word. Every single one. Right, okay, thank you, guys. I am, uh, I'm going to call a price, Ross, and um, I know this is too low, but I'm going to do it. What I'm going to say to every single one of you, and I've told you to multi-buy, I've told you everything, look at the size of these. Take £300 off the price. Pardon? Yeah, we're going to take £300 off the price, and then it's just who's who. Who's fast enough to get this material? You're never going to see this again. And I've paid more for the opaque material, because it's still special, it's still natural, but this is the best of the best. But Good luck. If you want to multiply, you can. I'm going to hand this back to El, but we've just gone to double figures. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. £99 only. That's it. Uh, you know, normally when we have a, you know, a lesser quantity, then um, you kind of have to hold the, the price tag a little bit higher. Look, at the, they're, they're huge. They and are these massive. are only limited. Yeah. So, Look Rupal, you're in Maker in London, Kath, Jenny, uh, Lynette, Jeanette, Bo, Maker, Kim, City of Bristol. 15 chances. If you want them, they're yours. If you want a multi buy, go for it. Put two of these together. Nearly 700 counts. Oh over my 700 counts. Word. Look at that. It's it was something like ridiculous. black jadeite in between. I mean, that is just rarity oh. redefined, isn't it? Black type A jadeite with translucent, natural branca onyx or white onyx. I call it ghost onyx. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, it's this ethereal, insane translucent. Have we ever done a size like this before? Never, no, I never, think never, so. ever. I didn't think so. These are the biggest that we've ever seen. They're stunningly Jenny beautiful. Jenny has actually got two. You've got 720 carats. Well, Jenny, I can't wait way. to see well well that done. piece of jewelry. Congratulations. Jewelry. And just to put this into, into equation, Dave, you know, yeah. you, you absolutely have said we cannot get this quantity anymore. Uh, this, uh, sorry, this quality. Cannot get this quality. Yeah, you cannot. Um, and you can't sustain these prices. I, I couldn't even entertain the idea of even getting, like, uh, I don't know, any of this material, not even a cabochon of this material for £100. It's, it's the same reason you've never seen natural black onyx. Yeah. Look at that. It's, yeah. If you're lucky Sheila, enough to... Alison, Kim, Virginia's multi-bought as well. 720 carats going to Virginia in Hampshire. 720 carats going to Jenny in Surrey. Nearly 1,000 carats of the Branca Onyx, the material that is exclusive to the high jewellery houses now. Well done. It is extremely busy. I understand you're going to be frustrated when you miss out, but just know the deals we're doing for you are, are the, 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 the ultimate. They're the best deals. And only really we can do these deals because we were the ones in the right place at the right time. Now, I know I wasn't the only one to buy from uh, that booth. I think that's pretty There was other people time. buying from that booth. Yeah. But I will tell you right now, I don't think any of them would do what I'm doing, knowing that they can't replace it. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yeah. yeah. This is a... Uh, Please tell me we've got quantity of these. Ross? 30. Not enough. You've just seen how quick that went. Oh, uh, I, don't, I, I don't think I know these are going to sell out, Dave. Um, it's insane. And, and you guys are the designers. You guys can look at this and decide how you work with it. You've, you've more imaginative than me. So creative. We've seen what Bleeker and Prince are doing with their beautiful kind of that contemporary That geometric offering. ring. Yeah, the that geometric ring. black ring. Well, the, all the hard work's done for you. You know, the, the, the fast thing, this here, Bleeker and Prince, this is the natural black onyx oh, um, in the ring. If yeah. Bleeker and Prince, have, have, you know, you guys know that they've recreated all of the looks that they've done in black onyx in the white onyx now, the opaque white wow. onyx. Wow. You've got, so when, when they've, they've recreated this exact ring in white onyx, you can offer the necklace. I don't oh know if they goodness. can. I don't know if they can. But here it is. 30 of these, 215 carats. Incredible transparency. Oh, my gosh. Right, Ross, just to show how crazy I'm going to go on this. My first price, Elle, apologies. Um, my first price, because I know everyone's at home on the edge of their seat going, OK, uh, I love this, but what's the price? Are we yeah, paying, are we paying a premium can I afford it? for this level of geometric, incredible fasting? Well, my first price on the previous piece was 4 dollars yeah. The first price on this piece is going to be 3 dollars Wow. Is that right? Is that what I did? Something like that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, but, 399. But, but, but translucency is what you're absolutely looking for in your, we, in your onyx. You should your never nap. look for that. Oh, really? You should never look for that. But you, because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's like saying, hey, guys, do you know what you should look for in your rubies? Uh, pigeon blood red. <laughs> okay, who are you? Lawrence Graff. <laughs> like, you, know, you shouldn't look for that. <laughs> okay. Because that's like the gold standard. It's like, I've, on this channel, on yeah. this channel, yeah. We've brought genuinely thousands of pieces of jade. Yeah. 
But imagine saying to the collectors at home, what you should look for is Imperial Green, guys. Yeah, Okay, true. good luck. You'd never buy a piece from us, ever. Because we've never true. brought you Imperial Green. This is the ultimate. Of course, if money's no object, that's what you should look for. Oh. If you're asking me if this is objectively the best grade that can exist, yes, it is. If this is a diamond. It's type 2A. It's purer than pure. Wow. It's decolored, flawless. This is a ruby. It's Burmese. It's no heat. It's pigeon blood red. And it's a 10 carat gem. Unbelievable. Sapphire, it's royal blue, clean, cashmere, no heat. Okay, and we can go on and on yep. and on. If this is Paraba, it's the legendary Batala material in the Windex blue category. I'm going to give you a minute clock. That's that. I don't the even scale. need the torch because you can see the cord you running can. through these. And, and do you know what's amazing? You know, uh, you know, like a still body of water. Uh, like that's how we kind of grade jade. That's why you have terms like ice jade. Top water, yeah, the finest should look like a still body of water. Mm -hmm. You know when you've been on holiday, all, I'm talking to all of you, right? Or, or you get in the bath or whatever, and you put your hand in the water or your body, and it feels disjointed. Yeah. That when you, if you objectively look at it, because the way that the, your, the, the light is interpreted through that. Yeah. It's a, different, it's a different medium, essentially. This material is so clean. Look how the cord goes in, and then in one of the facets, it's, it's like a broken linear line. Yeah. Like yeah, you can just see, see it. that is... Essentially, the refractive index of this material, it's so Refractive clean. Index, yeah. It's so clean that you can see that taking place. There's no special lights here. It literally just draped across. They're the like argument. ice cubes. Oh you talk about God. ice jade. These are like ice cubes. This is what jade wants to look like. Yeah. In yeah. terms of its translucency. If this is jade, it's what's known as glassy jade yeah and if you saw that clip of film you know where i'm uh, shamelessly promoting my social media right but you just saw a moment ago where i'm like, yeah hey guys join me we have got a massive announcement coming but there's a, a moment in that film where i have a piece of what we call glassy jade it's priceless it's not priceless but it is a hundred thousand dollars um and it's a guanyin carving it's insane and i'm literally rolling it oh, over the body that, of yeah. text. you can read newsprint through it it's hard to see on the camera but you can and of course with the carving it's hard to see but that is how they grade that material. And that's $100,000. The price on this, someone's gonna kill me for this. <laughs> like next door, because you saw like I did that little strand, which is incredible, for 214 pounds. Yeah. That there. Yeah. And that's 284 car carats. This is uh, 215, okay? But you pay for the, pr the stones are bigger on this. Ross, sorry mate, 69.99. Oh, good. Grief. We, we, we get, like I said, there's more people going to miss out <laughs> than get involved. No, no, no one's expecting that. And you've got split pay. Genuinely, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> do you know what we do next door at that price? Candles. Yeah, do you know... No, no, we do. Yes. Like, it's not like me, it's not like me saying, guys, have you ever been to Selfridges? Some of they sell their candles. Candles next door have sold for this price. Yes, year. they do. They and do. Burn in it. fact, more. And they smell lovely and they're crazy and that. But I'm saying to you right now, there's no Brazilian farmers that have... No. Guys, we just found this collection of candles in the, in the <laughs> mountainside. What should we do with it? Uh, let's burn it. Like, that's what's happening right now. You are getting this material, and I'm offering it to you, a, an unmissable deal. If, you, if you're right now, if, you, if you've said to yourself, look, I'm over my budget, I don't want to get anything else this month, switch off your TV, because it's impossible not to get involved. This is... The deals are too good. It's $69.99. It's yeah. $34.99 on your interest-free split payments. That, that Christmas tree next to you, we paid more for that. Yes. 100%. Probably the, the plastic baubles. It's on that well. little stand. It's all dressed pretty. It's nice. It's like Christmas. We paid more for that. Yeah. Right? And then it goes in the loft. And, you know, when, you're, when your children grow up, if you went, you know, 30, 40 years ago, we had this Christmas tree. I'd love to pass it down to you. And it's all battered and it comes out of <laughs> this box. And there's a little, there's a little, and I'm sure it's got sentimental value, but I'm pretty sure your daughter's going to go, I'm all right, mom. You know, I'll probably go to Argos. I'll and probably just get my own. Own. I'll yeah. get my own. Lovely, though. You and dad keep it, but I'm all right. I'll, uh, I'll save my money and go and get the rarest onyx on the planet. Exactly. For $34.99 right now on Split Pay. You can multi buy as well. I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm not fussed about capping it. If you are a trader, if you're a dealer, I have people message me constantly <gasps> across social media. Do you know, I had a message the other day, just tell you how good our deals are across the board just speaks right to the core of what we do. I had a message two days ago from a collector who I'd offered an incredible hinge bang or two. It was Jade, okay, it was yeah. Black Jade. Um, I sold it for 299 which is insane. Yeah. She said, oh, Dave, just to let you know about the quality of Jade, just like Susie Menham did when she came in with her collection and said, your Jade is the same grade. This lady said, I went and got it valued. Okay, she paid 299 for it, 5,300 pounds. Amazing. So she had it Amazing. valued. Amazing. She had it valued, 
5,000 pounds above what she paid Amazing. for Amazing. She paid 299 for it. That's what we do all the Only time. Only a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, a couple of days ago. I can't it's live on my Facebook, you can find the comment. And on top of that, you and I, was it you and I that brought the Brazilian Prabe? Yes. Okay, and we know what that material yeah. meant. And we still did the insane prices. Yeah. Like we know, we're not afraid to do it. That's, that's what we do. Well done, congratulations, take advantage. Oh my goodness, I didn't know this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to bring those 12 mils back. Oh my God. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do, David. You want to do a graduation? Yeah. How many do we have, Ross? 60. Right, let's do a mad deal then. Oh my right, so goodness. How many people multi bought on the 12 mils, yeah? You want to graduate? Oh, you're the best at this, though. I love this. I love just getting to see it live. This is the definition of jewelry maker. Here you go. Love it. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that, yeah. Imagine oh. that. I'm sorry, but this is... My, you know what our biggest enemy is here? Our biggest enemy here is shopping TV. It's just the fact that we're on shopping TV. Yeah. That's our biggest enemy, because you look at it and you go, is this legit? Is this real? Yeah. Like, if this is just on a website, this is just on a website, it's, and it says Cartier, it's a very different price. I've got 60 of these. Ross, I'm going to start. I'm going to start at 199. Oh, my God. Check this out. Oh, my goodness me. You're not going to want to miss this. I'm telling you that now. I'm going to a price that is absolutely ridiculous. All the way around. Transitioning on the whole strand, the whole row of rarity. Look at the, the, the cord running through every single one of those translucent, ethereal, natural bodies of onyx. Look at this wonderful lapidary. Okay. Ugh. I've got 60, and I promise you, all 60 are going. That's how long I'm going to go. Ross, take £100 off, please. £100? Yeah, yeah, I'm wow. not done. I'm nowhere near done, actually. I'm nowhere wow. near done. I'm in double figures in a minute. I'll be in double figures, and I'm nowhere near done. Okay, so that's where the 12 mils closed. Um, you're also not far off the size of uh, your sister ch our sister channel's necklace. Yeah. Which I know that our jewelry, I could make that necklace, Dave, no disrespect, I could. It's simple beading. Yep. You know, if you're a jewelry maker, that's probably one of the first techniques that you will master. Mm. 99 pounds, and these are faceted. Yep, each one by hand. Um, I'm just gonna say right now, because if I was in your position and uh, someone knew what, I'm, um, what I know, what I'm about to do, I'm gonna say to you as a friend, as a collector, multi-buy. I'm not telling you, I'm saying to you, if, if that's something you'd like to do, I'm gonna make it a reality. I'm going to make this your reality. I'd multi by now. As for a minute clock, this is it. In one minute, I'm going to a price where you're going to join a queue that's probably going to be minutes long. Okay, we know how busy it is this morning. You, you, I'm sure everyone can feel it. I don't know if you've been missing out. I don't know if you've been mm. uh, getting the engaged tone. Yeah. But I'm going to say to you right now, I'm, I can only go lower. And if you think I'm taking 10 or 20 pounds off, you've got another thing coming. I'm going super low on it. Oh, no, you don't know Dave very well. Yeah. Uh, if you think that's what he's Collectors going to do. Collectors are far afield as Florida are joining us on the final yeah. material now. Uh, and is it worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity? Because 100 what is it? 25p? Natural. 25p, isn't it? 25p. Yeah, get it. Absolutely get it. Yeah. Um, right, I've got County Antrim, Florida, Dorset, Surrey, Devon, uh, Oxfordshire, West Midlands, London, Buckinghamshire, Tyne and Weir, Middlesex, uh, Channel Islands, Caroline, good to see you this morning. Guys, this is it. You've got 16 seconds. West Midlands, Tracy, you're on the phone lines. All of these are going today. You can create that. That walks into Christie's. That walks. Bo in Florida, you just bought two. Sonia, oh. you're on the phone lines. Six seconds. Amazing. None of you are expecting what's coming. No. None of you. No. This is the kind of, you know, this is the kind Ross, of jewelry I'm imagining. 49.99. 49.99. I, I told you the multi buy. You can get two of them for 100 pounds. 500 carats. A, a, a full, you can create a full rope yep. necklace. Yes. And it would be what? So 100 pounds. 72 centimetres long. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly a Of some of the finest, most beautiful, yep. pure, natural white gemstones that Mother Nature can offer. Absolutely, 100%. Guys, I'm, I'm just telling you, if you miss this, that I don't mind, but I'm offering... All I can do is offer you the deal. All I can do is talk to you about how in incredible this material is. Uh, you know, my favorite part of this recording that you've got, Adam, is when, when it refreshes, 
What I want everyone to do is look to the, the far right. Yeah. And just look that, about that incredible wet look polish. Look how it looks like glass. Yeah. It's so clean. This is created by Mother Nature. Jenny and Surrey, you've just bought three of these. I, that's over a meter, isn't it? That is over a meter of the Branca Onyx. Is that right? Hang on, what, say what, haven't she bought three? Yeah, Jenny's it's over a meter. Three, over a meter, and can, that's, am I right in saying that here at Jewelry Maker we've just given a meter away for one four nine? Yeah, basically. Okay, well, there's a royal... does anyone else look at that and go, what can you get for one four nine? <laughs> like here even, forget anywhere else, here. Like, well, you jump next this door, one four nine's what, a topaz ring? Yeah. 100% it is. Yeah. What is it, an opal? A tourmaline? You're getting a meter of the rarest, the most beautiful, the most supreme yeah. natural onyx. It's only been known in the world for a little over a year. Yeah. Do you know, I, I was t in preparation for t t uh, today's show, Dave, I, yep. and, and I was sort of sat on the sofa and uh, Tom, you know Tom? You, uh, I do know Tom very well. Yeah. Um, like, Friends uh, yeah. all together, and he actually said, "What have you got tomorrow?" I went, "Oh, we've got Dave coming on, and we've got white onyx." He went, "White onyx? It's black, isn't it?" I said, so, "Yes, there it you is." Go. He went, "As in onyx, black. Yeah, the colour. Yeah, absolutely." So he was literally bowled 100%. over and fascinated by well, the fact many, that this comes people, in natural you know, white colour. Um, my auntie's got a dog, right? It's, it's a it's a black Labrador, and it's called Onyx because that's yeah, what we associate colour. with that. And here is the the absolute you know, uh, exception to that rule. This has turned the industry on its head. Yeah, that's coming up now. Right? Oh what you're about to see is not Moonstone. Have you ever heard of Golconda diamonds? Uh, they're type 2A, which means they're the purest diamonds in the world. Like, gemologically, they're the purest. And they're so pure that before we understood modern gemology, I'm talking Jean-Baptiste Tavernier in the 17th century, in the kingdom of Golconda, it, 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 you're mining the Koh-i-Noor diamond in the Kalor mine. And these diamonds, no one knew how to describe them because there was no one going around going, do you know what, guys, that's a type 2A diamond. No one knew what that meant. No. They talked about blue haze. And yeah. now we understand it's so pure that that's what the light does on the interaction with this material. You get this blue haze. They still talk about it now. They call it the blue mist. In Secrets of the Gem Trade, there's a whole chapter on Golconda diamonds, and it's entitled The Blue Mist. I'm going to yeah. show you the cleanest, purest, natural white onyx in the world. And you're going to see that blue mist. Take a look at this. Oh, my goodness me. I've got 200 of these. 200 opportunities. And you can create a ring. I know you guys can do that very easily. You can create a pendant. Well, we have jewellery made up um, that we can actually show. Um, this beautiful... Wow. ...bracelet, slider Who bracelet. Who created this? Monica. Set Monica, did you create that? That's beautiful. I mean, like, the thing is, right, you put that in a store window. Yeah. Like, it changes the proposition. You guys get to see it in the tweezers. You get to see it loose. I absolutely love seeing finished jewellery. Okay, I know this is jewellery maker. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I love to see the finished jewellery because I think it helps us all understand. And you can buy product. that mount as well. We actually have that. We're going to put it on the, on the website for you as well. So you wow. can actually shop ahead. Plus, um, I know that we haven't done anything like this before, Dave, but the cabochons allow us to sort of enter into the realms of... That's it. That's perfection. Now it? you see it. Now you see it. That's how you should appreciate this material. You look at that and you go, and now I get it. Like someone walks on to, to a red carpet in that. Hair up. Yeah. That's in the ear. What is that? What is it? Oh, God knows. What is it? It's, it's a natural onyx from one tiny farmland to one tiny mine in Brazil. Oh, wow. Can, can you get that? No, they, that doesn't come out anymore. But you can get like the solid white material. Very expensive. But that, that's like the access deposit. That's like the, the, the first four feet look like that. No way. Unbelievable. The earring mounts are also available. Okay, nearly eight carats in this collection. Let's give you 30 seconds before the graphics come in. That's going to give you, 200 are, are, of you the opportunity to get involved. Are we getting all of those? Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah, it's 7 .8 So the entire carats. parcel. Yeah, so it's a pack of 10 matched, incredible, calibrated gems. So, which helps you guys in your jewelry design if you want to get mounts. They are calibrated. So you can go, okay, well, that's the mount I need. 
I can create the pendants, I can create the earrings, I can create, as, as Monica showed you, the bracelet. Oh, I love it in the rose gold. Look at that. It can so, so let's put the mounts on pre-order, Ross. Yep. The seven by five mounts for, for all of the jewelry that, that our collectors can make. We're going to offer the full experience right now. Graphics Alive, 200 quantity. 200? This, this, this speaks to, you know, how we buy very differently to, to everyone else. That's yep. how we get great deals. Okay? 200 7.8 carat parcels. Wow. 200 opportunities of 10 stones. What's 7 2, is a gems. big stone, isn't is that it? right? My math is terrible. Is that 2,000 gems in this auction? 10 uh, gems. Yeah. yeah. Times, yeah. 200. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we bought, here we go, 2,000 gems. And 7.8 carats is, is that 1,400-ish carats that we've got? Is that right or am I way off? Oh, you're asking somebody who's terrible at maths. Um, about 1,500, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's how we differ. Lancashire, Tyne and Weir, Florida, California, London. Um, just, you're probably thinking, well, I'm going to be priced out here. That's beautiful, isn't it? First price, Ross. The first price we're going to come in at is actually under £100. Let's come in at £95 just for a frame of for 10. Point of difference. Yeah, yeah. For, and 7.8 carats. And this is what you haven't had the opportunity to work with yet. You've had strands before, maybe. You haven't had this opportunity. This is where you can make the ring. This is where you can make the earrings. Yeah. And what prices were Bleeker and Prince's rings earlier on? Like sort of, it's, well, uh, all over a thousand pounds. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, all over a thousand pounds. And they were of the opaque uh, uh, right. quality as well. Yeah, so, um, you know, you're looking at that. You're looking at the pendant as well, the mini constellation series, uh, which is, you know, here you go. There you go. There's a ring. 1,152. Uh -huh. Here's a ring, 1,290. Yep. Here's the pendant, 1,780. Here's the earrings, 1,350. Here's another pair of earrings, 6,925. Yep. It's all the opaque variety. We bought all the translucent, or all the translucent that we could. And that's your start price, guys. Unbelievable. We've got 200 quantity. 200. Which means I know I've got to do a crazy deal. Because so far I've been bringing you like quantities of 30. Yes, they've been selling out. How do I get 200 people on the phone lines? Think about that. How do I say to you, I want you to multi-buy. I want you to get these into your collection. Let me give you a minute clock to show you a price that you're not paying. To show you how incredible this is going to be. This is a minute now. Once these 200 are gone, they're gone. Good luck. Join us on the phone lines or the app or the web. Look at that. This is stunning. It's ultra, ultra high end as well. I mean, look, the fact that as well, Dave, that purity that off, of colour. If you take it off and put the light through them. The purity see. of colour, but also the translucency so perfectly matched in this entire oh parcel. God, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shine it look, through. Look at all the blue you that you're getting. Oh my yeah, goodness. you know, like you want to see it shine, light up like a light bulb, right? You want to see you got the same grade. Well, there it is. Oh my word. Literally translucently perfect. John, you've oh, got two of going? these. Congratulations. Perfectly, perfectly colour matched. Mm -hmm. Gosh, they're magical, Dave. Oh, yeah, they are. Absolutely magical. Phenomenal. Otherworldly, Every single one frankly. of you is multi-buying. I've got no clue. I mean, you're already at I'm going to give you a price, price that you're not paying. How about that? Okay. Okay, Ross, let's go to 49.99. 49.99. 49.99. Wait, that's five pound a stone. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm nowhere near them, by the way. Like, not a little bit. I'm nowhere near them. But I'm trying to let you know how incredible this is going to be. And if I, just even next door, yeah. if I bought that pair of earrings that you've just put, th put together here, Al, that you're wearing, yeah. I would be talking to our collectors about how difficult it is to match a pair of these. Yeah. You, know, you can't get this material anymore. Uh, this is a match pair. It's a significant carat weight. Yeah. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. We'd probably have a zircon at the top, maybe a diamond. Um, and that is exactly what I would say. And we'd be, at, you know, a higher price than what's on your screen right now, just being oh honest. Gosh, I always tell you at Jewelry Maker, you guys get the best deals. Um, unbelievable. Thank you, Ross. This is going to be incredible. Look at that. Yeah, it's almost showing like an asterism. John, you've got four of these. Virginia, you've got two. Sophia, you've got three. Bo in Florida, you've got two. Right. I promise you I'm going lower than this. A lot lower. I, I want 200 gone. 200 yeah. of these gone. Can you imagine? I, I, so this is, 
I've just it's just popped into my head. Can you imagine? And you described sort of that scenario being in the right place at the right time, you know, with your Pareba tourmaline. Can you imagine? I if, wish, by the way. If if I know, in fact, I know we are already, but you know, we we watch back and we all of a sudden start seeing white onyx for how much did you say, like sixty thousand dollars per carat? Pareba. Yeah. For, for Pareba. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine if that does? Which is which is high. It's likely. There's nothing. Yeah, I mean, to say I, that I, that black happen. onyx is is. Four figures per carat. Yeah. Natural black onyx. Okay. Absolutely. Over a thousand per carat. So we're in that moment in time. Yeah, and this time is more expensive than right black now. onyx. Yeah. Okay, minute clock. This is where it gets serious now. This is where they're all going to go. One major deal coming. Okay. One incredible deal coming your way. Um, like John, I'm, gonna, I'm literally going to encourage you to multiply to the tune of four. Four parcels of 7.8 carats. Four parcels of 10 gems each. John is getting 40 calibrated, oh my incredible, goodness. translucent, matched, beautiful, natural Branca onyxes coming to him. And if you do want to make this bracelet, the mount is available. Yeah, when I mount. say mount, so when I say mount, it's everything I'm holding here, yeah? So I'm just going to start complete. my own business, I think. I'm just yes. going to start my own business. I'm just like, just come here and buy the mount. It's, I, I can do it, can't I? Well, I can that, well we that. do. We, we, that's what a lot of our lovely customers do. They, 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 they Power are to you. Power to very you. successful jewellery uh, yep. jewellery makers. I hear from retailers. a lot of you. Right. One final price come in. One amazing deal. I can't believe you're going lower, to be yeah. honest. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Look at that. It's otherworldly. It's so beautiful. It's my, it is my favourite white gemstone. Oh. I, I, I just love that glow. Right. Brenda's got two, Jean in California's got two, John's got four, Virginia's got two. We had a collector in Florida, Bo, who's got two. We had Sophia, who got three. Every single one of these is in the front lines right now within your baskets. It's time to check out because we are going to our final deal right now of 29 dollars oh, that's, that's what we're doing. 7.8 carats. This is what you've been asking for. We, we want the cabochons. We want those solitaires. We want to be able to create jewellery with this. Yes, we love the strands. Yes, we've got the strands. This is where you get your pendant. This is where you create the ring. This is where you create the match pair of rings. We've done all the matching for you. There's 10 gems in this incredible parcel. They match to perfection. I've all got that incredible blue mist, that blue haze coming through. Why is that? Because they're so pure, just like the legendary Golconda diamonds that were so pure. They were type 2A, pure carbon. No impurities, no nitrogen, no hydrogen, uh, no, no secondary uh, elements getting in there. The reason that that is there is because it is so pure. Sally, you're in. Janice, you're in. Brenda, Alison, Jean, uh, Christine, David, Deborah, John, Maker in Gloucestershire, Hilma, Mikey, Margaret, Elaine, Julie, Maker, Corolla, Bo, Linda, Elaine, Maker in Devon. Linda's just got three of these. I'm Amazing. Just give you something a minute. Oh, no, don't. Don't, don't, don't. What is this? What are we doing? Three pound a gem. <laughs> Three pound a gem. Why have you done yeah. this to me? Al? You have that in your purse. No, this don't is you? crazy. Let's put this on the table. <laughs> Three pound a gem. That is ridiculous. You know what? Get this off the screen. Kill the auction. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. Three the pounds. Natural Branca Onyx. And you are absolutely right, of course. It is three there you pounds go. a gem. That's... I had that in my purse. Yeah, you, some of you probably have that down the back of the sofa. Probably. Right, and, and you're getting this material that we know is going to be worked with this. by the likes of Cartier, by the likes of, of Bleak and Prince, who are already seen working with the lower grade material, by the likes of Boucheron, but, but by the likes of all of the Bulgari, all of the people that are working with natural onyx. And this is oh, the one that word. turns the, the, the world of onyx on its head. Right, do you know what? Minute clock. Minute clock, but I want to see, I want to see 100 of you on the phone lines. Okay. And I'll go lower. I'll go lower. Is this purely because of time? Are Absolutely. You only, I was going to say. This is my final auction with you. I know Elle still has some incredible yep. pieces to bring to you. I know Monica is back doing a masterclass. This is it. My final deal with you this morning. You got 42 seconds. We, we are at three pounds per natural, translucent, mm -hmm. Brazilian white onyx here. Oh, yeah. Per stone. Absolutely. Half a minute, guys. I need to be on the phone line. Prince will ever do those prices. Oh, you can ask them. You can take their little three pound, right? <laughs> you can go to them in, in Las Vegas. Go, hey, guys, really like that piece that you've got. Um, can I just give you three pounds today? Pocket money. I think money. you'd get arrested. Like pocket money. Right. I, I actually need to see 100 of you on the phone lines, though, if I'm going to do this. Yeah. I told you about our financial director, Donna. Um, yeah, I'm not a favourite person, OK? Not a favourite no, person. No, I bet. I bet. Which um, is a shame because I'm, you but I'm your favourite person. You guys mean more to me than, than anyone upstairs, so that's fine. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to say to you right now, I'm willing to do oh. something insane. Now, another minute, please, Adam. Dave, something's just occurred to me, and maybe 
if there are any of them left, I think this is what I'm going to do. Imagine like trilogies or eternity rings with your seven. Yeah, yeah for Can you imagine sure. them reaching across the hand? And they all match so perfectly. Right, oh. guys, what is this 47 seconds doing on your clock? I need to see on the phone lines. That's yeah. why it's there. It's okay? a justification, isn't it, really? Absolutely. If you're gonna, if you're I'm going to get, get it in the one. neck anyway. But at least I'll say, well, they're all gone now. Everyone's got them. They're, they're, they're out of the building. I need your help. Uh, Linda's got three. We've got a collector. Virginia and Hampshire's got five. Sophia's got three. Maker in North Yorkshire's got four. I've got half a minute. You've got half a minute, guys. I'm going lower than the price on your screen. Can you believe it's that? It's just, just ridiculous, thank, uh, frankly. £29.99 only. Three quid a stone. Three pounds a stone. Oh, I, 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 firstly, I was struck by the fact that you've got 10 in a parcel. You know, these should be, surely be sold individually as opposed to an entire parcel of them, especially considering, I don't know anywhere else where you can get translucent white onyx other than from Dave directly. And here he goes, go, oh, three pounds, that's, I mean, that's a great deal, but I'll go lower just because I'm running out of time. You said it yourself, Dave, that, you know, those big, your Boucherons and your, uh, and your Absolutely. Tiffany's and co, they don't see. Guys, you're going to wish, you're going to wish that you're in the queue right now. Uh. Ross, you're not going to like this, but as you've said uh, openly, look, I'm running out of time. I, I'm guarantee that little reindeer here costs more than what I'm about to do. I'm telling you that right now. That little ceramic. Is it ceramic? Or is it wood? Plastic? Plastic. Don't know. <laughs> and it still costs more, right? Um, Fourteen ninety nine. What's he say? Are you all right? No, I'm probably still jet lagged. I've I've, I've been with you guys across both the, these incredible uh, networks. Ross, did you hear that? Consistently, fourteen ninety nine. Where are we? Claire's accessories. Is, is, honestly, I'm I'm serious, right? I'm going fourteen ninety nine. Adam's stunned. Ross is stunned. It's, it's choosing. I mean, to literally, I've you. never ever seen that them there. They're shell shocked in there. They are there. They look shell shocked. They're like, I it's not. It's not like some kind of game. Kind of this is the genuine. Look, I bought a, a phone case the other day, and it cost more than this. And it's like just the silicone or whatever. I right, bought, that's when you know you've messed up. Yeah, Elaine. When yeah. the people that are benefiting from it, that, that never happens. Like oh. again, let's go back to the, that frame of reference. You're buying a house or a property, right? And it's your first house, and, and you know you can't. You've scraped all your money together, and and the, the price is listed. Say it's listed at 120,000 pounds. Like, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna put it all together. And they go, do you know what, mate? We're gonna do it for 50. You're going to do it for 50 grand if that's all right. And you're going to be like, what? <laughs> but you wouldn't, would you? You'd go, yeah, no worries. But even our collectors who are benefiting yeah, exactly. are telling me off. So imagine what Donna's going to do. I know. I'm going to avoid her. I'm going to avoid her. I would if I was you. Because oh now it's £1.50. Yeah. £1. Yeah, yeah. you said it out loud, Ross. It's going to, oh, I'm God, it's not even on the screen yet. I've said it £14.99. You'd pay more, for the, for more than that for the certificate. Yeah. Elsewhere you would, 100%. Absolutely. Wait a second. So it's there. I don't need to visually show you one pound fifty to it for a white, a white onyx translucent natural stone. That's like dyed material. Uh, I've got twenty pounds in my pocket. Okay. Oh my goodness. And I get change. Yes. I get change. You get a sarni as well, can't you? Yeah. Oh, here you goes, guys. I need to get a coffee though as well. So yeah. And I get that parcel. I know. I know you can't get any more. <laughs> uh, what is it? Seven and seven point eight carats. Are they calibrated? Is it translucent, it's top gem? Yeah, with that kind of blue haze that you don't find in anything but gold corner dumps. Yeah, well, I've got, I'll tell you what, I've got, I've got 20 pounds, <laughs> but I want all 10, that's all right. I don't just want one, I want, I'd like to take all of those, actually. Yeah, thanks. And then I'll just go and create my own jewellery and sell it for, for whatever price I want, the same price maybe that Boucheron will. It is laughable, though, Dave, Yeah, but th it? that is it. I'm, I, I said, I say constantly, in, in the world of, like, for instance, Jade, I'm the laughing stock of that community. <laughs> No, like, no, you know, because there's like a book that I paid over £220 for. It's The Authority on Jade. It was only published this year. Um, I bought it from Roland Schlussel from Pillar and Stone. I, I actually uh, uh, I bought it in Tucson, but it's only just been printed. It arrived uh, about two weeks ago. And it, there's, you know, there's a con the book is actually 10 years' work. 21 gemologists have contributed to it. All of them the masters yeah, of amazing. it. Yeah, All of them talking about the value, the supreme rarity, how it's revered. And then there's me. <laughs> Right, who's like, hey guys, we reverse price auction, you know, like split pay. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. Yeah, but I think we love you all the more for yeah, that reason. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get all it. All that a joke. for, <laughs> for that joke. reason. Oh my goodness me, I wasn't expecting that, David. But I, I, there isn't a jewelry house in the world, and you've worked in the world of finance. Yeah. You know? 
There isn't a jewelry house in the world ever. Even when like Tiffany or, 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 or Graf or any of those names open their new boutiques in different parts of the world. You know, hey, here's our new incredible gallery on Place Vendôme. We've just refurbished our Bond Street store. They don't even get 200 people. No. No. We get 200 people in like two minutes. Oh, genuinely, that jeweler that I used to work at, Dave, other than maybe Christmas time, the week running up to Christmas when you used to have the quite wealthy who clearly hadn't organised it and were yeah. literally uh, anything, I need something. But days used to go past without us seeing customers. What a job. Yeah. Just chilling. Boring, Just actually. chilling, yeah. Really but boring. But, but that's why they have to have those prices. Yeah. Yeah, of course, for sure. I mean, you know, these high-end jewellery luxury stores, you know, Fifth Avenue, Place Vendôme, Bond Street, the most, the most expensive areas for real estate in the world. Yeah. Imagine yeah. the cost. Wow. £1.50, please. And on that note, I, I, I don't know this for sure. I might be absolutely wrong. I don't know if you get a sausage roll for that. For like Greg's or something. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe you do. Maybe you get it for a pound. I don't know. I'm I don't know. It. But it's a place I try and avoid because yeah. I think it's quite high, quite, quite uh, in calorific. Let's yeah, just put it that way. Yeah, that's a good term. That's a good. Term. Um, now, Dave, I, th I, I believe you've got to be somewhere. I've but got to be somewhere. But again, as always, it's great to be with do you. Do we have your permission to do the rounds then? Absolutely. You have my permission. Um, I would actually rather you do the rounds. Um, and. Just, just so you know, Donna has just walked past and um, she's not happy. I can only see the back of her. She's going to come in there, Ross, and I'm going to get a roll in. So it is what it is. You have the rounds. I want you to take some of the heat That's off That's fine. So I I'll want you it. to do an incredible deal for every collector right now. Do you know, I'm just going to show this. That's it. That's what it's all about. It's, it's this ring. Mm. It's that sea urchin design. Yeah, I love it. You I, said that earlier. Oh. Now, so we're going to do the parcel of rounds. Dave, thank you so much. As always, we love to have you. Oh. Look, I'm glad that I've made you guys happy. That's what matters to me. Okay. Um, I've got to go and face the music now. Okay. But as long as you guys got an incredible deal. Um, just, just before I go, on social media, if you guys want to reach yes. out, follow me. Uh, David Harry Jules on, on Facebook and Instagram. Major news coming in January. I mean, the biggest news you've ever ever heard and on top of that um, new content posted every day all the new gemstones we're getting offered uh, interviews with some of the most notable people in the industry um, uh, is it okay to share that now or you can leave yeah, it yeah no, no 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 okay. please do so yeah. this is um, the, in my social media if you want to stay in touch me and Al have got the craziest weekend genuinely and might, again this might sound hyperbole if you think he's just saying that tune in and if I'm wrong I'm wrong and you can tell me not this weekend, but the coming weekend, we are doing an auction house event. We have an incredible cabinet being built for this area here. We're going to turn this whole studio. It's Christmas right now, but for that day, you're going to join our auction house experience. And in any other auction house in the world, the only way you miss out is if you're not the highest bidder in the room. In our auction house, the only way you miss out is if you're not the fastest person in the room. We're going to do something incredible that is coming up, not this weekend, but the next. Make sure you join me and Al for that. It is going to be your auction house experience. But for now, if you want to stay up to date with everything that's happening in the gem world, David Harry Jules, this is how you do it.
Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend for some of the most incredible uh, Jedi auctions. And on top of that, we're launching a brand new gemstone that I've very recently encountered in Hong Kong. I can't wait to share all of the information about that. Extremely rare, only known to occur on two places on the planet. And we have some of the finest examples of that to share with you. And then the return of the legendary Queen Kong. It's gonna be a jam-packed weekend and I'm hoping uh, to see all of you join me. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Isn't he wonderful? I do love our Dave. <laughs> Not only because he brings you the finest and most amazing deals on the most expensive and luxurious and rare, beautiful treasures that Mother Nature can offer, but also he's just wicked and he's a lovely chap as well. So make sure you give him a follow on social media because uh, um, I, I, I also learn a lot off Dave yeah. um, on his Instagram, his Facebook page. So he's, he's a great a great individual to follow. And he's literally there. He's, can you imagine if we could go to all of the places that he does and you know the wealth of knowledge that he picks up from all these, all these uh, 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 individuals all around the world, you know, you're learning that in the moment with Dave. So do give him a little bit of a follow. Right then, shall we? We're going to do the part, we're going to do the rounds. Um, and we have also, just to give you a heads up, got brand new sterling silver sliders as your deal of the day that are teamed with the most beautiful colored gemstones. So um, if you love red spinel, honestly, this one's going to bowl you over. So here they are. Just take a little look. In fact, I'm going to take this one off there and show it to you against my hand so you can see this is totally natural red spinel the rarest color um i'm certainly one of two most expensive varieties red spinel in the most beautiful slider bracelet these are coming up within the uh, throughout the course of the show we've got it in black spinel we've also got one in pearls and we've got one in Amazonite. If you're looking for perfect Christmas deal, uh, Christmas presents, then um, look no further. These are coming up. Not too long to wait for those. Also, we've got the most unbelievable masterclass coming up as well. Um, but right now, let's do the bracelet mount. Yes. So for those of you that wanted to recommission this amazing piece, uh, this amazing piece of jewellery, the one that I was showing um, alongside uh, Dave's uh, parcels, the, 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 you know, the parcel of beautiful natural ovals. So this will include, you'll need to include five of your beautiful seven by five millimeter um, white onyx. I mean, look at that, just because they kind of sit elevated, don't they? Do you notice how you've got the curvature of the sterling silver, so it's really going to wrap around and embrace um, the wrist line. It is a complete, I am right, yeah, I was wondering that. So it is a complete slider bracelet. So if I hold this up, can you see? You do get everything. You haven't got to add a slider to this even more. So 925 sterling silver, you get everything that's, uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, Finn, I'm trying to show the bracelet as well. Um, so you get the slider bracelet and your, uh, uh, and also sort of that, that front section. All you need to do is add your gemstones. They went to fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. How about I told you you could make one of the rarest, most beautiful pieces of jewelry for under fifty five pounds? The slider bracelet itself. I'm going to put this down because then you can see it all. The slider bracelet itself. That beautiful carved bar, the detailing sterling silver. This You can make this entire piece after you've set your gemstones in there as well. Less than £55 for you today. How many do I have, uh, um, Roscoe? We've got a big quantity, seven and a half grams of 925 sterling silver, um, which tells me then you'll have your, uh, yeah, it is hallmarked as well, so you've got that on there too. Um, anything over uh, seven and a half grams. Jamati, Jane, Virginia, Janice, Elaine, Kath, David, Jean, Carol, Linda, Devon, Maker, Nikki in Hampshire, Elaine in Buckinghamshire. We've got a big quantity of, the, of these. Shall we get, do you know, 55 pounds, this is just a bit of a weird number, isn't it? Bit of a weird one. We don't like 55. Don't know why, nothing against it. Just a bit of a strange number. Should we take it under 50 pounds? Yeah? 
It's all oh, like nice and rounded. Yeah, nice round number, like under fifty pounds for beautiful white onyx, completely and utterly natural, and you can make this beautiful slider bracelet. I will show it to you on the wrist as well. But if you want that price tag, make the most of these thirty-three seconds that are on your screens right now. We've got a hundred quantity of them. Not only your white onyx though. Have you got parcels of gemstones sat in amongst your stash at home that you haven't that you haven't had the perfect uh, mount um, to it, it set them into? Because actually, it's been a long time since we've done a gem, uh, a gem set show. It's been a long time since we've, we've actually had your calibrated mounts in your rings or your bracelets or your earrings. It's been quite a long time. Last show I remember, actually, Monica, was back in Ivy House. Yes, I can't so, remember the last time I saw a gem set. It's got to be about a year. It's got to be about a year ago. And you know, um, Wayne gave me that bracelet earlier today. Uh, to set the gem set mm -hmm. in there. And I didn't have any of my special gem setting tools or anything with me. I just used my, my normal pliers. Your normal pliers? Yeah. So it's easy to set as well? Very. Wow. Wow, wow. You can make it today for less wow. than 50 pounds. Look how beautiful it is. It literally follows the curve of the wrist line. Um, yeah, so if you've got maybe, I don't know, some citrine, some some amethyst, some, um, I don't know, Larimar, if you've got a moonstone, any of your calibrated stones, seven by five tends to be quite, uh, it's, a, it's quite, well, it, yeah. it's a frequent size. And actually that bracelet would cost you less than 40 pounds because you've only used half the gemstones in the pack. Good point. Yeah. That's a very good point. So actually you're looking more like... About 38 pounds. 38 pounds to make yeah. in sterling silver and the rarest variety of onyx. And it took me about 10 minutes while we were on it. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. 29.99, loads of multi-buyers. It is the complete slider bracelet. So all you need to do is choose the gemstones to go into the top. Um, it's fully adjustable. If I just flip my hand over, you can see you have the slider mechanism there. Seven and a half grams of sterling silver. Beautiful detailing on the slider bracelet itself. Um, you've got that lovely filigree work all the way around, really showcasing the quality of the stones. Um, it's brand new, never been on your screen. So for premiere today, Pauline, Hilda, Robert, Irene, Linda, Maker, Jamati, Jane, Virginia, Janice, Elaine, Kath, David, uh, Janet, Irene, another, Jean, well done, Devon, Nikki, you've got a Buckingham show, we need to see you checking out your baskets, otherwise you might well miss out on this opportunity. Because um, you imagine, we had, a, what, about 200 of the parcel? I've only got 100 of the bracelet. So, Logic tells me that some people with a parcel, if they like the bracelet, they're going to want to get two of them straight away. And that's why I am seeing twos quite a lot. Um, well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. Let's now do the rounds. Uh... Oh, this one fits. Look how beautiful this is. Single solitaire. Just one. Just one out of your parcel. Oh. A six millimeter cabochon. Now we have authority, we have permission from Dave, the man himself, to, to take this parcel. Oh my goodness me. To another ridiculously low price tag. Look at that. Wait, wait, Ross, you're already at 29.99, mind. That's where he wanted to close, he said. Similar carrot weight. You've got seven three-quarter carrots, six mil rounds. Um, also, can I just put, I'm going to put this one here so you can imagine it against the, in the different designs of mounts. Look how beautiful that is. There we go. In 60 seconds, we're going to match the, what, did you just say that? We're going to match the price of the ovals. Look at that, just literally one of them. One of them set into a beautiful setting or mount of, whether it be gold, yellow, silver, 18 karat platinum, whichever it might be. You know, one shouldn't be anywhere near that price tag. In 41 seconds though, if you're with us during the parcel of the ovals, we will do exactly that. We will match that price tag. We've had special permission from Dave. And he's like, look, look I need you to, I'm gonna share the load a little bit. Take a little bit of, uh, take a little bit of heat off me in the fact that I took that parcel way lower than it should have been. I was happy at 29.99. I thought that I'm ecstatic in, absolute, yeah. in actual fact. Do make sure you check out. They look so beautiful. Just one 
one single stone and this is one out of the parcel um, and all of these mounts you'll find it on our website as well um, well done Dorset, John, hello to you Notting uh, Nottinghamshire, Linda, Janice, Brenda, Elaine, hello London, hello to you Angus, hello to you Christine and Carol and Brenda and Bo. £1.50 per stone. And I'll get change. Can we just put that, that, that I'm, I'm a very visual person, are you? I'll get change from that. Here's, here's the reality. If I pop to our local town, yeah, exactly. If I pop to our local town, I couldn't yep. catch a bus for that. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't pay for parking for that. No. But right now, I can actually access one of the rarest varieties of beautiful translucent natural white onyx. Not dyed. Not, this is not dyed onyx. And it's not even the opaque variety, which would be one thing. Um, certified completely and utterly natural. And you're getting 10 of them. Make sure you check out those baskets. Did I have an equivalent quantity then? We, oh, these are more limited. Um, we had um, 100 of them available and they are absolutely flying out the door. Alison, Valerie, Cumbria, Janet, Julie, Patricia, Mikey. Make sure you check out lovely. Karen, Julie and Tyne and Wen, new customer, London. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They've got that ethereal like presence oh they definitely do don't they yeah you can you can see the glow even without shining the light on it yeah even without a light source with even without yeah. you know I, I borrowed finn's phone earlier on you know just that one light source you see them light up but even you know if i was to rock these uh, this piece of jewelry literally back and forth a little bit like your moonstone you have this yeah. amazing asterism that occurs within the gemstone one pound fifty it's crazy isn't it absolutely crazy can you imagine them also in things like your tube sets and your gallery oh, wires and things oh, like yes, that with the gallery wire oh. be nice well done now we've brought you the tens we've brought you the twelves now i'm going to bring you the eights and the six millimeter faceted rounds the sliders are coming up they are actually your deal of the day um, and earlier on um ross i don't know if dave perhaps thought i was a bit distracted <laughs> um and that's because I had all these before me. So you've had the 12, you've had the 10. I'm going to bring you the 8 and the 6 in those faceted rounds. And this is what I was thinking, Monica. Can you uh -huh. imagine this? Can you imagine? I'm going to do the, go, go on the overhead again. Look. Oh. oh, my word. Adam. Can you imagine that? Uh. Can you imagine that as a finished piece of jewellery? Wow. Well, you know, we had the sterling silver clasp with a three loop. Perfect. We had that yes. three row clasp. Absolutely perfect. And maybe I'd dot a few pearls in there as well, a few oh. seed pearls. Because then the light, the light would sort of bounce off the pearls and it would, it would reflect in the, in the onyx, I think. Oh, my goodness me. If you have the budget to do so, please make this. Make that really lovely, casual, twisted uh, necklace. Now, so we've done the 12 mil. We've brought those to you already. And we've done the 10 mil. Now we're going to do the 8 mil. But we also have the 6 mil. It's the first time we've actually had... Look at that! We've also... This is the first time we've actually had it in the faceted rounds. So right now for the eight millimeter size, if you want to get the other two, they may still be available. They were a little bit more limited. I'm just going to put this one out there. How many do we have? Let's do the housekeeping. How many have you got? 50 of each. Sorry, 50 of the eight, 40 of the six mil. Both of these strands, faceted, natural, translucent, white onyx the gemstone that has really only been in the market or, or really been recognized and sort of only just now we're kind of talking about it we are literally uh, back in the 1980s if you can imagine we're almost at the foothills aren't we um of the discovery of your palaver tourmaline that's where we are with your white onyx okay both of these are going where ross under 50 pounds what Can I do a bit of maths, Ross? Can you tell me 
Well, I can't. I can't. You're, as in, that's Q4. Can you, do, can, can you do a bit of maths? Absolutely. No, no, no. I would never, never stake claim to me doing the maths because our customers know me better than that. Um, hang on a minute. How much, how much is it going to cost me to get all four? How much was that not faceted, beautiful Bronca Onyx necklace that our sister channel launched and sold out for 284 carats? That was 214 pounds that sold out. You can get all four strands today, faceted, for not far off that price tag. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Imagine a few of your red spinels dotted in oh, there. Oh, God, yeah. Or black spinel or something of that, uh, uh, with, the, with that kind of level of, I don't know, injection of colour. £44.99. Wait, what? There's only a handful of people on the phone lines. Eight millimetre rounds. We're in the realms of some of the most, but maybe it's because I'm confusing you all with the, with, with, with the multiple strands. Let me move those out of the way a second. Eight millimetre rounds, faceted, uh, faceted. First time we've ever done your faceted round. Look at that. It literally bounces lustre um, off the surface of this beautiful gemstone. The translucency is so unbelievable. You can can literally see the cord running through the heart of the gemstone if you don't want that to be visual then go for something like your monofilament or you can yeah. even get things like your flex right wire um, which almost disappears within the gemstone 44 pounds and 99 pence what seriously that's crazy low now let's do the six millimeters i'm going to drape that on the back of my hand as well they're uber limited. I've only got 40 of these lovely jewelry makers. Again, imagine that graduation. Um, it doesn't say the size of the necklace on the, uh, on our sister channel. Um, but again, I think it's, it's probably eight or six millimeters. I should imagine. Um, just a couple of your gold plated spacer beads dotted in between so easily to it's easy to recreate again i know with your skills and talents or just a little bit of know-how from the likes of the lovely monica okay this is the is this the last strand that i have the last look at that seriously that does not look like it exists on this planet does it <laughs> no and i mean the six and the eight mil they're not small they look small no. just now when you had them next to the 10 and the 12 mil but uh, as they are they're not small at all you you know they they stand up on their own even the six mil that's breathtaking. It is. It is. It's like a cloud, isn't it? It is. Look at the... Yeah, you know when you look sort of the... Uh, the end of a cloud where the light is literally yes. sort of flickering through. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. That's beautiful. Do you know what that reminds me of? Mm -hmm. And this is going to sound... Like, do I say it? Do I say it out loud? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sound a little bit childlike, but I'll say it anyway. For those of you that have watched Never Ending Story, you know Falcor, the luck dragon? Yes. And he's got those beautiful, beautiful scales, like iridescent like scales. That's what that reminds me of. Yes. Oh, yeah. It, it's otherworldly, this. So beautiful. If you don't get... How many do we have? 40, did you say? If these don't sell out, I'll be snapping up three at these at least. I bought, it, I, I bought strands, literally a plane rounds the first time that we launched White Onyx. Um, it's completely and utterly natural. This, uh, I could me I'm mesmerised by that recording. How about if I say it fast? Because they will sell out. This is going under £40 today. It's irreplaceable, this level of quality. We cannot repeat, we can't replace the translucent natural white onyx. We can bring you opaque white onyx that is natural in colour, but it will not be at the price that you're seeing right now. Uh, Lancashire, well done to you. Irene, well done. Jenny, well done. Multi-buying. Lorraine, Sheila, new customers, loads of you still getting involved. We've got fully-fledged jewellers. Why wouldn't you? At the end of the day, you can, you can hop on a plane and go across to JCK, JCK, the next big gem event where you'll see the likes of Bleaker and Prince, you'll see the likes of, uh, 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 of Boodles and um, Tiffany's and Co. You can look at all of those working with natural onyx, natural black and natural white onyx. Dyed variety, you can get 
relatively cheap, uh, <laughs> relatively inexpensively. And it's still beautiful, as long as you take it horses for course, as long as you know what it is. This is natural white onyx, uber rare. And it was only really introduced in the market over the past year or so. Shaleen, Carola, Lorraine, Sheila, Janet, Maker in Dorset, Kerry, I can see you there, North Yorkshire. Make sure you do check out. I have one more white onyx opportunity. It's going to be very, very, very special. So if you have got a dash anywhere, please stay with me for just a little bit longer um, because you might be able to spot it on your peripheral, peripheral vision. But it will go per perfectly with each and every single one of these strands. Unbelievable. Okay, now. The oval mounts of the pendant and the earrings, they're also available on the website, by the way. Um, in fact, they've almost sold out on pre-order, so I would definitely encourage you getting hold of those. Now, it's the last white onyx that we have. 40 carats in a beautiful solitaire. <laughs> Go on. For one single stone. What? Monica, your demonstration earlier on today. Look oh, at that. I was going to say, there's... I would, that's what I would do with it. <laughs> I'd use like a, like a, you can get like a silver, can't you? A silver silk. Yes. Can you imagine the silver running through? Oh. If you're happy with two pound a carat for the rarest variety of white onyx in the, mar in the market, natural translucency, natural white color, irreplaceable as we speak right now, not only in terms of monetary irreplaceable, irreplaceable because of the quality that you're getting. If you like two pounds per carat, then start dialing now because we're not stopping there. We are not stopping there. Do you know what? I can actually show you the different degrees of quality that we're going to be able to get, uh, that we're going to be offering you moving forward. Because this one here, it's a natural gemstone. Everyone's going to have slight variations. But look, there's opaque white onyx just on the, can you see? See how it skims the surface? It's still beautiful. And I like the fact you've got that in this piece. Yes. You've got the opaque just on the, uh, on sort of skimming the surface, and then you've got this beautiful, beautiful translucency. If you love two pound per carat, then you're going to love even more. Our finale piece. You're going to adore this next price drop. Wow. That's a pound per carat. A natural white onyx certified. Please get your certificate of authenticity. It's so important when yeah. we're talking about really gemstones uh, uh, um, as a rule, especially your natural variety, because you're not going to source. If you want to source a natural ruby, you want the certificate. If you want to source, I don't know, <coughs> a D flawless diamond, you're going to want the certificate. If you're getting your type A jadeite, you need your certificate. And likewise, that applies to your white onyx because really most most gemologists would almost expect it to have undergone some kind of treatment process this hasn't undergone any heating or any dyeing whatsoever all totally and utterly natural make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines uh, and please 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 do send your photographs of your creations into the wall of fame so we can admire them all the more amazing now coming up we've got those gorgeous slider bracelets there's the pearl the amazonite and uh, there's the black spinel and there's red spinel which is completely bowled me over this is coming up just after the break and we've got the most beautiful masterclass as well with monica we'll be back after this Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend for some of the most incredible uh, jadeite auctions and on top of that we're launching a brand new gemstone that I've very recently encountered in Hong Kong and can't wait to share all of the information about that. Extremely rare, only known to occur on two places on the planet and we have some of the finest examples of that to share with you. And then the return of the legendary Queen Kong. It's going to be a jam-packed weekend and I'm hoping uh, to see all of you join me.
want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. This coming Saturday on Jewelry Maker, we have got the most amazing kits at midday with the incredible pearly queen herself, Linda Brumwell. Now these pearls, when we think of potato pearls, do we think about a five mil, a six mil? We're talking South Sea pearl size. We're talking 11 to 12 mil on strands, I kid you not. And there's a variety of pearls coming your way. So please do make sure you join myself the Pearly Queen and extra large pearls at midday this coming Saturday. So excited about this deal of the day and I know it's I know it's delayed but it's so worth it um, and to be honest it was one of them white white onyx is the deal of the day as is this and uh, it just so happened that timing wise we just positioned it this way around you have four high-end beautiful slider bracelets here again I know you can make them but it's the sourcing of the gemstones and the additional components at the price that we bring it to, plus to factor in your time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just not worth your while. So listen, let's, let us do the hard work and you reap the benefits. Um, when was the last time you saw pearl in rondelles? Pearl rondelles. Sterling silver beautiful slider bracelet complete and it is 925 take a little look at this gorgeous and i love how delicate those pearls are you know sometimes it's nice to have the smaller size ones yeah yeah, yeah not too over over overpowering are exactly. they like you were saying like <coughs> like your friend doesn't like big jewelry no nope. mm. it's wearable it is yeah 
Wait a minute. What about this? Oh. Amazonite. Wow. What about, there are literally four of these. This is a really limited collection. What about black spinel? But you can't really see against that blackboard. But the one I'm most excited about for you, jewelry makers, is red spinel. Oh. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs. This is it. This is the collection. This is all we have. It is so beautiful. And again, um, I know that these are slider bracelets are something that you've been making for probably years in actual fact, but it's the sourcing. It's the sourcing of colors. Now, um, they're all available on pre-order. I am going to start with my favorite, if that's okay. And that is <coughs> the red spinel. Now, Red, and I've got 55, if my memory serves me correctly, 55 available within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. It's the most limited of the entire collection. But I'm going to quickly, and these, this, I've, I've sort of cherry-picked off different, uh, different websites, um, a few different articles, all saying very similar words, really, about Red Spinel, because it is still a gemstone that is quite greatly misunderstood. You know, if you speak to, if I was going to speak to, uh, I don't know, some of my friends about Red Spinel, they'd be like, what, what's Red what's, what's red spinel they wouldn't know it whereas they'd know what ruby is um <clears throat> so here's a few different articles on this amazing gemstone and i'm going to start with my all-time favorite the jewelry editor and they start with the seduction the seduction <laughs> of spinel and it's so true especially the red color yes. uh, a misunderstood and sometimes misidentified gemstone the fiery colors of spinel are in a class of their own writes jordan cleary and that's a blue spinel that you're looking at right now yeah well the seduction <coughs> of spinel i would have put a red one wouldn't <laughs> yeah well there we go i tell you what we can yeah, do that okay. too High jewelry, red spinel, and there's those t three terrifying word letters, rather. Oh yeah. P O A. Um, that means L's out. L's can't afford. Yeah. Uh, L can't afford it. But look how beautiful that gemstone is, and it really does sort of lead the way in my eyes uh, um, um, above many other colour gemstones out there because it has what we call purity. But there's articles here which will discuss that even more. Moving on, um, the jewellery editor go on to say with vibrant, uh, with its vibrant saturated hues, spinel uh, more rare than rubies, sapphires, and emeralds has been a misunderstood and sometimes mis identified gemstone its wide array of colors from deep crimsons to pastel blues as well as pinks purples gray and black makes it a perfect imposter for other stones many famous rubies are actually spinels including the black prince rubies sorry black prince's ruby one of the earliest british crown jewels which is actually an egg-sized red spinel that most likely came from either burma or india wow um, and this is off the GIA. So I've gone from the jewelry editor to the GIA themselves. Now, this is under spinel quality factors and it highlights color. Some spinel colors are more rare and valuable than others. In general, red spinel is the most desirable, followed by fine cobalt blue. Uh, then you've got your vibrant hot pinks, vivid orange stones. Violet and bluish purples to purple or lavender stones tend to be less attractive and less in demand than other rarer colors. I mean, I still think that, I think it's unfair to call them less attractive because they're yes. still beautiful the, the the lavenders and colors but red is they say it themselves this is a gia more rare and more valuable mm -hmm. uh, they go on to say uh what determines the value of the spinel is the color this stone is an allochromatic gem which means it is purest when it's colorless the presence of cobalt iron and chromium will lead to the different uh, colors of the stone it can result in colors such as red orange black green pink lavender and purple the most valuable spinel stones have a red hue strong saturation and medium tone so again there it is yeah again those words red 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 moving on uh, while spinel gemstones has been used for centuries, it's been a topic of debate more, uh, more often than none. Uh, as a result, people are only recently beginning to give this stone the recognition it deserves. Back in the day, the beautiful orange red stone was often mistaken for a ruby. Um, it wasn't until John da uh, jo Jean Baptiste, um, who actually Dave mentioned earlier on, identified the difference between the two stones. This led to many stones that were previously thought of as rubies turning out to be spinels instead.
Um, but at the bottom it says, the vibrant red stones are the most popular and are known as flame spinels. Oh. Love it. And there's a couple of nice pictures here where you can go, ooh, a natural spinel is one of the rarest and most beautiful gemstones in the world. But if you want a bit piece of spinel jewellery, you'll probably need to buy a loose spinel from a specialised dealer um, and have it set uh, by a custom jeweller. Uh, for you are unlikely to find natural spinel jewellery at your typical retail jewellery store. The reason is that natural spinel is a very scarce commodity and the supply has never been sufficient uh, to supply commercial jewellery manufacturers. The, high, uh, the supply of high quality material in particular is, in, is very limited and even specialised dealers struggle to find good stones. Spinel occurs in a wide range of colour including red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue and black. Pure colours are hard to find in spinel since many spinels have a grey or brown modifier. The most valuable colours are the pure reds and pinks. There it is yep. again, different articles saying the same words. Um, next, I think uh, I think we've gone back to the GIA here, um, if I can recognise the font. Spinel, uh, Spinel has been uh, making a name for itself over the last couple of decades and demand for fine stones well exceeds supply. In fact, Spinel is in great demand among gemologists and gem connoisseurs. This has, to some degree, closed the Spinel versus ruby and sapphire price gap so oh. it is whilst it was once upon yes. a time relatively um, affordable in comparison not yeah. anymore one of the most attractive uh, so one of the great attractions of spinels is that it is almost always completely natural and untreated by contrast most of the ruby and sapphires in the market has been heat treated and improved to, uh, sorry to improve the clarity and color an untreated corundum of fine color commands a premium price in the market this makes untreated spinel a tremendous value in the market. Wow. We had 55. Every single one of those website stroke, stroke articles said red. Red, red, red. Flame wow. red. Look at the quality. We even mentioned its location, Burmese, and yes... It is totally and utterly natural. You get it all. You get the natural Burmese spinel. You get the sterling silver slider bracelet. Nine carats. Do you know what? If these don't sell out, these could literally go on our sister channel. And I don't think for one second they're going to go for the price that you're about to see. This is an absolute giveaway deal. Remember, the price, gra uh, the price gap between ruby, um, sapphire and red spinel has dramatically closed. And that really is because of our understanding of this gemstone. Gemologically, we know it's completely, it's a so totally different gemstone to that of your ruby. It's still fantastically durable. It's eight on the most scale. So you can absolutely wear this on a daily basis and never take it off. You can, and you can see why it would be mistaken for ruby can't you because anybody looking at that would oh. have a look and say oh that's ruby and, it's and the ruby finest with, quality ruby with clarity and lots of color and yeah you know if, if i if if i was holding this right now and uh, ross said in my ear l that's ruby i wouldn't question him yeah but one thing i would say ross i would say it's fisher filled if it was ruby i would assume that was fisher filled because it's so good basically this isn't ruby, it's natural red spinel. It's unbelievably beautiful. Now, I don't think anybody's expecting. In fact, Monica, do you know where we're going to on these? I don't know. Can I show you where we're going? Yeah, okay. Bearing in mind, we've only got 55, so it's very limited edition. <gasps> oh. Were you expecting that? Or were you expecting there to be a digit in front of it? Start dialing through. Suzanne, Elaine, well done. Lancashire, Virginia. Susan and Amy, new customers. I mean, yeah. I mean, wow, that, that's a good price already. We're not stopping it? there, though. In silver, you could you, go back about five, six years ago. Certainly when we were under the immediate umbrella, you, we wouldn't have got be able to bring you a strand on its own without any precious metal. It's exclusive. 50, you're true, true, we might have actually struggled with the slider bracelet as well. Weren't they 24 95 well, when that's we first what I was launched say. it? The, the bracelet on its own was, was over £20, I'm sure. Exactly. 
the full complete piece of jewellery. Now can you understand why lovely jewellery makers actually said, look, I know you can make this. Sometimes it's not worth the bother. You might as well get, well, exactly. If you want to deconstruct it, absolutely you can. You're amazing jewellery makers with more vision than I will ever have. But, you know, if you get this home uh, and you decide to separate those components, do it. Absolutely do it. Right now we're at £25 for a strand of natural purity, natural intense red, the most sought after colour of, of spinels. And you get the slider bracelet for £25. But you know we're not stopping there. Furthermore, 55 of these are in existence. Wow. <laughs> Half the stock's gone. 55 people will be able to say that they own this piece of jewellery. I mean, you know, we, we used to do the, the, the Gems of Distinction yeah. strands with the tassel at the end and a little gold box. So this, the gemstones on there would make up one of those strands. It's about yep. four inches on there. So just that on its own with the tassel on the end, that would be a lower price than what you would have paid just for that. Yeah. And then you still got the sterling silver slider bracelet with it as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I bought a, a, a spinel strand, which by the way is, an, is now August birthstone. So if you're an August baby, all the more reason for you to get involved with this. Um, but yeah, I bought red spinel um, because I, I'd like to think I want to collect gemstones, but I think I paid, I think I was more like 99 pounds for my strand. Look at that intensity of color, 29.99. Plus it's complete wow. on a sterling silver slider bracelet. They literally glow. It's completely and utterly natural. Again, yeah, you can source these components separately, but I think it's going to cost you even more um, than what's currently on your screens. So again, to go back to those articles, one of the most attract, uh, one of the great attractions to Spinel is that it is almost always completely natural and untreated. By contrast, most ruby and sapphire in the market has been treated um, to improve the clarity of the colour. Go back to the beginning of the PowerPoint where it talks about the seduction of spinel. There we go. And would you agree? It has got that seducing color. Ooh, oh my crazy. goodness me, especially when you look at Adam's recording with that wonderful wow. hypnotic, like passionate red. Um, the uh, jury editor then go on to say, it's vibrant, saturated hues spinel, more rare than rubies, sapphires or emeralds, more rare with a wide array of colors from deep crimson to pastel blues. But it is this red, which is the most yeah. uh, most valuable. And I can absolutely see why. Karen, well done. Jacqueline in Tennessee, Lynn, Cambridgeshire, Carol, Barbara, Susan, Janice, Sandra, John, Karen, Diane, Maker, Kim. I've got to move on just because of, the, uh, of time. Um, okay, let's do, oh, please, 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 please. Oh, yes. Do you know what? Can you imagine them all together? Well, I was going to say, if you have all of them, you can mix and match them, can't you? Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's pretty, isn't it? Should we do the Amazonite next? So I'm just going to slide it off to get the Amazonite off there. When I, how much do the slider braces close at? To twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. Yeah, that was no gemstones, the popcorn style, two thousand and seventeen, and it was in I think about November, October or November, um, of two thousand and seventeen. So okay, let me just show you the slider bracelet, and it wasn't the same. It it was it wasn't exactly the same, but it was similar. It was similar in its design. So literally that. That's what I launched back yep. in 2017. I'll, I'll never forget that because Colin was on air with me. And, and if you've got your MD on air with you, it's quite, quite, quite nerve wracking. You're going to remember it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, yeah, 24 pounds, it was 24.95. I remember to the penny. First price crash. If I hold this like that. Oh, wow. Hmm. So 2000, we've gone back in time, Ross. And thrown in some Amazonite. Amazing Before. Amazonite too. <laughs> Natural Madagascan Amazonite. Uh, Roscoe, um, I've got a really beautiful PowerPoint on Amazonite. And it's actually got, it's, it's not my words, Monica Veneda's words about, about, about Amazonite. 
I, she's he's on it. But this literally, you can see, it's almost like she was looking at this one. I don't know if it was her personally that wrote it, but I'm <laughs> right. just, um, again, these aren't my words. This is from Monica, uh, Monica Veneda's website, but it describes the beauty of Amazonite so perfectly. We're at 24 pounds and 99 pence. A part of the Feldspar group of minerals, uh, um, or to be more specific, K Feldspar in relation to the potassium content. Amazonite is a blue-green semi-precious semi gemstone that has seemingly been used for medicinal purposes as much as it has for uh, jewelry pieces throughout history. Its potassium content is believed to bring physical benefits of stamina to the wearer, um, so it has been a favourite jewellery item for many civilizations. Uh, as well as a physical benefit of owning and wearing Amazonite, it has something of a divine appearance to it. The blue-green variation um, of it often resembles the skies and the heavens, so it is often regarded as a beacon of hope and faith. This isn't only applicable to its spiritual qualities either. Its very appearance as a variant of turquoise is seen as the bridge between blues um, of a cold winter and the greens of springtime, laden with life. No matter how cold the winter might be, there is always a spring to look forward to. And the colour of Amazonite acts like a quite literal reminder of that. The hope that this gemstone represents is manifested in the idea that it allows the owner to see the full truth of all matters, so it inspires confidence in balanced arguments and helps us achieve equilibrium in all walks of life. Love it. I just like that write-up. Who wants this under £20 today? Limited edition. I mean, these are big ticks on your Christmas uh, Christmas oh, wow. list, aren't they? Yeah, and... and I mean, you say that you could, we could make this bracelet, obviously, but uh, sometimes it's nice to have something ready made because there's always that one person that you forget to buy a present for. <laughs> totally. <laughs> or always. Always. Yeah. And some years I seem to think I forget a few people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a few people who are like, oh, my goodness me, I thought I had it all sorted. £14.99 pence only for natural wow. glowing Amazonite. If I had the time, I would read on and talk about how this is a gemstone that, that uh, sunrise and sunset looks even better because it just seems to almost, I don't know, absorb all of those beautiful golden light rays. No, don't do it, Ross, that's silly. Oh no. Why? What are you doing? He says he's reactive. Wait. He, uh, he says it's not going fast enough. Okay. Do you know what else is really good about a slide bracelet? It's not just how easy it is to do up the clasp, but if you were to take that strand of gemstones and just add a, like a, a lobster clasp to it, most of the times when you're wearing it, your gemstones are heavier than your clasp, so it will spin around and you have the clasp at the top. Yeah. But the slider bracelet, you've got enough weight Weighted. in the bottom of it. To so it does always the stay. So the gemstones will stay at yeah, the top. Yeah, on the top of the wrist line, where you want to see them. We are only doing this because of time. We've got an amazing masterclass coming out, but I want to bring you each and every single one of these slider bracelets. And, I, they're too, you know, they, they've never been on air before. They should have sold out already at £14.99. And, and, and sorry, I've got to say this. And, and it's just somebody said to me the other day that our prices have gone up. Really? Really? But we launched slider bracelets back in 2017 at £10 more than what's on your screens right now. And we're going lower again. I think we give a broader price range yes. now. Yes. That's the thing. We've got your, your we, we do gemstone strands for £2.99. And we can also bring you, you know, your more expensive, your grandidurites, your type A jadeite. £12.99 though, Ross. Wow. You should be ashamed. <laughs> That's almost half the price of just the bracelet on its own without it. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Ross, don't skim over those. Let's show them. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm saying this with, with, with love. You know that, don't you? Look at that. Amazonite ski skinny bra biography bracelet. £60 for that bracelet. That's on and that's not even... Exactly, it's on yeah. a thread. It's on a cord. Whereas yours is on sterling silver. You can actually buy. <laughs> Sorry, you could buy. How, <laughs> how many could I buy, Ross, for that price tag? He's making me laugh now. Almost Ross, five. how many could I buy for that price tag? Four and a half, maybe. 4.6, he says. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're good at maths, Monica, aren't you? <laughs> 
12 pounds and 99 pence only that's secret santa deals and i know that have you got any more pictures in that in that powerpoint there you go monica Veneda again one of the little hamza hands oh i'm fairly yeah. sure one of those little charms cost more than 12.99 oh yeah <laughs> fairly <laughs> sure they i've actually got that amazonite ring that exact one the little one i've got the little one not the big one yeah, just the little one. I know it costs more than £12.99. <laughs> You've got a matching bracelet here. Amazing. Well done, well done, well done. Right, where to next? Ooh. I want this one. I want I want this one. I want to join you on this one. It's oh, so pretty. There are beautiful for bridesmaids, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lovely. bridesmaid's gift at the wedding. Look at the that. bride as well, yeah. How gorgeous that is. Oh. Amazing luster, beautiful linear, oh, amazing luster on those pearls. How often do we see little pearl rondelles? So they're like a little button shape, aren't they? Perfect present. Yeah, absolutely. Because there's certain colored gemstones, I guess you might be a little bit more hesitant. Yeah. Do I do you know if that person likes that color? Yeah. Whereas pearls... I mean, who doesn't like pearls? Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know many people that don't no, like pearls. No, I don't. Um, and there it is, your 925 sterling silver slider bracelet. I know that this is something that you can create yourself. Of course you can. And if you want to deconstruct it, you absolutely can. But is it worthwhile at £19.99? And as you said, Monica, we don't get this shape of pearl very often. No. They're difficult to acquire, beautifully linear, perfectly matched in terms of their colour and their luster. Uh, what, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I've got 80. Half the stock's gone already. I tell you what, should we, if you're going to do that then, Ross, should we just whip it off like a plaster? Do it fast. <laughs> <laughs> One price crash. Should we say it out loud, super fast? £12.99 for 925 sterling silver. Bearing in mind, again, our financial director is in the building. Um... Mm. I don't even know if we can source the, the, the silver for that price. I don't, I don't know. I mean, unbelievable. For the cultured pearls, it is the perfect gift. I, I, you said it and Ross said it at the, at the same time. It is perfect for Christmas gifts. Oh, yes, yes. And nobody in their right mind would even, con would even contemplate um, a £12.99 price tag. I mean, you pop along to somewhere like your Pandora, where they do slider bracelets and things like that. Yep. You're talking probably, I don't know, six times that price tag just oh, for the yeah. bracelet. Oh, and they won't be genuine pearls. Of course, yeah. Yeah. These are genuine pearls. And as you were saying, there's nothing to stop you from deconstructing it. You can no. use the bracelet, put other gemstones in it, and then you can use the pearls as uh, smaller pearls in between your larger pearls or anything like that. Yeah. So beautiful, aren't they? And you know, I'm just looking at even down to... I couldn't make this because, look, that's a complete solid bead there. So uh -huh. it's not a crimp covered over. It's a complete solid bead. So, you know, it is... Beautiful and professional. My, my, whenever I use crimp covers, they're always a little bit off centre. <laughs> Just a little bit, but that's part of its charm. At uh, 12.99, these will be a sellout. We had 80 of them available. Just because presents at that. Oh, yeah. They're the best ones, aren't they? I popped along to see a friend of mine the other day and they just hadn't seen each other in a while. And you, as you do, you pick up a, I don't know, a pot plant or a bunch of flowers. A bottle of wine. A bottle of wine. A it's, bottle of cheap wine for that price. Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't even be the best bottle. Twelve ninety nine for genuine cultured pearls. Not many of them left. They are absolutely flying. Well done. Uh, Mona and Georgia, Maker and Paulie, Margaret Tracy, Lincolnshire Tracy in London. Make sure you check out Kathleen, Virginia, Merseyside. I'll leave that one with you. Now, the last one, the Black Spinel Slider Bracelet, um, number four of this beautiful collection. We're going to do it at one price crash. Not going to dilly-dally. We're going to give you 60 seconds, and after the, at the end of that 60 seconds... Oh. You do know these are silver. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do Black Spinel, natural. Perfect for this time of year, isn't it? Think Christmas parties and Christmas Day and New Year's New Day. Year's, yeah. All this that's when you get your sparkle out, isn't it? Well, I do anyway. I'm fairly bland the rest of the year. <laughs> um should we do this under ten pounds? 
In 60 seconds, it's happening. You've got solid 925. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, goodness me. Look at that. Oh. And this is why we always use the terminology paparazzi flash when it comes to black spinel. Yeah. Because those facets literally look like they're being turned on and off. Yes. Simultaneously. It's just hypnotically beautiful, totally natural. And again, so many celebrities choose black spinel above things like your black diamonds, you know, at Maisie Williams, Sandra Bullock, who else have we shown? Uh, uh, Michelle Obama, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. Um, so many design, uh, celebrities have all chosen black spinel. It's going under £10. Can you believe that? Sterling silver slider bracelet under £10 with genuine black spinel. Jewelry maker's gone mad, literally gone mad. If I go back in time to 2017, when I launched the first slider bracelet here at Jewelry Maker, they were £24.95 and it didn't have spinel with it. Well, <laughs> well when the, the base metal slider bracelets, yes, £7.99, I think, was the lowest I've seen. <gasps> I think you're right. I can't that, remember. That have gemstones in it. It wasn't sterling silver. No, no. I mean, look how beautiful those two are together. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's very sort of Art Deco 1920s, isn't it, with the pearls? Oh my goodness oh, me! Wait, can we top? Can we can we top them all up, Ross? That's twenty three pounds. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to slip it off my wrist a minute, because hang on a minute. So put this put put the pearls back. So if you want to get Natural red spinel, one of the world's rarest, rarer than rubies and sapphire. If you want to get Amazonite, if you want to get natural black spinel, all of which are complete with sterling silver, and you're looking about four grams, round and about, of four grams precious metal, you can get all four for, what did you say, 60 what? 65 pounds and 96 wow. pence for all four of those. Seriously, look at all that. Look at all that sterling silver. Yeah. 65 pounds, just over. And you can get all four beautiful, genuine gemstones in your slider bracelets. Well done. Janet's got four. Jenny got 10. I don't blame you, Jenny. Yeah. Why wouldn't you at that there's price? There's no reason you can't win more than one in the same gem gemstone. Oh, so cool. So we're three of them together, yeah. Um, Multi-buy, shop ahead, absolutely. Just to give you a little heads up, I've got... Um, I had quantity, I had quantity, but they aren't going to, they're not hanging around. So, um, yeah, this was actually the, um, the most plentiful, but Janet's got four, Jacqueline's got four, Amy's got two. Um, I'm on four rows of names on the verge of selling out. Well done. Okay. Now coming up your masterclass, we're going to do a super, super, super fast break. Have a little look during that time to complete your order here, but also, um, to shop ahead on Monica's amazing masterclass kit. So gemstone, almost like link of a chain yes. so beautiful you can shop ahead and pre-order on yours it's all there actually so uh so, so, so yeah so, so go for gold okay we shall be back after this
welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Oh, it's gorgeous, Monica, everybody. Oh, hello again. <laughs> um, wowzers, this jewellery. Yeah. It's so high end. It is, and it's and it's, but it's also fun jewellery, isn't it? I yeah. Think. yeah, very wearable, very commercial. Oh, I think definitely. Um, and if you take a little look, I mean, I love that statement, big, big link. That, you'll get, that, that you can all create, I mean, obviously with a little bit of know-how from our gorgeous Monica. Now, um, we've got three different kits. The big jump ring kits is what we're going to start the masterclass with. Um, and then we've got sort of smaller jump rings in a twisted variety. Yeah. But each of these kits have got one very exciting component, haven't they? Yes, they do. Um, and I don't think we've ever done anything no, like this before. No, it's a brand new, brand new shape. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> You know, you know, you know what? You know what? We've spoken about it with jadeite, haven't we? You know those interlocking links. And we're like, my goodness, can you imagine actually carving from one gemstone? You know, a link effectively. When we're talking about metal, sterling, silver, or gold, you can solder them close, can't you? Whereas yeah. a gemstone, you can't sort of disconnect and then put back together. This is literally carved from one solid boulder. So we are taking our master carving into the realms of other amazing high-end gemstones. And to launch them, this brand new shape, we are launching it with your absolute favorite, that is labradorite. Look at this, I've got pinks in this labradorite. Oh, Can you see it? Our studio lighting never does labradorite any favours, but you've got full labradorescence, a full, ra uh, yeah, full rainbow within. Look at how beautiful. A solid piece of genuine labradorite in its natural form. Oh my goodness, do you see that flash of pink again? So difficult for me to show you here in the studio. I'm going to pop it down on a blackboard. You don't just get that though. Stay there. Okay. You also get all. Oh, I was so excited about these when I got them. Your large statement jump rings. All of those. They're so cool. Now, are they open, Monica? They are, yes. <gasps> and they Really? And they're quite soft as well, so they're very easy to just to open with your hands. I mean, some of them are so well closed you can't find the oh, opening, yeah. but they are all open. So that when you, you can actually just close open them, them with your fingers, yeah, oh, and then close goodness. them back again. Yeah. And typically, I've picked up the, the largest one of them. <laughs> all have this beautiful texturing, but it's not just on one side. It's actually yeah. the texture. If I get my tweezers, all the way around. Um, and how many do we get of each of them then? Twenty. 20 of each uh, different yeah I can yeah I can see it's okay yeah uh, 20 of each side they're silver plated so you've got your precious metal plat uh, um, presence um, in terms of the sizes you're looking at 22 millimeter 13 millimeter 14 millimeter 16 millimeter and 17 millimeter internal diameter so they're huge yeah. they are they are, they really are I mean they're, they're big enough to stand as statements on their own yeah I do you know my my favorite I think is that one where they're just literally linked together yeah <laughs> that big long line necklace yeah that's so cool I mean and that's it doesn't have a clasp on it at the back either it's just an over the head over the head necklace that's the easiest piece of jewelry I've made probably but I love it <laughs> absolutely love it a uh, very high very Roberto coin I think Okay, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Wow. Bearing in mind that you've actually got what many would consider it to be a carving in that in that labradorite. Uh, yeah. um, how do we describe labradorite oval hoop? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> um, eighteen by twenty five millimeters. Um, look at that full labradorescence. Oh my goodness, Monica, though, that's pretty <laughs> epic too. It's like a bib, isn't it? It is. Well, I wanted to make the, ju the jump rings a feature as well, and I've just linked them together with the uh, smaller jump rings coming up in the other kit. I bet this was refreshing for you. It was. It was very different to what I, what I usually Both make. Both kits, actually, today yeah, have been quite fun. refreshing in that you've got had a little bit of a change. Yes, it gave my eyes a bit of a break. <laughs> I bet. And your fingers, I should imagine, as well. Yes. Because Monica uh, is, is, well, normally it's sea beads, isn't yeah. it? 
we bring you. But it's been nice to see you sort of um, bring you something a little bit different. And, and, to be, and to be honest, I was really itching to add some seed beads into these well, yeah. kits as well. But I thought, Don't do I, it, I'm Monica. just going to do that. Don't do it. That's gorgeous, by the way, that necklace. Now, um, I'm going to bring you, right, I've got more kits to bring you. So, um, and obviously we want to dive into Monica's amazing demonstration. So you can shop ahead. They are all available um, on pre-order. The good thing is, you know, when you when, when findings go sort of ricocheting across your lounge floor or dining yeah. room or wherever it is that you uh, that you work and create these jump rings, you're not going to lose, are you? Because they're massive, <laughs> absolutely massive. Right, okay. Uh, let's do you. This is uh, let's bring you now um, smaller jump rings. So for those of you thinking, okay, bit big for me, I I prefer something a little bit more uh, petite. Yeah. Then I think this next one is going to be the kit for you. You're not just getting the labradorite. You're also getting a goldstone. Can you see that? In fact, let me take that off there and I'll put it on the desk because you'll see them better then, I think. Is that better? Yeah. So you're not just getting those. You're also getting twisted jump rings in differing sizes so you could absolutely it makes sense to do a bit of chain mail alongside these of uh, course, this yes. gemstone cut and the and the twisted jump rings are so beautiful as chain mail have you got did you get given this kit i did yes um i combined it with the with the large rings in some sorry not in that one in this one but then i also made uh, that bracelet in the front there the silver one that's the same technique oh, that wow. Alison showed. Uh, I don't know if you saw a few days ago, which is like a twisted chain. Uh -huh. So that's from this kit. And then also, um, well, I made these earrings here as well, which is really simple. It's just one of the large jump rings with some of the oh, smaller, so cool. smaller ones sort of um, that just piled on. That's really simple. <laughs> so cool, so cool. Love that. I, I agree. And you've not just got the twisted rounds, yeah. because actually I'm clocking here. If I pick some up on my tweezers, yeah. you've also got the ovals, which are literally like hen's teeth. They are. And, and I mean, the ovals are so uh, useful as well. If you, even if you do seed beading or, or anything else, if you are worried about the thread coming out of the opening in a jump ring, mm. the oval jump rings are really much better because obviously an oval jump ring is going to sit naturally sort of long ways. So your thread is going to be at one of the ends. It's not yep. going to be on the, on the long side. Of the yeah, jump yeah, ring. Yeah, yeah, totally. So it's not going to swing round so much. Exactly. It's going to actually be exactly. in position. So yeah, absolutely. For the for, for the how many do you get? A hundred? A hundred oval jump rings that are within this kit. Absolutely invaluable. You're also getting and wait, some of the twisted ones the are twisted oval ones, too. Some of the twisted oh, ones are oval as well. So you've got smooth <laughs> smooth oval Ovals. and you've got twisted, twisted oval. oval. Yeah. How cool are they? So in terms of the size, it's what five oh five by three millimeters. Um, um, and that's their internal diameter across both of those, I think it is. And then the two rounds that you're actually getting, so difficult to see um, with these specifications. Hang on a second, what? Five, five and, oh, sorry, five and three internal diameter. Plus then you're getting the two of those brand new, beautiful um, gem, uh, gem and gold stone um, ovals which are just gorgeous 12.99 oh wow sorry i'm so <laughs> engrossed in my jump rings that uh i didn't even look i didn't even look up to see the price tag 12.99 if you look at this one this one's just made from the oval oval jump ring no, so well, cool. i mean it's the rose gold one but um the, the twisted ovals and it just makes it like a really nice um Gosh, it does. like a charm bracelet just link together well, just one, into, one into one one into one yeah one link yeah. into another link. Even uh, yeah, if, I think everyone can do that. Okay, yeah. right. Let's now bring you the yellow. Oh, wait a minute, Ross. <laughs> oh my God! Start dialing, lovely jewelry makers, because the this has got Amazonite. It's got quartz, but they're very, very, very limited. In fact, I'm, I'll tidy that up in a second. Um, let's do this now because I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. I'll start with the jump rings. I'm going to leave the best till last. And that's saying something. Um, so you've got gold-plated twisted oval jump rings. Um, I'm just looking for the size. Uh, five mil internal uh, diameter. Then you've got the smooth oval jump rings yeah. as well. Then you've got more twisted, but these are round. 
Can you see that? And then you've got a hundred of each. So you're getting a hundred of each of those um, sizes and scales. But saving the best to last, rose gold, uh, rose quartz, and Amazonite. That's beautiful. Oh, it is. It is. Um, yeah. So they're very necklace. limited, though. I love that necklace. And I'll be honest, I thought it was jadeite. Yeah. So, so did I at first. Yeah. I actually thought that was jadeite. Yeah. Monica, that looks like thousands of pounds, that yes, necklace. That's what I'm going to show you how to do in the masterclass. So we're going to learn that. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Any questions then, dial, uh, drop us a message. Um, do, get, <coughs> do get your kits ready, though, so you can sit back and enjoy. Sit back and enjoy uh, Monica's masterclass demonstration. We do have a rose gold variety to bring you as well, um, but we'll probably do that on uh, sort of uh, as and when Monica prompts me to. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. How many did we have of these? Because they're flying, aren't they? Seventy. We had seventy of this kit. Um, again, that beautiful Amazonite. It's so stunning. Oh, I, I, wow. I actually thought that that was a Type A jadeite. Which is what really we kind of come to expect with cuts like this, that it would be a type A jade. It's not. It's the beautiful, beautiful beauty of your Amazonite. Um, so again, make sure you do check out. These are absolutely flying out the door. And any questions that you have, uh, drop a message to us live in the studio. In terms of quantity, how many did we have? 70. You did tell me that, didn't you? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm repeating myself right now. Okay, that's on the verge of selling out. So I, I tell you what, we will do the next kit now. And then, then Monica, you have our undivided. You can scooch me over that kit because I'm going to need, uh, I used up everything. So sorry. <laughs> my kit, so there I'm going to go. need something to Here we go. You use for the demo. demo. That makes sense. Um, okay, right. Last, but by no means least. Twisted jump rings in your ovals. Rows, then you have the plain ovals, a hundred and a hundred. Then you've got the rounds in the two different sizes, and then you have a beautiful fluorite. Come on, stay still, and your sort of traditional coloured goldstone. Beautiful. It, it is pretty, is it? Did you get sent this game? I did. It's over there. Oh, yeah. That's where you did that sort of uh, multi-layered piece of jewelry. Well, that's, again, just the different, gem different uh, jump rings just linked one into the next one. Um, that one there. Love it. And, and you get a different texture from each of the different... Oh chains, yes, I'm just although, noticing you've got the different uh, sort of the different size jump rings. Yeah, yeah, that looks so pretty. Twelve ninety nine. Just, I mean, I would have expected to uh, to sort of pay that kind of price tag, Monica, for the gemstones on the round. Oh yeah, yeah. Or the jump rings on yes, the round. Yes, yes. Not the two together. Um, absolutely oh, there's, amazing. There's four hundred jump rings there. Yeah, 400 jump rings, yeah. which is really, you know, back when we used to do more, or the last time I did like a chainmail kit, that was around about the price tag just for the jump rings yes. on their own. Yes. Um, but you do get the gemstones. Well done, lovely jewelry makers. Make sure you check out your baskets. Have I got a quantity of these? 70 again. Um, and do we want to have more of this gorgeous shape? So they're oval hoop, single, uh, so this one's a 15 carat. Amethyst, oh, I said fluorite, I beg your pardon. Um, 15 carats, amethyst oval, single hoop, and it's 18 by 25 millimeters in its size. Um, make sure you check out, absolutely stunning, they're flying out the door. So I, I, from the, the, the vibe I can get from the call screens, is, uh, is, is that you're absolutely loving it. Okay, so um, you're gonna show us that gorgeous necklace? Well, I'm gonna show you a few different things because uh, Nothing is very overly complicated, so I'm okay. just going to show you a few different things. Uh, but I'm going to show you that chain as well. Okay. Okay. So first, I just wanted to show you how I use the um, the oval gemstones. I mean, it's it's really simple. It doesn't get any easier than that. So all I did was I just took a, co a different combination of I used three different sizes of the um, of the large jump rings, and then you just open it with your fingers and you thread on your gemstones. And that's your, that's your link made, just like that. And then, of course, you carry on your chain where you open some more of them. And then you can thread on a gemstone and your next link. So you don't have to open every one. 
you really only have to open every second one. And it's just as simple as that. Just um, You're just making a chain one into one, just like that. Uh, and you just, I just varied the, the sizes of the chain and then I just made it long enough to go over my head. So that's, I mean, that's dead simple. I mean, I just wanted to show you how I did that. Okay, and then for the sort of slightly more complicated ones, um, I'll show you two different ones. So one of them, again, was really simple. I used my smallest, uh, the smallest jump rings and the oval jump rings. The oval twisted jump rings are especially good because they're, they're really strong. They're, they're quite a heavy gauge wire. Um, so they're really strong for, as I was saying earlier, if you just link them one into one um, to be used for uh, like a charm bracelet or something like that because they hold the weight. And then again, with them, so the first one, I'm just going to make sure that it's closed properly. So just wiggle it a little bit to close it properly. And then um, for this one, what I did was um, I linked the ovals together using two of the smaller rings. So actually, I didn't need to close that one, actually, that was for the other chain. So, <laughs> so I just opened one of the opal, opal um, the oval links, and then I threaded on two of my small jump rings, and then onto the first link, I added on another two. So for the first link, I just added on four of those, because obviously it's easier to open the larger jump rings than the smaller ones, Plus, then you only have to open one instead of two. So you just open the one large one. Okay, and then if you separate out the smaller ones, then you've got your first chain link there. And then you're just going to take your next oval link, open it up again, and then pick that up. So you've got your last two. I'm trying to do it so you can see. So you see I've got my little jump rings, two on each side. And I'm just going to go through those two like that and I'm going to pick up another two. I'll put two more on there. So I've got four on there, two that are already in the existing chain, and two new ones, and then close my oval jump ring. So you'll see then my chain, this is a two-in-one chain. I mean, it's really simple. Again, it's just, you're just linking together the oval jump rings with two of the little ones each time. Okay, so open your next oval one. Pick up your chain so the two last little jump rings fall down to the end. Thread those two onto your next link. Thread on your next two little jump rings and close it. So this is another style of chain that you can do, which is again really simple. If you don't know any, anything about chain mail, you'd still be able to do that, I think. So it's just a case of linking them together like that. Okay, so that's a different one. So I want to show you the, uh, the gold one I did for which I need to use the larger round twisted jump rings. Oh, that bracelet's amazing. That, that one I did, that, this link that I showed you just now, and then I just looped it around uh, the gemstone and then back on itself again on both sides. Beautiful. So that's that two-in-one, the two-in-one link there. Okay, so now for the necklace, um, a lot of people already know how to make a Mobius ring, but I'm going to show you anyway because we always have people who don't know how to make it. So take your first jump ring and make sure it's properly closed. Okay, so just align. You always open your jump rings like a gate, so towards you, because that way you can close it back and it doesn't distort the shape. Okay, so make sure your first one is closed. Then you're going to take a next one. You're going to find the opening and you're going to open it and you're going to pick up your first jump ring onto there, and you're gonna close your jump ring there, okay? So when you put it down, you'll see it makes a little figure of eight, really, and you've got that hole in the center of them. So you're gonna pick up your third jump ring. You're gonna open that as well. Sometimes it's hard to see where the... And actually, um, a little tip that I picked up from well, well, that I learned from Fleur, for those of you who remember Fleur still, um, is when you're opening a jump ring, if you're right-handed, you want to open the right-hand side towards you this way, okay? Because it's got something to do with how your joints move and how, you, how your hands move. If you open it this way, so you if you're right-handed, you open the right side towards you. If you're left-handed, you open the left side towards you. If you open it this way, you're much more likely to close it back 
precisely rather than leaving a gap. So I, since I heard her explain this probably five or six years ago already, uh, I've always opened my jump rings this way. And you kind of get into a habit and uh, you'll find it's that... It's actually harder to do it the other way, I think. It is, it is. But sometimes you sort of, sometimes you do it one way, sometimes you do it the other yeah. way until you make a conscious effort and then you get used to doing it that way. So it makes your life much easier if you do it that way. So now you're going to take this jump ring and you're going to go through that hole in the middle of the other two. Okay and up to the side. So you've essentially picked up both of those rings with your third one, but those rings are also linked into each other. Okay, so then you're gonna close your jump ring. So, and then when you put it down and you push it together, you'll see it makes a little, almost like a little flower. Okay, so that is called a Mobius ring. You can add another jump ring, and you can use four. It depends on the size of the jump rings that you're using. It's got all to do with the, with the aspect ratio, but don't worry if you don't know what that means. It's just got to do with how many of your jump rings you can get through the middle of another jump ring. I so, always find that, that term quite scary. It is, yes. That's aspect why, ratio. Exactly. So that's why I say, my maths lessons. <laughs> that's why I say don't worry if you don't know what it means. No. It's just a case of how many of your jump rings you can link into another jump ring. Like, for example, when I was showing you the two in one with the oval jump rings and the little ones, right? So this piece here. I c you wouldn't be able to do two of your ovals into two of your little ones because two of the ovals on this side and another two on the other side, so you'd have to get four of your ovals into those little tiny jump rings, which wouldn't, wouldn't fit. There wouldn't be enough space and it would be too stiff and it wouldn't move. Uh, if you use the larger ones, you could do that. You could link two of those into two of the ovals. So it's just got to do with that. But don't worry about that. Just try out how many jump rings you can get through another one of the same size jump ring. That's the easiest way to do it. So in this case, I've done three. Let me just move these out of the way before I get confused. So I've made a little, sometimes it's called, if you go online to look for designs, uh, they sometimes call it a flower, um, or a, so uh, this chain I'm making now can be a flower link or it's a Mobius ring link. But sometimes your flower doesn't quite sit right. That's usually because one of your jump rings is flipped over. So just flip it over a little bit like that and then it looks a bit better. Okay? So you want to make two of those. So make another one. So close the first ring again. Make sure it's closed properly. And you pick up your second ring, open it. Go through that first one. And you can also make Mobius rings with the smaller jump rings. Again, um, if I quickly show you this earring here. So you see, I've made a Mobius ring with the larger jump rings. And I've made a Mobius ring with the smaller jump rings. Now the larger ones, I did four rings. So, four, so if you want to add another one onto here, all you're going to do is you're going to go through that hole in the middle when you add your next uh, ring. So when you pick up your next one like that, I'm just going to show you how it goes. I'm not actually going to add it on. So you'd go through the middle there and then you would close your ring. Okay, so that's what I did here. So I did four of the big one and three of the little one. And then at first I was going to hang another uh, one of the large ones underneath. But again, with the smaller rings, if you use three of them together, there's not enough space in the center to add two of the, these are the plain oval jump rings that I join them together with. So um, that's all that uh, that aspect ratio means, is just how you're going to join your jump rings together. Okay, so I'm making my second Mobius ring here. So I'm going through the middle of those two. And then I'm closing that one. Okay, so again, put it down, make a little flower. And then I'm just going to check which rings. Yes, I use the plain ovals. So now you're going to take your plain oval jump rings. Okay, you're going to open one. Now this is what I was saying about uh, using these for threads. So can you see the opening is on the side, of, on the long side. It's not on the, sh on the short end. So your threads will sit here and here. And your opening is on the side. So it's much... Um, safer with your threads because your threads can't uh, rub on the on the opening if there's a sharp edge or anything there okay so now you need to open it quite wide because you're going to be picking up quite a lot of stuff with it so make sure it's quite nice and open okay now what you're going to do is you're going to go through the middle of one of your mobius rings okay and then you're going to go through the middle of your second mobius ring as well so you're picking them both up now the first bits are a little bit fiddly, as with pretty much everything, because you haven't got much to hold on to. 
So you've got a lot of rings on there at the moment, six to be precise, and close that up. So then you'll see when you put it down, you've basically got your Mobius rings linked together with an oval jump ring like that, okay? And then again, you're gonna make another Mobius ring. So again, just make sure the first one is closed. And then open your second one, pick up that first one there, put it down so you've got your little hole in the center. Pick up another one, go through the middle of it, close that one up and then put it down to make a little flower. It's not quite sitting right, so just keep flipping them around until it looks right, okay? And then again, now with the second, the second link that you're adding, it becomes a bit easier because now what you can do is you can open your oval jump ring, you can pick up your new ring that you've made, so you've got that ready there on your, on your jump ring, and then you can pick up your existing chain because now, your Mobius ring will stay together because it's being held together by that oval. So when I'm holding it like that, it stays how it should. And then you can quite easily just link it onto your oval jump ring like that. And that starts to make a little chain like that. And then you just carry on as long as you like. I do just do one more quickly. Um, and then I'll show you how I did the bail. Sometimes I can't find where the opening is because some of them are really well closed. Oh, well, actually I should have just left this one closed, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, next one. So the second one. And then your third one. Into the middle. Okay, jiggle it around. Okay, and then take your plain oval jump ring. First pick up your new ring. Okay, like that. And then, as I said, you can just pick up your chain now and the last rings will just hang at the bottom and you can just thread those onto your oval and close that up. So that's your chain forming there. So I just made a chain like this for as long as um, I wanted my necklace to be. Okay, so that's making a really nice chain there. And then for the, um, for the pendant, if I bring it over so you can see where I'm going. So what I did for the pendant section is I made one Mobius ring for the front. So I'm quickly gonna do that. So again, close the first one. Sorry if this is getting a bit repetitive now. Okay. Put your second one in there. It's one of those where the first couple of rings that you make, you kind of have to think about it, but then you've made a few of them. If you make one of these necklaces, you'll be making them in your sleep. <laughs> right, so I've made a Mobius ring there. Okay it down to make your little flower and then what I did was I just used the smaller jump rings um, to make a little chain with one Mobius ring in the front because I wanted to see that in the front so where are the small rings here so now I did the same as I did before so I just picked up one of the small ones but not with the oval this time but with a small twisted jump ring and then again go through the middle there Okay, and straight away I can thread on another of the small ones and just close that up. So you'll see when I hold it by the small one, so this holds together my Mobius ring and it starts to make this little chain here which is going to be the attachment to my necklace. Okay, and then to the, attach it to the necklace, I attach to one uh, oval twisted jump ring. So just take one of the ovals find the middle of your necklace because you want this to sit at 90 degrees to your chain, okay? So you want it to sit flat like that, okay? So find one of the, or the center Mobius ring in your necklace, take your oval, thread it through there, okay? And then you can thread on this chain. Well, I'd make it a bit longer first, so I'm just not gonna thread it on for, for now. You can add it on later if you if you're still busy with it. So that's gonna be my attachment to my necklace. 
okay? And then I'm just going to carry on turning this into a one-in-one one -one chain, essentially. But first I need to attach it to the other end of my Mobius ring, like that. Okay. And don't forget to pick up your next link, which is another little one. Okay. And then close that up. Oh. We've just oh. put the graphics on your screen for um, a new, for a different kit. We've actually got, well, uh, we've got your chain mail kits, but with um, colored jump rings, Monica. Oh, right. So if you wanted to do any of the demonstration uh, and designs that Monica's showing you right now, um, this kit um, actually has uh, red, orange, mm -hmm. yellow, green, blue, pink, um, 200 of each, right. and also the silver. Plus, as you can see there, it's got the rose gold. Ah. So that'd be nice if you wanted to do a, a colourful variety. It would, especially with the pink jump rings there. Yeah, beautiful. Oh. Fourteen ninety nine. All the green ones, yes. And of course, it comes within the little container the itself. Box. Yeah, love that. Oh. Or if you're thinking, oh no, I wouldn't put them all together, then mix them with your other kits that of you've course, got. Of course, of course, yeah. You know, just have a little pop of the green maybe running through the gold or... yeah. Something like that. There we go. So I'll leave those on your screens, lovely jewel makers. You can check those out. Okay. Um, back to you. Sorry so well, that's it, pretty much it, basically, because then you just carry on growing your uh, sort of. You're making a bale here, essentially, to hang up your gemstone. Right. So from here, you just pick up your last link there, and then you pick up the next one, and then you're just going to make sure that this little piece of chain that you're making here is long enough to go through your gemstone, through the back, and then you're gonna take both ends of this, pass it through the gemstone, so um, obviously if it was long enough, so it would sit on top of your gemstone like that with the Mobius ring flat on the front, okay? And then you take both those ends and you link it into the oval here, this plain oval that you added. So that would be this, did I add a plain oval? No, I didn't. I added a twisted one, which is here. All right, so this twisted one, because you need a, a, a bigger, you can't use the smaller jump ring here, because again, you've got too many things going through it. So here, to attach to my necklace, I've used one of the twisted oval jump rings, and I picked up both ends of my chain through the gemstone, and that's how I attached it to the bottom of the necklace. And you'll see it makes a really nice chain. Look at that. Um, looks so expensive, doesn't it, as a piece does, of jewellery? It's really simple. It's, it's basically just making the, the rings and that's it. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much, Monica, as oh, always. Absolutely lovely. beautiful jewellery. And lovely to see you chain mailing. Yes. I don't think I've ever done a chain mail demo. I've done some chain mailing at home, obviously. Yeah. But I have, I've never done a demo with chain mail. It's, uh, well, you do it so well. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Well done. Um, these kits are proving to be very, very popular as well. This is the only one that we actually have with the um, coloured jump rings. And again, you're getting, what's that, 800 in total. So you're getting 800 jump rings just within that little container itself plus i'd be more than happy at 14 pounds 99 for the rose quartz it's a brand new cart um yeah. much like you know everything that we discuss when it comes to like your jade eye archer rings and your yes. and bracelets we have to pay for the loss effectively you know yes. what you cut away yes. and also the risk factor you know to actually cut a gemstone uh, you know, even into a bead is one thing, but bearing in mind they've got different cleavages and things like that. But to actually cut a big whopping hole through the centre of a gemstone. Well, too. I was going to say, because I'm guessing that it's not like stamping a cookie out, so you can't take the middle yeah. out and do it something else. With it. It's like making a large hole, so everything yeah. that was in the middle is going to be waste. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you, you're talking about that. I actually, I made Tiggy's birthday present, uh, right. birthday cake this year. Yeah. And little things, like, you're talking about that, literally cutting Tiggy out of icing. Yeah. How like that? How hard that was just with icing because yeah. that kept breaking. But to do that with a gemstone, yeah, um, unbelievable. Well done. Now I've got one more kit. One more kit. Come. Oh, have I? I've got oh. two more. This one's got the box with it as well. It's all about the gold stone. So you've got that really beautiful um, plain oval shape in the gold stone itself. Um, they're not drilled in any other direction. It's literally one solid O. It is, uh, yeah. And then, look at all of these. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
If I was at an arcade, that'd be a good thing, wouldn't it? When the two peas fall off that shelf. <laughs> that'd be a good thing. Not so much with the, with the jump rings. Oh, oh, no, I'm making it worse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tipping point. I know somebody has been on tipping point. It is a little bit like that. Uh, £12.99 pence only. So, um... 500 pieces of silver plated uh, base metal jump rings. You've got five different designs. Oh, wow. You've got twisted round, twisted oval, plain oval, and text, whatever text is. Oh, what's text? Te texture, maybe? That makes sense. Texture. That makes sense, Monica. <laughs> Text, text for textured. Yes, I ran out of space. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're getting 100 pieces of each of those designs. So in total, you've got 600, plus then you've got the gold stone in that lovely oval. Um, Man-made, really beautiful, like full of sparkle. And two tassels. Let's not forget your tassels. Uh, £12.99 pence only. The thing is with jump rings, Monica, and if you do start to uh, sort of dive into things like your... Um, why don't I do it this way? They wouldn't have fallen if I'd have done it that way. <laughs> there you go. And if you do start to sort of dive into the medium that is chainmail with all of its history, yes. um, you need yes. lots, don't you? You do. You need lots. Um, but it's fascinating, yes, if you if you start reading up on it. Uh, the, 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 the names always crack me up. <laughs> yes. I can never remember Snorting the names. Snorting <laughs> rhino. Well, what's that all about? Snorting rhino. That's, Yeah. There's no, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a chain mail link called Snorting Rhino. Um, <laughs> and there's one called Great Southern Gathering. They're yeah. all yoga poses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, I'm now, I 100%, I'm that gullible, Adam, that I would have gone, ooh, what's the yoga pose that's Snorting Rhino? <laughs> And literally, Tom would be like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Elle? Just doing my snorting rhino. <laughs> 12 99 only. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you call yourself a yogi? <laughs> Is that what people who do yoga call themselves? Yogis. I, I, I almost want you to. If you do yoga, I, you, I don't believe you now. <laughs> They're not called yogis. Are they actually called yogis? Hmm. Hmm. What are Pilates? What do you call people that do Pilates then? I like that. Maybe we should get into to, to, to yoga and maybe, just be called maybe. yogis. Yeah. Is anyone else just thinking about the bear? I've just got the bear in my head right now. Um, what did he say, Yogi Bear? What did he, 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 he had a, he, What was his catchphrase, Yogi Bear? I've completely gone off on the side track. Like, I'm off on a tangent now, aren't I? There's no bringing it back, is there? No bringing it back. We're talking about Yogi Bear now. Um, okay, let's that bring was... you... What did he say that that's going to bother me? What did Yogi Bear say? Gallery. What did Yogi Bear say? <laughs> Smarter than the average bear. <laughs> yes. I knew he had a catchphrase. Um, here you go. Here we go. Right, so you've got your silver-plated um, jump rings, five millimetres. You're getting 200 of them, so you, yeah. if you want to just do your classic two and two, one and one, all of yeah. loads of all those different styles of chain mail that, um, well, the ones that Monica has shown you this morning, but, of course, also... Um, yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're, there's literally thousands, aren't there, of chain there, mail? Links. There is, but as I was saying earlier as well, even if you don't do chain mail, uh, whatever type of jewelry you make you're going to need your jump rings and this kit as well it's also got the oval oval jump rings in there which is also great but I mean just about anything I, I can't actually think of you know even polymer clay you you can you would use your jump rings to attach a pendant or yeah of course charms class, you know charms whatever so well we had that stretchy bracelet of opalite at the beginning of the show exactly in fact we opened the show with the opalite that only seems yeah. like five minutes ago you know, if you wanted to, yeah, if you want to put little yeah. pops of luster in between that yeah. polite slider bracelet. Exactly, exactly. So there's, there's, I don't think there's a medium where you would never use a jump ring, you know. So I'm always short on jump rings, so I always need extra jump Yeah, rings. absolutely. So even if you're stocking up your stash and you're like, I'm not a, I'm not a chain mailer. Listen, I, 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 I'm not very good at following patterns. That's why I'll never knit or crochet, and I admire <laughs> people that do. Um, but, if yeah, you still need, you still do need your jump rings. Um, they are fairly integral. Right then, let's bring you um, one more with the amethyst. Oh, look how beautiful that is. 
Uh, I'm more than happy to pay the price of these kits just for that individual stone yeah. right there. Yeah. You could just do a lark's head knot from either side. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and wear it, I don't know, as a simple uh, simple piece of jewellery. And we're going to do it in one price crash. You don't just get that, though. You've also got all your lovely jump rings. Um, 200 pieces, 15 carats within that amethyst itself. It's a brand new cut. We've never had it before. Under £10 for you today. Amazing. So even if you're not using these components together, you yep. can literally stock up your jump rings, which are a necessity, as you were saying. Of course, yeah. You've got 200. You're only going to need two, aren't you, really, if you're finishing a bracelet exactly, or a necklace. Exactly, yeah. Depends what design you're doing, yeah. I guess. Um, but I'm happy at £9.99 for that beautiful amethyst. Oh, yeah. Well done. It's been lovely, lovely this afternoon, stroke this morning. I've still got one more opportunity to bring you um, as our finale deal um, on what has been, well, one of the most successful collections that we've had today, actually, and that's those slider bracelets. But, oh my goodness me, I mean, we are not, we're talking about, we're talking about ultimate luxury here. Firstly, the rhod it's rhodium plated sterling silver. So what that means is we rhodium plate even things like your 18 karat white gold because it brings a whiteness. It's very durable rhodium. Mm -hmm. um, more expensive than gold, by the way. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, lots of the really high end jewelry houses will work with rhodium plating. Um, 925 sterling silver, paparaccia sapphire. Goodness me. Brand new premier opportunity. Wow. Oh, my goodness. How many do we have of these available? 30. I knew oh, it was going to be point. limited. I knew it was. We're going to do it in one price crash. How many people on this planet do you know that own 10 carats of paparazzi sapphire? Bearing in mind that's the rarest colour of sapphire that exists. Yeah, not many. <laughs> I couldn't name one. No. I couldn't name one person. That really beautiful, distinctive colour variation. It's a fusion of orange and pinks, known widely to be the rarest variety of paparazzi sapphire. It's just, that's just ridiculous, Ross. It, £29.99. pence. Again, if you're sourcing this as a finished piece of jewellery, which it is because it has the slider bracelet as well, or whether you're sourcing it for the paparazzi sapphire, if you choose to separate these components out, then you absolutely can. We've gone straight down to it just because of the, uh, well, basically, um, the clock is ticking and we're about to hand over to our sister channel hobby maker 29.99 10 wow. carats can we just work out the maths on that price per carrot three quid three pounds a carat for paparaccia sapphire it's just it's crazy and that's 925 sterling silver. Back in 2017, yes, I launched the first slider bracelet here at Jewelry Maker and they were £24.95. Yep. Remember it clear as day, do you remember? Yes, I remember. There you go. Now we're including some of the world's rarest and most valuable gemstones for an additional £5. Five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. We're running out of time. Make sure you check out your baskets. Monica, it's been wonderful to be with oh, you this thank morning. You it's been really fun. Um, I've loved all of your kits and lovely jewellery as always. Oh, when are you back, you. do you know? Uh, January, hopefully, sometime. January? Yes. So you've got a nice little rest of you. I have, yes, thank goodness, because my December is always so full. <laughs> yeah, a bit crazy. Well, I can't wait to see you then, darling. Thank you oh. so much for all of your creations. Stay where, uh, stay where you are, because our lovely sister channel, Hobby Makers, coming up, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Thank you.